myself Durga. I am working as a Java and Python trainer for the last 16 years in Durga Sabsar. I am very happy to launch my new tutorial on Python exception handling. Observe the title. So, exception handling in Python 3. Exception handling in Python 3. So, this course is going to cover five important keywords. Have you observed right? Try, accept, else, finally, rise like. So, all these are five keywords we are going to perform post-mortem like anything, sir. This is one of my favorite topic. You people can expect much, much subject from this tutorial, especially, right? Okay. So, at the part of this, what things we are going to cover? What is our agenda? Have a look once here. Just uh, this is our agenda, friends. Okay. So, first we are going to discuss syntax error versus runtime error. So, what about syntax error? So, some examples. What is the runtime error? Can you please give some examples like uh, we will discuss, right? So, the three most important questions about exception handling. So, what is exception? What is the purpose of exception handling? So, what is the meaning of exception handling like we are going to discuss, right? Next, uh, default exception handling and the exception hierarchy remember default exception handling and the exception hierarchy we are going to discuss so which class acts as a root for all python exceptions like base exception like we are going to discuss all next the customizer exception handling by using try acceptor sir i want to handle exception then how you can use a try block how you can use accept block how our application will become normal termination instead of abnormal termination all the things we are going to discuss here next and after the control flow in try accept so within the try block if an exception got riser what will happen inside accept block if an exception got riser what will happen like we have to discuss in detail next uh, how to print uh, exception information to the console are you, what is the riser exception name what is the description what is the stack trace like a complete information about exception how you can print uh, that one will be there sir at the part of this we discuss Sir, sir. Next, uh, try with uh, multiple accept blocks. Sir, uh, maybe a chance uh, single try can be associated with multiple accept blocks. What is the need? So, what is the advantage of such a type of possible syntax? We are going to discuss, right? Okay, well, sir, next, uh, sir, after this, after, after these uh, things, uh, the next uh, thing what we are going to discuss, single accept block that can handle multiple different exceptions, right? Have you remembered? So, one accept block only that can handle multiple exception how you can so far to handle multiple different type of exceptions how you can write a single accept block that part we are going to discuss next a default accept block and the various accept block syntaxes right so you know there is a default accept block is there next total how many syntaxes are there for just of writing accept block all those things we are going to discuss right next up finally block what is the purpose and what is the speciality very important sir what is the purpose of finally block to maintain cleanup code what is the purpose of what is the speciality of finally block finally block will be executed always irrespective of whether exception rise or not rise or handle or not handle like uh, so always it's going to execute sir so with the practical examples i showed sir next uh, there is only one situation where the finally block won't be executed that is OS da underscore exit of zero if you are using this one then finally block is not going to be executed next uh, important Intent in try equation, sir. Very important. What is the difference between final I block and a destructor? Final I block meant up for cleanup code. Destructor meant up for cleanup code. So then what is the difference between these two things? We have to discuss. Next, the control flow in try except finally. Within the try block, if an exception rises, what will happen? Inside except block, if an exception rises. Inside final I block, if an exception rises, what will happen? If you handle what is the flow, if you are not handle what is the flow like a complete control flow we require to discuss right next uh, next turn try accept uh, finally theory on the demo program sir observe try accept uh, finally next turn, what is the need of try accept uh, finally inside the try block inside accept uh, block inside finally block so one or two scenarios i'm going to explain and uh, then demo program also we are going to cover as uh, a part of this next the uh, control flow in nested uh, try accept uh, finally
ब्यूटीफुल कॉन्सेप्ट सर ऑलमोस्ट 14 केसेस आई डिस्कस रहे था पार्ट ऑफ दिस वन सर यू नो यू पीपल आर गोइंग टू गेट मच क्लैरिटी अबाउट सर दिस अ सिंटैक्सेस राइट जस्ट दिस टॉपिक इज अ वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक सर 15th वन नेक्स्ट एंड आफ्टर दैट ओके सर आफ्टर दैट वी हैव टू टॉक अबाउट एल्स ब्लॉक विद अ ट्राई एक्सेप्ट फाइनली थ्री सो व्हाट इज द पर्पस ऑफ एल्स ब्लॉक व्हाट इज द नीड ऑफ एल्स ब्लॉक लाइक सो हाउ Who's so, like? Uh, we are going to discuss right next. Uh, else, blah with the try except uh, finally demo programs right. Multiple programs I'm going to discuss at the part of this. Next, the uh, various possible combinations of try except else finally. Sir, beautiful concept. Almost around twenty five, twenty five. So combinations I discuss at the part of this one. Next, uh, types of exception, predefined exception, user defined exception. So what is the meaning of predefined? What is the meaning of user defined? Like? next how to define and raise customizer exceptions on the demo program remember this one how to define and raise customizer exceptions on the demo program this part also we are going to discuss clear right almost around 20 topics we are going to discuss it is a part of 6 hours concept more than 6 hours concept you are going to get much clarity much perfection much confidence in the subjects sir so, do you know each and everything first i'm going to explain on the board once you people are comfortable then i will execute on the system so theoretically programmatically you people are going to get much perfection okay be ready to give left and right to the python exception handling okay hi friends the next topic what we have to start exception handling one of my favorite topics sir so you can expect a concept like anything from this concept i'm sure sir okay just i did some great research kind of thing so that you people can get much concept from this topic especially right sir now in any programming language if you consider any python program you wrote uh, multiple python programs right so in any programming language can you please spell out how many types of errors are possible okay so there are two types of errors are possible okay one is a syntax error second one is a run time error what is the first one sir syntax error second one run time error okay what is syntax error okay it's a very very simple sir so because of invalid syntax in our program because of invalid syntax in our program invalid syntax you didn't uh, follow the syntax rules properly if you are writing the code we may get syntax error so best uh, so because of invalid syntax uh, syntax errors will be raised remember this one sir best example sir assume i am taking x is equal to 10 assume that x is equal to 10 sir if x is equal to 10 print print x value x value 10 like i want to take sir okay this is my first example if i can ask are a python virtual mission can you please run can you please run this code like if i can ask python then immediately python is going to give left and right hey so you are taking if where is colon colon is missing it is a syntax invalid syntax a syntax error like immediately python virtual machine is going to tell sorry i can't start execution because there are some syntactical mistakes are there in your program like it's going to tell sir have a look once here i want to i want to run i want to i have to run this code sir just uh, observe a bit very very carefully about this one here x is equal to 10 i'm taking x is equal to 10 if x double equal to 10 if x double equal to 10 equal to 10 can you please print uh, sir x value here x value is a 10 like this i'm taking sir that's all this is my code okay now sir here observe a bit very carefully about this one py test.py what is the answer we are going to get if i run if i run this code if i run this code immediately python virtual machine will give left and right can you please observe syntax error invalid syntax so immediately i will correct that mistake so colon if i can take a colon 
then imma happily it is going to run sir okay x value is the 10 like so syntactical mistakes because of invalid syntax syntax errors will be raised are you in the position to understand sir if you want uh, another example just uh, observe carefully sir if i can go for if i can go for print print hello hello friends like this i am taking sir print hello friends like i am taking now i will ask are python can you please run this code python virtual machine can you please run this code like immediately python virtual machine is going to tell sorry i can't run there is a syntactical mistake in your code okay what mistake is for the print statement parentheses are mandatory you didn't take parentheses that's why i can't run this code like uh, so it's going to it's going to tell sir now so in python 2 it is the value because in python 2 parentheses are optional for print statement but in python 3 parentheses are mandatory just uh, have a look once so how the python is going to respond for this code here i'm taking print uh, print uh, hello hello friends like this i'm taking sir print uh, hello friends like like i'm taking now observe carefully sir here what is the answer by default you will get syntax error missing parenthesis in call to print missing parenthesis in call to print did you mean print of hello hello friends okay like sir how beautiful python virtual mission is going to tell yes this this information right syntax error missing parenthesis in call to print did you mean print of hello friends yes my meaning is the same now let me take sir print of hello friends like now i'm including parenthesis right okay now observe carefully hello friends like it's going to huh, get the chance so the important conclusion what you people should be aware because of invalid syntax in our program we will get a syntax errors who is the responsible to correct these syntax syntax mistakes right syntax errors programmer because that is our mistake right programmer is the responsible to correct these syntax errors right once all syntax errors correct dead then only then only the program execution will start remember this one once all syntax errors corrected then only python virtual mission will start execute our program first syntax checking will be there sir so any doubt about this terminology the first category is syntax errors right now the second category okay run time errors now run time run time errors like this i am taking sir run time errors observe very carefully about this runtime runtime errors right sir you know there are no syntactical mistakes our program in our program no syntax mistakes right yet runtime while executing program execution already started yet runtime something goes wrong because of invalid input invalid end user input or memory problem or some programming logic wrong programming logic yet the runtime something goes wrong then we will get the runtime errors remember this one some people in some languages these runtime errors also known as exceptions these runtime errors also known as exceptions in some other languages like java we can use the word exceptions right okay well so at the runtime while executing the program something goes wrong because of end user input or because of memory problem or because of some logic mistake in the program some way at runtime something goes wrong then immediately we will get the runtime errors remember this one sir sir best example if i can consider example 1 observe carefully sir here let me read uh, sir two numbers from the keyboard okay x is equal to int of input a enter int of input of enter enter first number enter enter first number like this i am taking sir because this number i am always expecting into type that's why type casting to int next of uh, y is equal to int a input a enter int of input of enter second number enter second second number like i am trying to enter sir okay there are two numbers i am trying to read from the keyboard now my target is print a the result print a the result is x by y 
print of the result uh, x by y like this i am taking sir so can you please tell in this program any syntactical mistake no no syntactical mistake everything is proper sir okay at run time maybe because of end user provided input maybe a chance of some problem may come i don't know so let me execute this code sir observe very carefully here yes sir let me type this code x is equal to int of input of int of input of int int first number enter first number number like like i'm taking sir enter first number y is equal to int of input a enter second number enter enter second second number like this right print of the result print of the result the result x by y i am taking sir that's all this is my code okay there are no syntactical mistakes in this code there is no syntactical mistakes perfectly it should work sir okay let me execute this code now observe this one so now end user providing data enter first number 10 program execution already started enter first number 10 enter second number 2 now the result of 5.0 perfect it's working no problem at all sir let me run again enter first number 10 enter second number 0 enter second number 0 0 now observe what happens sir so 0 division error division by 0 0 division error and division by 0 now can you please tell this 0 division error is because of programmer mistake or because of end user input Ah, respond friend because of what end user input end user provided second number at the zero how divide with the zero is going to be happen that's why so at the run time because of end user input now the problem is coming this type of errors are by default considered yeah run time errors clear right can you please spell out which error we are getting zero division error zero division error this run time error we are getting clear any explanation is required now observe same thing sir here just uh, let me run this one enter first number enter enter first number t e n i'm taking so we are trying to type cast uh, yes uh, this uh, string uh, into into type input is always going to take string uh, format this uh, string into number into type into type but uh, this uh, t e n is uh, not uh, not uh, int then immediately what will happen here is so we are going to get observe that value error okay invalid literal for int with base 10 t e n boss t e n we can't convert into int value that's why we are going to get what value error are you in the position to understand so because of end user input yet the runtime something goes wrong we are getting these errors these errors are called runtime errors can you please give an example for runtime error zero division error next a value error like this right okay let me go for one more example sir observe this so in this program yet runtime which type of errors are possible can you please spell out the first one zero division error sir these words are very very important minimum hundreds of times we are going to use in the exception handling only that's why take special care zero division error second one sir value error value error we are getting okay well sir now let me go for one more example i'm taking f is equal to f is equal to sir open open can you please open so a sir here x y z x y z x y z dot uh, txt file can you please open x y z x y z dot txt file and uh, read print data print a uh, f of read f of read so here what i'm trying to take what what i'm trying to take is i'm trying to print the data present inside xyz xyz dot txt file can you please tell is there any syntactical mistake in my application no no so perfectly it is a valid sir at the runtime at runtime it is trying to read the data and printing that data to the console by mistake yet runtime if this file is not available are getting if this file is not available then we will get a file not found error are you getting what is this one 
ஃபைல் நாட் அ ஃபவுண்டு எரார் வி ஆர் கோண்டு கேட் அட் ரன் டைம் ஓகே ஸோ ஃபைல் நாட் ஃபவுண்டு எரார் இஸ் அ நாட் அ பிகாஸ் ஆஃப் மிஸ்டேக் இன் மை ப்ரோக்ராம் ஓகே பிகாஸ் திஸ் ஃபைல் இஸ் நாட் அவைலபிள் தட் ஃபை வி ஆர் கோண்டு கேட் திஸ் எரார் லெட் மீ கிராப் செக் சார் ஹியர் ஐம் ட்ரைங் டு டேக் எஃப் இஸ் ஈக்வல் டு எஃப் இஸ் ஈக்வல் டு ஓப்பன் ஏ ஓப்பன் எக்ஸ் ஒய் ஜெட் எக்ஸ் ஒய் ஜெட் டாட் டிஎக்ஸ்டி ஃபைல் ஐம் டேக்கிங் சார் ஓகே லைக் சார் பிரிண்ட் ஆஃப் எஃப் டாட் ரீட் எஃப் டாட் ரீட் ரீட் லைக் திஸ் ரைட் ஸோ ஐம் ட்ரைங் டு ஓப்பன் த ஃபைல் அண்ட் ஐம் ட்ரைங் டு ரீட் த டேட்டா நவ் ஹேவ் எ லுக் ஒன்ஸ் நவ் ஐம் ட்ரைங் டு எக்ஸிக்யூட் திஸ் கோட் அப்சர்வ் தட் இம்மடிகேட்லி வி ஆர் கெட்டிங் சார் ஃபைல் நாட் ஃபவுண்ட் எரார் ஃபைல் நாட் ஃபவுண்ட் எரா நோ சச் ஃபைல் ஆர் டைரக்டரி ஃபைல் நாட் ஃபவுண்ட் எரார் நோ சச் ஃபைல் ஆர் டைரக்டரி ஓகே எக்ஸ் ஃபைவ் ஜெட் எக்ஸ் ஃபைவ் ஜெட் டாட் டிஎக்ஸ்டி ஸோ எவ்ரி ஒன் இந்த பொசிஷன் டு அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் கிளியர்லி நாட் ரெக்வர்ட் டு கீப் மச் எக்ஸ்பிளேஷன் சார் ஸோ ஃபைல் நாட் ஃபவுண்ட் எரார் இஸ் அ நாட் அ மிஸ்டேக் பிகாஸ் ஆஃப் மை ப்ரோக்ராம் ஸோ பிகாஸ் தட் ஃபைல் யூ டி டென் ப்ரொவைட் தென் ஹவ் ஐ கேன் எக்ஸிக்யூட் திஸ் ஒன் தட் இஸ் த ப்ராப்ளம் வித் யுவர் ஃபைல் நாட் த ப்ராப்ளம் வித் மை ப்ரோக்ராம் ஸோ சச் டைப் ஆஃப் எரர்ஸ் ஆர் பை டிஃபால்ட் concept is what run time errors which are also known as exceptions right suppose assume assume i'm taking abc.txt assume abc.txt abc.txt file is already available in my system now let me let me run this code sir with the, let me change the file name okay abc.txt abc.txt like this right so let me crash in my system abc.txt file is available or not yes friend it's already available hello this is the data from abc.txt file this data is already there in in this file now observe what is the name of this file abc.txt is already there sir okay now let me run this code let me let me run this code perfect my program definitely is going to execute we never going to face any problem hello this is the data from abc dot exe file so are you in the position to understand right so if the specified file if you provide then my program will work because you didn't provide specified file that's why sorry man it is it is not in a position to continue immediately it will be stopped by raising what file not found error so at the run time while executing our program if something goes wrong because a lack of required resources or invalid end user input or otherwise memory problem at the run time something goes wrong then our program program will be terminated by raising these runtime errors such a type of things are called exceptions are runtime errors so can you please give an example for runtime error please respond so zero division error value error next and after that what is this one sir file not found error okay that's all so in any program how many types of errors are possible there are two types what the first one syntax errors because of invalid syntax second one sir runtime errors which are also known as exceptions so no problem in our program at run time because of lack of resources or end user input some way something goes wrong okay then run time errors we will get now my question is exception handling concept is it related to syntax errors or related to run time errors ha huh, i told right run time ha huh, it is exception handling so handling related to exception exception means what run time error run time error that's why so exception handling concept applicable only for run time errors but not for syntax errors sir. remember this one sir suppose you are traveling in the you are you are traveling in the car or otherwise bike so you drunk you drunk because of that accident happened okay you drunk because of that accident happened whose mistake it is that is your mistake you require to correct which is nothing but something like syntax error so so while uh, with uh, with a uh, drunk uh, don't uh, drive are you getting with a uh, drunk uh, don't uh, drive that is your mistake so this is the syntax error so my driver is good okay my driver is good next uh, vehicle is too good condition happily is going on so opposite uh, one drunk uh, driver came and he hit our car then automatically have you observed right now it's not our mistake because something goes wrong at run time which is accident real accident which is or something like run time errors are you in the position to understand right take a bit very special care what is the difference between syntax error and run time errors exception handling concept applicable only for run time errors sir have a look up to this whatever we covered just uh, let me review these things right 
okay now here observe exceptionally in any programming language there are two types of possible errors what is the first one syntax errors second one runtime errors okay next the sir syntax errors the errors which occurs because of invalid syntax such type of errors are considered as syntax errors right next the programmer is responsible to correct these syntax errors once all syntax errors are corrected then only program execution will be started okay like next uh, what about the runtime errors right also known as exceptions runtime errors also known as exceptions uh, while executing the program at runtime if something goes wrong because of end user input while executing the program at runtime if something goes wrong because of end user input memory problems or programming logic then we will get runtime errors okay exception handling concept applicable for runtime errors but not for syntax errors clear for all of you right the basic idea how many types of errors are there exception handling concept related to which one any doubt sir in the last video we covered very clearly about sir what is syntax error runtime error exception handling is related to which concept like we covered right okay well sir now the next thing three most important questions okay related to exception handling sir so can you please observe what is an exception next uh, what is the main objective of exception handling sir just now i told our topic name is exception handling what is the main purpose of exception handling next uh, what is the meaning of exception handling sir handling means what uh, compulsory you people should be aware about uh, this uh, terminology right okay first uh, can you please spell out what is an exception uh, what is what is an exception can you define an exception or can you define a runtime error yes friends okay very very simple sir suppose assume you are seeing you start seeing this video so your flow is you have to start this video you have to understand you have to listen carefully you have to listen listen very carefully so and then you have to use this concept somewhere maybe in certification exam or maybe in your day to day coding like so you started watching the tv watching the video almost uh, sir half of the video completed assume suddenly internet gone internet gone the video is not playing so some unexpected unwanted event occurs some unexpected unwanted event occurs that disturbs your normal flow correct or not an unwanted unexpected event that disturbs a normal flow which is nothing but exception or error okay in this case let me use internet error i got sir okay in this case internet internet error i am getting okay well an unwanted unexpected event that disturbs your normal flow of the program is by default considered as an exception or error sir here we are getting internet error okay well suppose assume that you are attending this class live assume sir so almost you waited for last uh, one week onwards to attend this uh, live session okay session started faculty started explaining the things sir so now each and every point what your faculty is telling you have to listen you have to understand you have to use this subject in your day to day coding this is the regular flow so faculty started faculty started started sir now happily you are listening the session suddenly in the middle you are getting full sleep <laughs> are getting it's a very common thing sir in my regular classes also i saw several students so, who are sleeping who are sleeping okay so i thought that to give left and right but they are very tall than me so i can't do that okay anyway so just uh, so they are just uh, you you got full sleep uh, you are getting sleep uh, you are not in a position to listen this class properly remember this one sir you are not in a position to listen this class properly so some unwanted unexpected event that disturbs the normal flow of the program is happening in this case what we got sir sleeping error okay observe very carefully sir sleeping error we are getting suppose assume assume that assume that you have to go to the office by 9 am 9 am you should reach office because at 9 am client meeting is there sir assume that 
client meeting is there which is the mandatory for you so from the house uh, at the 8 am you started within 45 minutes you can reach office that is that is about your plan 8:45 you can reach office by 9 you can attend the, your client meeting right okay right so on the two wheeler you started on the bike you started sir sir almost around 8:30 8:30 after traveling half of the distance suddenly your bike tire got punctured okay so two early morning no repair shops also then automatically by walk you reached the office assume that sir then automatically time happened 10:15 am your client meeting already completed so tire punctured because of that your regular flow by default got disturbed sir correct right so an unwanted unexpected event uh, that uh, disturbs the normal flow of the program is called exception in this case what we got sir tire tire punctured uh, tire punctured exception or error we are getting sir tire punctured error we are getting are you getting right so there is a flow flow of events are happily happening something some unexpected unwanted event that disturbs the normal flow of the program is going to be happen these kind of things are by default considered as exceptions or errors clear for all of you right sir just the theoretical okay can you please explain with an example already i told right run time errors best example i want to read the data i want to read the data from from remote file locating at london assume that sir f is equal to open open okay london london file london file dot txt i'm taking sir i'm trying to sir read the data from the london file assume so now print of f dot read print of f dot read f dot read then automatically what will happen assume at run time if london file is not available sorry you are not in the position to continue some unwanted unexpected event that disturbs the normal flow of the program happens huh? so here in this case what error you are going to get file not found error i hope are you in the position to understand file not found error like we are going to get so what is an exception an unwanted unexpected event that disturbs the normal flow of the program is called exception can you please give an example yes internet error sleeping error next time after the tire punctured error next uh, sir file not found error value error zero division error type error like uh, multiple errors are there have a look once uh, sir the first equation is a very clear i hope so what is an exception okay an unwanted and unexpected event that the disturbs the normal flow of program is called an exception okay right internet error sleeping error tire punctured error okay file not found error zero division error value error like uh, multiple errors are there up to this any doubt clear right what is an exception is it good thing or bad thing bad thing which disturbs our normal flow that's why never recommended if something goes wrong then automatically there is a problem to so as it is the bad thing as it disturbs our normal flow that's why handling must be required which is nothing but exception handling any doubt sir up to this we covered very clearly about what is an exception the next thing what i have to discuss what is the main objective of exception handling remember this one sir what is the need what is the main purpose of exception handling sir very simple it is highly recommended to handle exceptions highly highly recommended sir that's why exception handling topic came highly recommended to handle exceptions what is the purpose what is the need just uh, have a look once sir i have one program is there open open db connection open database connection okay next uh, read the data read the data from database okay read data from database if you want to read data from the database first we have to open connection next uh, read data and then use uh, that uh, data use uh, that uh, data based on our program requirement once a uh, reading completed we have to close uh, db connection are you getting we require to close db connection 
సార్ దిస్ ఈజ్ మై ప్రోగ్రామ్ ఎజ్యూమ్ దట్ సార్ అఫ్ కోర్స్ పైతాన్ డేటాబేస్ కనెక్టివిటీ సపరేట్ టాపిక్ ఈజ్ దేర్ దేర్ ఐ విల్ ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ హౌ యూ కెన్ డూ దిస్ ప్రోగ్రామెటికల్లీ లైక్ బట్ ఎనివే ఎవేర్ సార్ హియర్ ఐ ఓపెన్ సక్సెస్ఫుల్లీ డేటాబేస్ కనెక్షన్ నో ప్రాబ్లమ్ ఎట్ ఆల్ ఎజ్యూమ్ దట్ ఇట్ ఈస్ మై డిబి ఐ ఓపెన్ డేటాబేస్ కనెక్షన్ సక్సెస్ఫుల్లీ వైల్ రీడింగ్ డేటా సంథింగ్ గోస్ రాంగ్ దెర్ ఇస్ ఎ మిస్టేక్ ఇన్ మై ఎస్క్యూఎల్ క్వెరీ ఆర్ అదర్వైజ్ డేటాబేస్ సైడ్ దెర్ ఈజ్ ఎ ప్రాబ్లమ్ సో మై రీడ్ ఆపరేషన్ వైల్ రీడింగ్ ద డేటా సంథింగ్ గోస్ రాంగ్ ఐఎమ్ గెటింగ్ సమ్ ఎర్ర సార్ ఓకే ఇఫ్ యు ఆర్ నాట్ హ్యాండ్లింగ్ దట్ ఎర్ర వాట్ విల్ హ్యాపన్ ఈస్ సో వైల్ రీడింగ్ డేటా దెర్ ఇస్ ఎ ప్రాబ్లమ్ రైట్ యూ సక్సెస్ఫుల్లీ ఓపెన్ కనెక్షన్ బట్ వైల్ రీడింగ్ డేటా దెర్ ఇస్ ఎ ప్రాబ్లమ్ నౌ ఇఫ్ యు ఆర్ నాట్ గోన్ టు హ్యాండిల్ then the program will be stopped here only okay well the program will be stopped here only so if the program stopped here only without executing rest of the code okay the program terminated abnormally this is called abnormal termination because in the middle only the program terminated right now the point is if the program terminated here only here only so without executing rest of the code then who is going to close the db connection no one is going to close no one is going to close so one database connection open but no one closing that no one using that unnecessary one db connection is going to be wasted remember this one sir so like that sir 10 programs 10 connections open 10 programs are terminated abnormally like so 10 connections open but no one is using so 11th person is coming sir i want to communicate with the database i want to communicate with the database i'm trying to open db connection then immediately my db server is going to tell too many open connections or max number of connections already reached sorry you can't communicate with this database like uh, total application total project uh, is going to be down are you getting right so you didn't handle exception because of that the resources will be blocked uh, at certain point total project uh, total application itself is going to be down because of this mistake take remember this one sir so our resources should not be blocked remember we should not miss anything okay so such type of graceful termination i want uh, that is the main objective of exception handling remember so what is the main objective of exception handling sir graceful termination of the program we should not uh, sir block our resources we should not miss uh, anything anything in our program okay well sir just uh, one more small example i will i will tell so most of the people having this type of experience right suppose assume that assume sir project report i have to submit in my college at 9 am assume that sir that is the last day to submit my project report at 9 am now early morning 4 o'clock onwards early morning 4 o'clock onwards i started sir i started preparing so this document and giving the finishing touches almost uh, up to 8 am keep on doing the required modifications alignments diagrams da 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 so four hours i worked sir almost uh, ready to complete suddenly power gone <laughs> suddenly power gone it is the desktop no backup facility is there then automatically what will happen power gone my total work four hours work whatever i did by default gone sir so it is a abnormal termination it is a non graceful termination because you are missing something you are missing something we don't want this type of abnormal termination i want a normal termination we don't want this type of non graceful termination i want graceful termination man i should not miss anything okay that is the main objective of exception handling remember this one so if any person is asking what is the main purpose of exception handling simple words are i want a graceful termination i should not block any resources i should not miss anything that's what you should aware have a look once what is the main objective of exception handling okay it is highly recommended to handle exceptions the main objective of exception handling is e, graceful termination or normal termination of the application that is we should not block our resources and we should not miss anything clear for all of you right so what is an exception what is the main purpose of exception handling any doubt sir up to this we covered very clearly what is an exception what is the purpose of exception handling 
now the next one what is the meaning of exception handling exception only means what so don't feel exception handling means repairing an exception we are not in the position to repair that exception suppose london file is not available we are not responsible our program is not responsible to place that file if internet is not working our program is not responsible to make internet available are you getting don't feel exception handling means repairing an exception no exception handling doesn't mean repairing an exception then what is the meaning of exception handling sir very very simple suppose while preparing project report so frequently power gone then automatically whatever work you did that work by default will be will be gone you are you are losing that data sir that updation what you do, what you can do immediately you can have some power backup at least for 10 minutes okay power gone power backup is already there ups facility is there for your system so now you will save whatever work you did shut down the system once power came now again you can open where you stopped from there you can continue your work so so if for a power you are providing alternative facility ups power backup sir okay are you in the position to understand same way okay so if internet gone internet gone immediately in your mobile okay hotspot is there you can on hotspot mobile mobile hotspot and you can fulfill you can continue your work just observe so defining alternative way to continue rest of the program normally this way of defining alternative way is nothing but exception handling remember this one sir so we have to define some alternative way to continue rest of the program normally defining alternative way to continue rest of the program normally is a nothing but exception handling best example sir i will i will show two statements for you which statement there is a maximum chance to succeed okay just have a look once about this one sir here just so i have two statements are there sir this weekend i'm planning to go to my native place by bus sir first person is telling are i am planning to go to my native place by bus this is the first person is telling second person is telling same statement but in more descriptive way observe that this weekend i am planning to go to my native place by bus if a bus is not available bus tickets if i didn't get then i will try for train okay if a train is not available then i will try for flight if still it is not available then i will go for cab sir abjan if 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 you can ask a fresher to write a program if you can ask a expert to write a program so this is the way of coding for the fresher this is a way of coding for the expert remember this one experienced person no what kind of common problems are there he is already ready with alternatives at the beginning only are you getting right but this person don't know at runtime which problems are going to come ha ah, bus i'm travel i want to travel by bus are bus tickets are not available what he is not having any backup plan so this a type of coding so is always abnormal termination maximum chance to terminate abnormally so everything get ready go go to the bus stand are for the bus sorry bus ticket is not available then he has to come to the room are you getting right he, he, he has to come back to the room but what about this one so he is having some alternative plans huh? happily this program there is a maximum chance to continue to succeed are you in the position to understand right so what is the meaning of exception handling defining alternative way to continue rest of the program normally is the concept of what exception handling okay have a look once about this one sir here just the exception handling doesn't mean repairing an exception we have to define alternative way to continue rest of the program normally okay like this way of defining alternative is nothing but exception handling are you in the position to understand right okay just observe assume that my program a requirement i have to read the data from london file i have to read the data from london file yet run time if a london file is not available then file not found error stop the program which is abnormal termination remember this one because you are not handling you are not uh, sir handling exception file not found error immediately stop the program but now i want to provide local file 
to continue rest of the program normally so defining this alternative is nothing but what exception handling just observe carefully sir my requirement is are read the data read the data from from remote file read the data from remote file locating at london locating yet yet london locating at london okay like this is my code sir so if i'm writing only up to this code then at run time if london file is not available then i will get file not found error the program will be stopped which is never be recommended sir what i want to take here is so i will take this code inside a try block remember very important sir i will write this code inside a try block try block so while executing this code if a file not found error occurred except except file not found error okay except file not found error came if a file not found error came use a local file use a local file and continue use a local file and continue rest of the program normally and continue rest of the program normally are you getting so if a, if a file not found error came use a local file and continue rest of the program normally okay this thing is by default considered yeah exception handling so we are defining alternative way alternative way if in the main flow sir i can use the word this is the main main code sir this is the main 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 flow main code main flow this is a alternative code alternative alternative code sir so in the main flow if there is no problem at all then this alternative is not going to execute in the main flow if there is a problem immediately alternative code is going to execute and the remaining code by default will be continue normally are you getting is it graceful termination or not yes it is the normal termination graceful termination even exception got raised even error got raised no problem at all our code in a position to handle and continue rest of the program normally this way of handling an exception this way of defining alternative is a nothing but exception handling remember this one sir so what is the meaning of exception handling exception handling means defining alternative way if something goes wrong maybe a chance man don't expect everything goes fine as per your requirement at run time something goes wrong we should have alternative to continue rest of the program normally right okay suppose everyone sir i want to marry katrina kaif okay this is my main flow i want to marry katrina kaif but katrina kaif may not uh, interest on me then i should have some alternative to continue my rest of the program or not yes obviously which is nothing but what exception handling remember this so defining alternative way to continue rest of the program so in our day to day life every time we are using this concept but unfortunately we don't know we don't know it is called exception handling sir sir i want to go to the office first i will check for bus bus is not available i will check for auto 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 is not available then i will ask my friend the lift then i may go to the office defining always you are searching for alternative which is nothing but exception handling you are going for the movie so you are you are uh, ready just release the movie you are trying for the ticket if you are not getting the ticket for that movie then immediately you can check for alternative theater or otherwise alternative movie are you getting but you won't come back to the room you won't come back to the house so you will go for alternative theater or alternative movie and then happily after completing the program you will come to your house so the way of defining alternative to continue rest of the program normally which is nothing but what exception handling are you in the position to understand friends okay that's all so what is an exception what is the purpose of exception handling what is the meaning of exception handling these are three things you should aware unwanted unexpected event that disturbs the normal flow of the program is called exception okay then the main purpose of exception handling graceful termination of the program what is the meaning of exception handling defining alternative way to continue rest of the program sir here i use two keywords what is the first one try try second one sir except these two are 
keywords for exception handling what is the purpose which code i have to take inside try block which code i have to take inside except block i will explain in detail in the next videos up to this any doubt clear right hi friends in the last videos we covered very clearly the basic introduction to exceptions right what is exception what is the meaning of exception and how to handle exceptions right now the next topic what i have to discuss default exception handling in python sir abjan default exception handling in python sir if you are not handling an exception if an exception got raised by default what will happen that part we have to aware sir best example let me go for a small example so that you will get much clarity sir sir here i am taking print of hello hello like this i am taking print of hello next uh, print of 10 by 0 i am taking next uh, print of hi print of hi like this i am taking this code sir assume that sir have you observed if i execute this code immediately error we are going to get because of 10 by 0 yes you know that because of 10 by 0 an error will occur sir sir now the important point so whenever an exception got raised by default what will happen sir in this example so which exception will be raised okay zero division error will be raised correct right zero division error exception got raised every exception in python is a class remember this one sir every exception in python is a class that's why zero division error is a class sir zero division error is a is a class whenever an exception raised immediately python virtual mission will create an object for the corresponding class okay now observe this one zero division error exception class object will be created by python virtual mission remember so in our python code anywhere if an exception raised first step sir so python virtual mission will create an object for the corresponding exception class so it is a zero division error class object zero division error is our exception class okay like an object got created next immediately python virtual mission will check is there any handling code is available or not okay any handling code is it available or not if handling code is available then handling code will be executed and the rest of the program will be continued normally remember this one sir so after creating this exception object immediately python virtual mission will check is there any handling code or not if handling code is available so python virtual mission will execute that handling code and the rest of the code will be continued normally okay like, but uh, i'm not having any handling code i'm not having any handling code if you are not having any handling code immediately the program will be terminated yes uh, there only at the second line only the program will be terminated and the printed exception information to the console remember this one sir the program will be terminated there and the printed exception information to the console and the rest of the program won't be executed remember this one sir sir this is abnormal termination are you getting this one is what abnormal termination okay so if an exception got raised python virtual machine will create an object related to exception class and check for handling code if a handling code is available it will handle handle handling code will be executed and the rest of the code will be continued normally okay if handling code is not available the program will be terminated there only rest of the code is not going to execute print exception information to the console the program will be terminated abnormally what is this uh, termination sir is it normal termination or abnormal termination 
abnormal termination is it graceful termination or non graceful termination non graceful termination suppose here you open one database connection assume that you open one database connection while reading data the problem came so now this is the closing database connection so no one is going to close by db connection obviously so it is a, it's a bigger problem that's why abnormal termination non graceful termination we don't want okay to prevent this abnormal termination we require to go for what exception handling by using try and accept blocks sir how you can use that part i will take care don't worry sir up to this is the clear for all of right have a look once sir sir now default exception handling in python just observe carefully sir let me execute this code here if i can take print of hello i'm taking print of hello i'm taking print of 10 by 0 i'm taking and uh, print a uh, hi i'm taking sir that's all print of hello print of 10 by 0 print of hi like this i'm taking sir now let me execute this code here observe so the first line will be executed properly so second line there is a problem is coming immediately python virtual machine will create exception object now it will check for a handling code handling code is not available the program will be terminated at second line and the printed exception information to the console rest of the code is not going to be executed remember this one sir sir observe carefully if i execute this code what is the answer sir hello printed and the exception information will be printed to the console rest of the code is not executed sir you want to see hi in the console have you observed right you want to see hi in the console because the rest of the code is not executed sir sir now my question is who is the responsible to print this information okay python virtual machine python interpreter is the responsible to print this information is it normal termination or abnormal termination it is abnormal termination never recommended is it clear for all of you right so this is default exception handling in python by default for what will happen nothing program will be terminated abnormally print exception information to the console clear right just have a look once about this theory sir whatever we have okay sir here just observe that default exception handling in python sir observe every exception in python is an object for every exception type the corresponding class is available clear next up whenever an exception occurs pvm will create the corresponding exception object and will check for handling code if handling code is available then it will be executed and the rest of the program will be executed normally okay if handling code is not available then pvm will terminate program abnormally and the print the corresponding exception information to the console rest of the program won't be executed observe it is a normal termination it is abnormal termination because handling code is not available okay to prevent this abnormal termination we should handle exceptions explicitly of course by using what try accept blocks so is it clear for all of you right what is the default exception handling in python any doubt hi friends in the last video we covered about default exception handling in python sir now the next thing what i have to discuss python's exception hierarchy just a basic idea sir what are various exception classes at least a few what is the relation between these which is the parent class which is the child class like you people should have clarity sir sir i told already all exceptions in python every exception in python is an object corresponding class is available means exception classes are there sir so all exception classes in python are child classes of base exception remember this one all are child classes of base exception every exception if you consider sir it should be child class of base exception that's why this base exception class is considered a yeah, root class for python exception hierarchy remember this one sir okay like uh, sir for this there are multiple child classes are there friends one child class is exception okay one child class one child class is exception remember it is the child class of base exception okay one child class is the exception similar to exception okay system exit system exit 
it is another child class next uh, do you know generator exit generator exit exit uh, it is uh, another child class next uh, keyboard interrupt keyboard keyboard interrupt keyboard interrupt it is uh, another child class while executing the program whenever you are going to press control c immediately keyboard interrupt okay like these are various child classes of base exception are you in the position to understand right so base exception is the parent for all exception classes in python for that exception system exit generator exit keyboard interrupt like these are the child classes right sir next for this exception for this exception multiple child classes are possible man okay so one is a arithmetic error regarding one is a arithmetic error error like this right so for this arithmetic error do you know sir child class zero division error zero division error is the child class boss we saw several times zero division error is the child class of arithmetic error which is the child class of exception which is the child class of base exception complete hierarchy at least uh, up to certain common user exceptions basic hierarchy you people should aware sir similarly overflow error okay over overflow error next uh, floating point error okay floating flo floating point uh, error error okay like floating floating point error like uh, okay now these are various child classes for arithmetic error is it clear right sir similar to arithmetic error there is one more child class is there okay look up error one more child class is there look up look up error sir for this look up error okay there are some child classes are there index error have you remember right whenever you are trying to access string out of range index index error we are going to get list elements out of range index index error next the key error key error okay best example in our dictionary dictionary if we are trying to access a data by specifying the key if that key is not available then key error we are going to get sir okay like this is so similar to so have you observed index error key error these two things are child class of lookup error right similar to this okay now the next thing what we have okay os error are you getting os os error like uh, os error for the os error child classes are sir file not found error file not found error we covered already in the last session file not found error is the child of os error os error is the child of exception exception is the child of base exception like sir file not found error interrupted error interrupted error error next time out error time out error error next permission error permission permission error permission error like so these are various child classes of os error right okay text similar to this do you know next uh, attribute error attribute error attribute attribute error okay next uh, eof error eof error end of file error next uh, name error name name error name error next uh, type error type error okay value error value value error okay like uh, multiple child classes are there are you in the position to understand friend base exception exception arithmetic error zero division error overflow error floating point error similarly lookup error child classes index error key error right next uh, os error file not found error interrupted error timeout error permission error sir similar to this so attribute error eof error name error type error value error like uh, so these are the things what you people should aware sir just a partial hierarchy but now i have one small doubt sir arithmetic error is the child class of respond 
अर्ध मार्के अर्धा चेल क्लास आप एक्सेप्शन उचित चेल क्लास आप बेस एक्सेप्शन राइट सर जीरो डिविजन एर चेल आफ अर्ध मार्क एर ओके नेक्स्ट इंडेक्स एर चेल आफ लुक एर लुक एर चेल आफ एक्सेप्शन फैल नाट फौंड एर चेल आफ ओएस एर ओएस एर चेल आफ एक्सेप्शन ओके लाइक सो मोस्ट आफ द टाइम बीइंग ए प्रोग्रामर our concentration is always exception and its child classes only in the exception handling most of the times we are always going to talk about either exception and its child classes remember these are very important sir just for basic idea purpose i'm providing this are you in the position to understand right okay just have a look once about this one sir so now if you observe these conclusions sir Every exception in Python is a class. All exception classes are child classes of base exception, either directly or indirectly. Hence, base exception acts as root for Python exception hierarchy. Remember right. Next, uh, being a programmer, most of the times we have to concentrate or handle exception and its child classes. So, any explanation is required about this one. Just a basic idea. Better to draw this diagram on the paper. Just to try to have. Just least basic, basic commonly required exception. Hi, that key you should aware. Clear, right? So even in the next videos also, I'm going to touch this point. So which is the parent of zero division error? Immediately you have to tell arithmetic error is the parent. Sir, which is the parent of arithmetic error? Immediately you have to tell exception, sir. Which is the parent of exception? Base exception. This parent and the child relationships. Huh? We are going to use uh, somewhere in the next videos to discuss some important conclusions. Remember, sir. Same way, index error is the child of. Hey, respond. <laughs> index error is the child of look up error. Index error is the child of look up error. Look up error is the child of exception. File not found error is the child of OS error. OS error is the child of exception. Like a basic idea about these things, compulsory you people should have. Any doubt about this one? Clear, right? Hi friends, in the last two videos we covered very clearly about what is the default exception handling and then partial exception hierarchy. Now the next concepts are customized exception handling by using try accept. Sir, have you remembered? It is highly recommended to handle exceptions. What is the main objective of exception handling? Graceful termination. Okay, normal termination. I want. I don't want to block any resources. I don't want to miss any resources. Right. It is highly recommended to handle exceptions. So how you can handle sir? Try accept. Remember this one. Try accept. These are two keywords we are going to use to handle exceptions. How we can do? Have a look once, sir. Sir, I am taking a simple example. Okay, without uh, without uh, try accept. I don't want to take. Sir, try accept. Then what is the flow? So with uh, try accept, what is the difference? Right, just the basic idea. Sir, here I am taking print of statement one. Print of statement one. Okay, print of ten by zero. Print of ten by zero. Next, uh, print of statement three. Print of statement three. Like this, I am taking sir. That's all. Now I can ask. Now I will ask. Python virtual mission. Can you please execute this code? Are Python virtual mission? Can you please execute this code? Like I will ask. The number get like Python virtual mission is going to tell. So it will print. Uh, it will print uh, statement one properly. No problem at all. Next, uh, while executing this one, zero division error is coming. No handling code. Then immediately the program will be stopped uh, by rising zero division error. Are you getting by rising zero division error? Can you please tell? Is it a normal termination or abnormal termination? Yes, it is abnormal termination. The program stopped uh, in the middle only. Sir, it is abnormal termination. Abnormal, abnormal termination. So it is not a graceful termination, sir. Non-graceful termination. Non-graceful termination. Okay, just observe. So it is abnormal termination. Non-graceful termination, right? So what is the reason? Why? What is the what is the reason for that? The reason is 
सपोज एज्यूम एज्यूम दैट द फर्स्ट लाइन ओपन डेटाबेस कनेक्शन ओके एज्यूम द फर्स्ट लाइन ओपन डीबी कनेक्शन सेकंड लाइन रीड डेटा थर्ड लाइन क्लोज डीबी कनेक्शन क्लोज डीबी कनेक्शन सो यू ओपन डीबी कनेक्शन सक्सेसफुली बट वेन एवर वैल रीडिंग देर इज सम एरर केम immediately the program terminated here only without executing rest of the code then who is going to close the database connection no one is going to close so our resource is going to be blocked so which is never be recommended are you getting right that's why so this a type of coding this a type of abnormal termination or non graceful termination never recommended compulsory we should handle exceptions by using what try accept same code with try accept what will happen sir just have a look once sir so with the with the try accept i want to take sir very important can you please tell in this program how many lines of the code is there uh, respond in this how many lines of the code is there three lines in the which line may raise an exception can you please confirm which line may raise an exception yes this line may raise an exception second line may raise an exception the code which may raise an exception that code is called risky code remember this one so risky code the code which may raise an exception that code is called what risky risky code right okay risky code we have to take inside the try block remember so within the try within the try which code we have to take the code which may raise an exception that code is called risky code risky sir but not whiskey whiskey is also risky only okay so try which code we have to take sir risky code we have to take risky code next uh, while executing this risky code if an exception raised uh, you should have handling code right where we have to take handling code inside uh, except a block inside except a block we have to take handling code have you observed inside except a block we require to take what handling code sir have you remembered what is the meaning of exception handling hey i covered already in the last videos very clearly what is the meaning of exception handling exception handling means defining alternative way are you getting defining alternative way so this is the main code in the main code if there is a problem then immediately this alternative this alternative code should execute sir are you getting this is the syntax very important for the entire room are within the try block which code we have to take what is the purpose of try block what is the purpose of accept block in the try block we have to take which code risky code in the accept block we have to take which code sir handling code which is nothing but alternative code when accept block will be executed if there is a problem inside a try block if there is an exception got raised in set try block immediately the corresponding accept block will be executed once exception handling handle now rest of the program will be continue normally which is a normal termination instead of up normal termination okay have a look once sir so first statement is not risky code print of statement 1 is not risky code okay now i am taking print a statement 1 normally okay print of statement 1 next uh, print of 10 by 0 sir maybe a chance of raising arithmetic error because you are doing some arithmetic operation risky code okay risky code we have to take inside a try block okay try print a 10 by 0 i am taking because it is a risky code which may raise an exception so in this case which exception will be raised respond in this case which exception there is a possibility to raise zero division error if a zero division error is coming how you want to handle okay except except which which error there is a possibility zero zero division error zero division error error like this i am taking so except a zero division error if a zero division error is coming then don't perform this arithmetic operation can you please perform 
this arithmetic operation 10 by so 2 like this can you please do that 10 by 2 like uh, don't feel sir this is the alternative code just for flow purpose i'm telling if a london file is not available use a local file if there is a problem with oracle database then use mysql database so if uh, you are not getting bus ticket better to get a train ticket are you getting something like alternative code next uh, so try accept completed now what is the remaining code so risky code we handle sir what is the remaining statement three now print a uh, statement three print a uh, statement three can you please confirm what is the output we are going to get in this case yes friends if i execute this code what is the output sir statement one will be executed statement one will be executed and then while executing this one there is zero division error immediately the control will comes to corresponding the control will comes to corresponding handling except block now except block is going to print 10 by 2 10 by 2 means 5.0 5.0 and after completing rest of the code will be executed normally statement 3 will be executed okay now my question is is it the normal termination or abnormal termination this is the normal termination because all the statements are executed normal termination it is the graceful termination normal termination or graceful termination which is a highly recommended friends are you getting this uh, normal or graceful termination is a highly recommended is it clear for all of friend so how you can handle exceptions uh, in our own way by using try except try means what uh, try block risky code we have to take inside except block we have to take handling code let me execute this one first i will show abnormal termination and then i will go for normal termination sir observe carefully here the same example whatever i i, I explain whatever i explain on the board here see this one print uh, print a uh, statement one print of statement one print a uh, 10 by 0 i'm taking next uh, print a uh, statement three print of statement three like this i'm taking sir that's all so print of statement one 10 by 0 statement three like this i'm taking now observe carefully first one will execute normally but whenever we are executing this one zero division error is coming now there is no corresponding handling code the program will be terminated abnormally without executing rest of the code now observe now observe this one if i execute this one so statement one executed and then abnormal termination by printing zero division error okay like that's also is it normal or abnormal termination abnormal termination never recommended right okay so i want to convert the this Norm, abnormal termination to normal termination by handling exception which keywords we require to use try except try keyword meant up for try block meant up for risky code place okay try meant up for placing risky code sir except block meant up for okay handling code the people who are coming from java background try try is the same but except in java is the catch block in java catch block in python except block both are same remember now have a look once so risky code is uh, sir which is the risky code this is the risky code we have to take this risky code inside a try block okay now try block i'm taking okay next uh, handling code except except uh, zero division error except uh, zero division error if uh, zero division error is coming print a uh, 10 by 2 like this i'm taking sir that's all so risky code i separated into try block try block and the corresponding handling code i kept uh, inside the uh, except block okay that's all now let me execute this code if i execute this one statement one will be printed so here zero division error is coming immediately the control will comes to this one next uh, here 5.0 is going to print and then statement three will be printed now have a look once sir statement one statement one 5.0 and then statement three this is the output by default we are going to get which is a normal termination all the things are very clear right abnormal termination normal termination that is the power of try except blocks okay so up to this whatever we cover just uh, have a look once uh, sir here just uh, I, I showed already i showed already customizer exception and by using try except it is highly recommended to handle exceptions 
the main objective of exception handling graceful termination next the code which may raise an exception is called a risky code remember this one sir the code which may raise an exception is called risky code and we have to take that risky code inside a try block next the corresponding handling code we have to take inside accept block so within the try block if an exception raised immediately accept block is going to execute alternative code is going to execute rest of the program will be continued normally okay have a look once about this one sir here yeah. customize the exception handling by using try accept in the try risky code we have to take inside accept handling code or alternative code so that's all sir the first the two keywords how you can use for exception handling everyone got basic idea about to try and accept keywords any doubt about this sir in the last video we covered try accept a block basic idea now i want to dig a control flow inside a try accept observe carefully sir control flow in try accept blocks how the flow will be there if an exception riser what will happen if an exception not riser what will happen compulsory you should aware okay here very very simple terminology sir here i'm taking try try okay statement 1 statement 2 statement 3 try statement 1 2 3 next uh, except block i'm taking some x x x x x x means either zero division error or value error name of the exception now statement of four okay next after the statement of five now observe carefully statement five is outside of except block okay one two three are within the try block statement 4 inside except block statement 5 outside of except block okay like now multiple cases i have to discuss so that you will get much clarity about the flow very important sir okay listen carefully sir i want to take case 1 case 1 if there is no exception if there is no exception can you please tell what is the flow which statements will be executed please confirm if there is no exception if there is no exception except a block won't be executed because when the except block will execute if there is an exception riser but if there is no exception except a block won't be riser then automatically 1 2 3 1 2 3 and then 5 normal termination remember this so 1 2 3 5 normal termination look at this because there is no exception simple sir 1 2 3 will be executed and then 5 will be executed normal termination okay well now second case so up to this not required to keep any explanation there is no exception except block won't be executed okay well next uh, if yarn exception raised if an exception raised yet uh, statement 2 sir listen very carefully an exception raised uh, yet a statement 2 while well, executing statement 2 an exception raised uh, and and the corresponding except block matched and the corresponding corresponding except block matched corresponding except block matched means uh, sir here zero division error oh this except block for the same zero division error only now what is the flow sir please confirm an exception riser but the corresponding except block is there sir zero division error came except zero division error block is there then what what is the flow please confirm very carefully understand compulsory you have to trace what is the what is the which statements are going to execute sir one one and then two the problem is coming immediately the control will comes to accept a block immediately the control will comes to accept a block now statement 4 will be executed and after statement 4 execution now my doubt is statement 3 will be executed or not getting my point so statement 3 will be executed or not 
after executing statement 4 if the statement 3 will be executed or not okay remember this within the try we have main flow sir try block means main main flow inside except block we have alternative flow alternative alternative flow in the main flow if there is a problem immediately alternative flow got executed once alternative flow executed then the control won't to go back again to execute main flow suppose best example try for bus tickets if the bus ticket is not available try for train ticket okay you got the train ticket after getting train ticket no one is going to try for bus ticket again are you getting right so means that within the try block if anywhere an exception got raised huh? so now immediately the control will comes to accept block rest of the try block won't be executed remember this one sir that's why what is the flow one one will be executed while executing two the problem is coming immediately control will comes to accept block four will be executed one four and then remaining code will be continued normally one four five normal termination one four five normal termination sir so there is the important conclusion compulsory you should aware within the try block anywhere an exception raised anywhere an exception raised so rest of the try block won't be executed even though you handled that exception even we handled rest of the try block won't be executed that's why so inside the try block you have to take only risky code only risky code but not normal code because there is no guarantee for execution of every statement in the try block that's why only risky code we have to take inside try block the length of the try block should be as less as possible remember sir but most of the people what they are going to do is sir abjan try block try block they will take statement one okay dot 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 statement at 10,000 they are going to define statement 10,000 they are going to take okay now here they are going to define except a block except block sir so 10,000 statements are there inside try block if any person who wrote this type of coding if he is standing in front of me i will give left and right the problem here is are you, there is a problem at statement one only there is a problem at statement one immediately the control will come to accept block then without executing 9999 lines of the code how i ex expect proper behavior that's why length of the try block should be as less as possible inside the try block we have to take only risky code but not normal code is it clear for all of it even in the last example also have you remembered right try of statement one statement one statement 10 by 0 statement 3 I took a statement 10 by 0 only in the try block but not the total three statements in the last example if you remember same here see this one sir so it's a clear if an exception raised get the statement to and the corresponding except block matched sir one executed while executing two the problem came immediately control came to accept block and after completing accept block yes a statement five will be executed one four five normal termination any doubt about this one okay well <coughs> now next case listen very carefully if an exception if an exception raised at the statement 2 if an exception raised at a statement 2 statement 2 but corresponding acceptor block not matched <laughs> okay but corresponding but corresponding except the block but corresponding except a block not matched corresponding except a block not not matched what is the flow now so not matched means are here zero division error is coming but this except block for value error or heart problem is coming but the available doctor is high specialist is there <laughs> are you getting so here riser exception but the available except block there is no match at all now this except block is not not the correct code sir what will happen so here an exception riser immediately python virtual mission will check either any handling code handling code is not available because it is not corresponding except block abnormal termination that's why one one followed by abnormal termination 
remember this one one followed by abnormal termination okay this is the flow now the next one very very important sir take a bit special care now the fourth case fourth case if an exception raised yet a statement for if exception raised if exception raised yet a statement of four can you please tell what will happen is it a normal termination or abnormal termination please confirm if an exception raised that statement four is it a normal termination or abnormal termination very important friends please confirm is it normal or abnormal termination yes if an exception raised that statement four is it normal or abnormal sir remember very important conclusion first doubt you may get sir exception should be raised only in the tri block but not inside except block no wherever python code is there there may be a chance of raising an exception so assume i'm checking for bus ticket if the bus ticket not available then i will try for train ticket is there any guarantee train ticket is compulsory available no no so maybe a chance of exception inside except block also okay don't feel exceptions will be raised only in the tri block maybe a chance of rising inside except block inside finally block also so what is finally that part we are going to discuss don't worry sir okay so except inside try inside except inside finally everywhere there is a possibility of rising an exception okay first conclusion next uh, if an exception raised uh, inside except block what will happen sir very simple listen carefully if there is a problem yet a try statement 1 statement 2 statement 3 there are three statements are there inside try block if an exception raised in the try block if an exception raised in the try block try block compulsory okay who is the responsible to handle except block is the responsible except block acts as a guard security person to the try statements remember this one so somewhere outside of try here an exception raised outside of try here an exception raised can i ask this except block to handle that no chance at all boss myself is the responsible only for these three statements only suppose for your house you arranged one security person one security person if anything goes wrong in your house this security person is the responsible suppose in the neighbor's house okay robbery happened robbery happened in the neighbor's house can i ask the security person why robbery happened in the neighbor's house no chance at all because this person is the responsible only for this house not for this house are you getting same way this except block is the responsible only for try block statements not outside the statements are you getting that's why if any statement raising an exception which is not inside the try block which is not inside try block simply abnormal termination remember this one sir so here statement of four not in try block it is inside except block not in try block always abnormal termination because it's not there inside try no except block no except block means abnormal termination next if an exception raised yet a statement five if an exception raised at statement 5 again statement 5 is within the try block or outside of try block i respond within the try block or outside of try block outside of try block correct right so if an exception raised so outside of try block it is always abnormal termination so if an exception raised at statement 4 our statement of five our statement five it is always abnormal termination that's all so with pleasant mind trace each and everything so that you will get much clarity sir next level we have to talk about control flow in try except of finally control flow in nested try except of finally blocks there if you want to understand compulsory here much clarity must be required because the same thing we are going to rediscuss again and again so here better to get much clarity are you in the position to understand right next in addition to this there are three important conclusions i covered have you remembered or not i don't know 
within the tribe block if for anywhere an exception raised the rest of the tribe block won't be executed even though you handled that exception that's why length of the tribe block should be as less as possible we have to take only risky code inside the tribe block okay well next uh, sir there is a possibility of raising an exception inside tribe block inside except block inside finally block also everywhere there is a possibility of raising an exception next uh, so here do you know if any statement outside of tribe block raising an exception it is always abnormal termination remember that okay have a look once i hope these three statements are documented for your reference observe carefully sir within the tribe block if anywhere an exception raised then rest of the tribe block won't be executed even though we handled that exception hence inside tribe block we have to take only risky code and the length of the tribe block should be as less as possible next in addition to tribe block there may be a chance of raising exceptions inside except and finally blocks also don't feel exception should be raised only in the tribe block no next uh, if any statement which is not part of tribe block outside of tribe block raising an exception then it is always abnormal termination okay well then immediately you may ask sir inside except block if an exception raised you are telling abnormal termination can i take uh, this statement for again try accept <laughs> again try accept so try accept inside accept block possible or not are you possible that part don't worry we will discuss in detail next level as of now it is not part of try statement abnormal termination so any doubt about this control flow in try accept the blocks clear right hi friends in the last videos we covered about try block except a block what is the flow control flow in try except up to that we covered sir now the next concept let me talk okay how to print exception information i want to print exception information what is the way sir very simple simple terminology observe carefully here i have try block is there try is there now i'm taking print of 10 by 0 i'm sure i will get zero division error okay because my intention is i want to print its exception information right okay now here i'm taking except a block zero division error zero division error like this we took sir now we wrote the handling code inside except a block suppose my requirement is i want to print the uh, exception information inside except block okay like uh, name of the exception description of the exception type of the exception like i want to print sir what is the way very simple here we require to use except uh, zero division error don't keep immediately colon okay yes yes message like this we have to take sir yes message okay like we have to take so means uh, hold zero division error object okay with the uh, msg reference variable okay so here object got created or not exception object got created for uh, this msg is the reference variable okay like but here one important point you should aware so yas is a python keyword remember this one you can't change this one yas compulsory but instead of msg you can take anything no problem at all yas x yas exception yas e like any name because it's a simply name of the reference variable right sir now inside except block i'm taking print the type of exception print the the type of exception exception like i want to take so what is the type of exception very simple type of message like this we have to take so the type of the type of exception is type of message message like now it will tell class zero division error type like you are going to get sir so sir let me execute up to this you may get some basic idea and then i will i will go further have a look once sir 
here I'm taking a simple example, a simple, a simple example, sir. This is a test I'm taking here. Just a try. I'm trying to take within the try block, within the within the try block, print uh, 10 by 0. Print uh, 10 by 0. Except, uh, except uh, 0 division, except uh, 0 division error. Yes, message. Okay. Sir, here you can take anything. No problem at all. Yes, X you can take. Or yes, E you can take. Or exception we can take. Anything you can take. No problem at all. But uh, yes, message. General my convention I am using, sir. Now print a uh, print a uh, exception type print of exception type exception type so what i have to take sir type of message okay like this i'm taking sir sir let me execute this code have a look once what is the answer by default we will get exception type e class zero division error okay class zero division error like this we are going to get yes this is the way how to print exception type type of the exception but now observe the same thing there is another way is also there to print sir what is that way is print print okay the type of exception print the type of exception exception is there is another way are it is msg it is the reference variable to exception object what is the corresponding class name what is the corresponding class name i want to print very simple msg dot msg dot underscore underscore class underscore underscore class underscore underscore have you observed msg dot underscore underscore class underscore underscore we have to take okay so this one itself a e, to print a class name again so to print a type type only again the same answer we are going to get just have a look once sir sir i'm taking i'm taking so exception type exception type msg dot underscore underscore class underscore underscore now the corresponding class object i'm trying to print if i'm trying to print corresponding class object what the answer we are going to get yes same answer we are going to get friends okay so this is the class this is the class zero division error it is going to print class object okay class zero division error like this we are going to get sir okay now my requirement sir class zero division error i don't want a yeah, simply class name i want exception class name i want what is the way sir very very simple observe carefully right here print print so the exception class name the exception class name name like this i'm taking sir exception class name what is the way is msg dot underscore underscore class underscore underscore it is going to return class object now what is the name of this class what is the name of this class dot dot underscore underscore name underscore underscore we have to take observe very carefully sir this syntax is the very important message msg dot underscore underscore class underscore underscore dot underscore underscore name underscore underscore sir exception object the corresponding class object and the name of that class name of that class like observe the e msg is exception reference to exception object what is the corresponding class class object now what is the name of that class okay just the simply name of that class is zero division error like we are going to get sir okay have a look once about carefully so now i'm taking now print print sir the exception class name okay exception class name sir exception class name sir observe very carefully msg dot underscore underscore class underscore underscore dot underscore underscore name underscore underscore have you observed right this is syntax is a very very important for you people right so it is a reference to exception object now underscore underscore class is going to return underscore underscore class is going to return a reference to class object 
next uh, underscore underscore name returns a name of that uh, class name of that exception what is the answer we will get sir now have a look once exception class name zero division error are you in the position to understand right what is the exception class name zero division error like this right okay well now i am in the position to print type of exception and the name of the exception class sir description i want to description of exception i want sir then very simple print print okay print the description i want observe very carefully the description the description i want description of exception description of exception very simple just the print message directly okay now you are going to get what is the description sir division by zero are you in the position to understand friends now take very special care how to print exception information that's all this is the code you should aware so what is the way how to print the type there are two ways are there to print a class name this is the way next to print description this is the way let me execute this code also here observe a bit very very carefully about this one sir print uh, so the description the description of exception okay description of exception description of exception very simple m s g that's it okay sir now what is the answer by default we are going to get yes observe the description of exception division by zero so is it clear for all of you right so how to print exception information this is the way but one important point you should aware yes it is the keyword compulsory you should use as only next instead of msg msg is the reference variable to exception object you can use any name there is no problem at all don't feel compulsory we should use okay msg only sir i want to replace msg with e is it acceptable or not observe carefully sir just uh, let me replace uh, msg with e sir what is the type of e what is the e dot class name next next e dot next and after that e like this i am taking sir 100 percent pakka this one is acceptable msg i replace it with e yes observe that the same answer by default we are going to get just uh, it is the name of the variable any name you can use no problem at all so clear not required to keep any explanation about how to print exception information to the console let me go for one more example so that you will get much clarity right sir just observe a bit very carefully here i'm taking try block okay x is equal to int of input a enter enter first number enter enter first number like this i'm taking of course this example we covered multiple times even in the last session also sir int a input a enter enter second number enter second second uh, number like this i'm taking sir sir now what i have to take print uh, print uh, the result uh, print uh, the result uh, x by y i'm taking print the result is x by y now except uh, except uh, here take very special care about this uh, terminology right sir in this code which type of errors are possible can you please spell out which type of errors are possible either zero division error is possible or value error is possible are you getting zero division error is possible or value error is possible right except so here i'm taking sir base exception base exception like this i'm taking sir base exception yes m s g so if i can take a parent so this person can handle either base exception or its child classes oh means uh, so both the things that this except block is going to handle except uh, base exception yes message okay like now i'm trying to take here print the type of exception print the type the type of exception is uh, type of message like this i'm taking sir type of exception type of message next uh, print uh, print uh, again i'm trying to take the type of exception 
sir to print a type of exception there is another way is there can you please spell out what is the other way sir m s g dot underscore underscore class underscore underscore okay like i'm trying to take sir m s g dot underscore underscore class underscore underscore like sir now print a print print of sir now the name of the exception can you please confirm what is the way just now we covered the name of exception what is the name of exception sir yeah can you please guide what is the name of the exception very simple yeah here m s g dot underscore underscore dot underscore underscore name okay like sir now print print the description print the the description description okay like i'm taking so what is the description sir m s g that's all you have to take so now take very special care if a zero division error is coming now this uh, it is going to print uh, information about zero division error if a value error is coming this one is going to print uh, value error information is it clear for all of you right okay let me execute this code sir here one point you should aware if you write except a base exception if you are taking parent parent exception it can handle parent and it's a child classes also it can handle base exception and it's a child classes also no problem at all are you in the position to understand right now you have a look once sir sir here the same example but only difference is instead of msg i'm using e because acceptable acceptable no issue at all now have a look once sir here just uh, observe carefully enter first number 10 enter second number 2 sir the result 5.0 no exception enter first number 10 enter second number 0 0 now observe yes perfectly it is going to tell what is the exception type what is the exception type sir what is the class name zero division error what is the description division by zero sir now let me again let me print uh, here 10 but second one i'm taking to sir value error we are going to get now observe carefully exception type okay value error type value error class name value error description of the exception invalid the literal with the base 10 to this is the description of the exception right so everyone in the position to understand how to print exception information if you want to print exception class name if you want to print description if you want to print the type so what is the way clear any explanation is required that's all sir in the last video we covered how to print exception information to the console now the next one sir try with the multiple except the blocks sir. very very important concept sir sir best example if you are going to ask sir just usually in the classroom sir what is your name observe the first question they are asking sir what is your name name like this right immediately i can tell are my name is durga like like this i'm telling yes acceptable okay sir what is your name now i'm telling my name is durga so based on the question i provided corresponding answer now immediately students are asking sir what is your qualification what is what your qualification qualification like uh, they are asking then immediately my answer is my answer is my name is durga like this i'm telling sir my name is durga like this i'm telling then immediately student asked again sir you didn't listen my question properly sir what is your qualification okay like they asked then i told my name is durga <laughs> like i told sir my name is durga like this i told then okay student may feel sir is not interested to tell his name okay like uh, immediately is going to change the question sir what is your native place okay what is your native native place sir? like he asked sir like then immediately i told my name is uh, durga like this i told sir my name is durga then student uh, definitely is going to feel are sir mental or pagal ho gaya why he is telling the same answer for any question okay like definitely student is going to get that doubt correct right because the answer should be based on the question if he, if he is asking about name we have to tell the name 
if we are asking about qualification we have to tell about qual- qualification if he is asking about native place then i have to tell my native place are you getting so the answer should be based on the question not uh, sir for any question same answer is not acceptable but in our academics btec or uh, btec or intermediate 10th class you know any question same answer sir for academics it's okay but in programming this type of thing is not possible remember that's why so the answer is varied from question to question the way of handling an exception is varied from sir exception type to exception suppose arithmetic zero division error came are perform these alternative arithmetic operations database error came oh don't use oracle better to use mysql sir if a file not found error okay came don't use a remote file better to use a local file sir have you observed the way of handling an exception is a varied from exception to exception that's why for every exception type compulsory we have to take separate except a block remember for every exception type we have to take separate except a block so try with the multiple except blocks possible recommended to you sir remember this one sir so because the way of handling an exception is varied from exception to exception that's why the way of uh, so handling an exception is varied for every exception type separate except block we have to take try with the multiple except blocks is possible recommended to you sir. are you in the position to understand right sir let me go for a small example so that you may get much clarity here see see this point very carefully sir sir i'm taking here try try i'm taking now do you know here just uh, take very very special very very special care sir what is the syntax let me let me explain sir i'm taking except except sir zero division error except zero zero division error error like this i'm taking sir except zero division error now perform perform alternative perform alternative arithmetic operations perform alternative arithmetic operations operations like uh, i'm taking sir next uh, except uh, except uh, sir file not found error came except uh, file not found error came except file not found error came then automatically do you know use a re- local file use a local file instead of use a local file instead of remote file instead of remote file like sir have you observed so if it is zero division error okay we have some handling code if it is a file not found error we have the corresponding handling code right the way of handling an exception is varied from exception to exception that's why so for every exception type separate except block we have to take so try with the multiple except blocks is possible recommended to use are you in the position to understand right any explanation is required okay like but here one small point you should have so based on raised exception okay some exception got raised sir immediately python virtual mission is always going to give the chance uh, for the first one are are you can you handle this exception or not if it is matched uh, it will execute if it is not matched uh, then it will ask a second one so python virtual mission is always going to give the chance uh, from top to bottom from top to bottom until matched except block available remember this one sir python virtual mission is always going to consider from top to bottom until matched except block available okay remember this one sir so that's all try with multiple except blocks possible how the order python virtual mission is always going to consider from top to bottom okay have a look once sir just a theory and then i will go for small example okay try with multiple except blocks the way of handling an exception is varied from exception to exception hence for every possible exception type we have to take separate except a block so try with multiple except blocks is possible under recommended to use correct okay next uh, here observe what is the syntax right 
सर हियर ट्राई ओके एक्सेप्ट जीरो डिवीजन एरर परफॉर्म अल्टरनेटिव अर्थमेटिक ऑपरेशंस एक्सेप्ट अ फाइल नॉट फाउंड एरर यूज अ लोकल फाइल इंस्टेड ऑफ रिमोट फाइल ओके लाइक इफ ट्राई विथ मल्टीपल एक्सेप्ट ब्लॉक्स अवेलेबल देन प्लीज रन राइज द एक्सेप्शन द करस्पोंडिंग एक्सेप्ट ब्लॉक विल बी एग्जीक्यूटेड इज इट क्लियर फॉर ऑल ऑफ यू राइट अप टू दिस सो कैन आई गो फॉर ए स्मॉल एग्जीक्यूटेबल एग्जांपल सो दैट यू विल गेट मच क्लैरिटी एनी डाउट अप टू दिस sir let me go for a small executable code observe carefully here i'm taking try try block x is equal to int of input a enter enter first number enter first number okay like i'm taking sir next y is equal to int of input a enter enter second number enter first number enter second number like this i am taking now my target is sir print the result the result okay is x by y i am taking sir now take very special care here in this code which type of exceptions are possible one is zero division error second one is so if you didn't provide int value but you are trying to type cast to the int type then we are going to get value error so two possible errors are there for every exception compulsory it's a recommended to write separate except block okay now i'm taking except except zero division error except zero division error error i'm taking except zero division error now print can't divide with zero can't divide can't divide with zero with zero that's all this is the thing i'm taking just for syntax familiarity beyond that nothing so except a block zero division error can't divide with zero sir now except value error value error i'm taking now print print please provide please provide int values only please provide int int values only like this i am taking please provide int values only now take very special care about about this one sir so how many try blocks are there only one try block but how many except blocks are there two except block for every exception type a separate except block i wrote yes it is acceptable recommended to use this type of style only let me execute this one if zero division error is coming now this this except block will execute if value error is coming then this except block is going to execute sir sir have a look once here i'm taking here just i'm taking same example already i took x and y the result x by y zero division error to divide with zero value error please provide into values only okay like now sir here let me execute then to no exception no except block will execute simply the result 5.0 no except block will execute sir simply it is the 5.0 now let me execute enter first number 10 enter second number 0 enter second number 0 then immediately can't divide with zero remember this one so which except block got executed yes this except block got executed because zero division error got raised sir now sir if if we if we can take 10 enter second number 2 so 2 can't can't convert into int type value error that's why please provide please provide int values only okay like we are getting please provide int values only value error right so based on raised exception the corresponding except block is going to be executed any doubt about this one so try with the multiple except blocks is possible or not yes possible based on raised exception the corresponding except block is going to be executed is it clear for all of you right okay well now there is one small point continuation point is there sir so if try with the multiple except blocks are there the order is important remember python virtual machine is always going to consider from top to bottom python virtual machine is always going to consider from top to bottom until matched matched except block identified remember once uh, i identified matched except block remaining things i don't want to search okay that is the rule what python virtual machine is going to follow have a look once about this rule 
okay just uh, i will i will explain with an example don't worry at all observe that if you try with the multiple acceptor blocks available then the order of these acceptor blocks is important remember this one order is important python virtual machine will always consider from top to bottom until matched acceptor block identified is it clear right sir can you please explain with a small example like you may ask observe carefully sir here i want to take uh, a small a small example just observe i don't want uh, this much code for this example just uh, have a look once about this one sir here i'm taking sir see try i'm taking try try i'm taking print uh, 10 by 0 print uh, 10 by 0 now accept a block i'm taking accept a block here zero division error zero division error like this i'm taking sir zero division error sir print print zero division error just a print zero division error like this i'm taking next accept accept arithmetic error accept arithmetic error like this i'm taking accept arithmetic error print print arithmetic error print arithmetic arithmetic error error like this i'm taking sir that's all sir now take very special care about about this terminology right sir here zero division error is going to come zero division error will come so first python virtual mission is always going to give the chance from top to bottom sir first it will ask oh you accept a block can you handle zero division error or not then this person is going to tell yes man i can handle oh identified corresponding accept block identified now it will execute so what is the output we are going to get sir zero division error what the output we are going to get zero division error now same program let me change the order of accept blocks okay observe carefully try try print a ah, 10 by 0 try print of 10 by 0 except except okay well so what i have to take except first let me take arithmetic error arithmetic arithmetic error let me take arithmetic error so now sir print a ah, arithmetic error the first first i'm taking arithmetic error arithmetic error next except zero division error i'm taking zero division error except uh, zero division error i'm taking now print a uh, zero division error same example sir only difference is i change the order order can you please tell now which one is going to execute sir have you remembered exception hierarchy somewhere i covered zero division error zero division error error is the child class of zero division error is the child class of arithmetic error arithmetic error arithmetic error arithmetic error is the child class of exception 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 is the child class of base exception <coughs> base uh, exception okay like like we covered this one sir now so observe carefully whenever zero division error came immediately python virtual machine will ask hey accept a block first accept a block can you handle zero division error or not it will ask automatic error sir then immediately this person is telling hey i can handle arithmetic error and its child classes arithmetic error and its child classes arithmetic error and its child classes means zero division error also it can handle boss i can handle zero division error no problem at all because zero division error is my child class only this person is going to tell so if this person identified what the output we are going to get sir arithmetic error are you getting what the output we are going to get arithmetic error in this case so zero division error never going to get in the chance so even it never going to get in the chance because zero division error responsibility this person is going to handle so there is no error at all but it's a valid syntax but only first one is going to be considered are you in the position to understand so order matters a lot so it is a python virtual machine is always going to consider from top to bottom 
until matched except the block identified is it clear for all of you right so if i can take this order now zero division error if i change the order now automatic error we are getting let me execute let me confirm observe carefully about this one sir here i'm taking here just uh, my requirement is i don't want all print uh, 10 by 0 0 division error i'm taking just let me change this code based on our requirement zero division error sir what is the second one sir arithmetic error okay arithmetic error okay now sir here arithmetic error like this i'm taking arithmetic error so the first one zero division error second one arithmetic error right okay now observe carefully sir in this case which one is the matched thing the matched thing is so first one first one is the matched zero division error we will get okay now have a look once i will execute this code observe carefully what the answer we are getting zero division error suppose if i change the order sir if i change the order first arithmetic error first arithmetic error under then zero division error i'm taking now sir which one is the answer we are going to get arithmetic error we will get because it is the first first match match thing sir now observe arithmetic error by default we are getting so friends everyone in the position to understand right so if try with the multiple except blocks are there order is important python virtual machine is always going to consider from from top to bottom until matched except block identified any doubt about this one that's all friends hi friends in the last video we co we covered try with the multiple except blocks okay so for the same try you can take multiple except blocks possible recommended try. sir now the next possible syntax single except block that can handle multiple different exceptions single except block that can handle multiple different exceptions right sir very simple sir i have zero division error is there value error is there for both the handling code is the same assume that handling code is the same if handling code is the same for both exception what is the need of taking separate except blocks are you can take single except block that covers both the both exceptions right how you can do that very simple sir listen carefully right sir here i'm taking same example try except except x is equal to int of input of enter enter first number enter first first number like i'm taking sir next y is equal to int of input of enter enter second number enter second second number like this i'm taking sir now print of the result print of the result x by y like this i'm taking sir okay sir how many possible errors are there zero division error next and after that value error what i want to take for both the errors i want to take single except block what is the possibility what is the syntax very simple sir sir here if i can take except zero division error except zero division error sir this except block can handle only zero division error but i want zero division error value error what is the way very very simple sir except except okay bracket open sir first one zero division error first one zero division error comma comma value error comma value error like so observe the difference here this except is responsible to handle zero division error only but this except can handle either zero division error or value error both so first exception comma second exception comma third exception comma fourth exception like any number but make sure all these exceptions will become tuple that's why here parentheses are mandatory remember but if it's a single exception 
parenthesis is not mandatory optional if you want you can take parenthesis otherwise it is ignored but here compulsory parenthesis must be mandatory sir i want to print exception information also then so what we have to take except zero division error except zero division error comma value error okay yes uh, message like this we have to take observe yes message but make sure yes message we are taking outside of a parenthesis only don't take inside by mistake if you are taking inside immediately error by default you are going to get okay yes message like so either this syntax or this syntax you can use if you want to write single except block for multiple exception sir when we should go for single except block for multiple exceptions if handling code is the same for multiple exceptions instead of taking separate except block take a single except block that the cover both exceptions no problem at all are you in the position to understand right so just have a look once about this theory of course we will continue our executable code here if a multiple if a handling code is the same for multiple exceptions then instead of taking different except blocks we can take single except block that can handle all those exceptions right sir what is the syntax except of exception 1 exception 2 comma dot 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 any number you can take colon next if you want message also yes message like we have to take but make sure yes message variable should be outside of parenthesis only next the parenthesis are mandatory under this group of exceptions internally considered as tuple remember this are you in the position to understand right sir let me continue our example right so here we have two possible exceptions there is a possibility okay like now except except bracket open except bracket open sir first one zero division error first one zero zero division error second one value error zero division error value error yes message like this i am taking now so print exception name print uh, sir which exception got raised which exception got raised it may be zero division error or value error that's why m s g dot underscore underscore class underscore underscore dot underscore underscore name underscore underscore exception name next uh, print uh, print uh, okay please provide valid input only please provide valid valid input only okay like uh, i'm taking this one sir that's all sir now you have to familiar how you can write the uh, except block uh, that can cover both multiple exceptions right is it clear for all of you sir this type of syntax in other languages is also there sir in java multi catch block this is the word in java people are going to use but here this word you should aware now have a look once sir sir let me execute this code so that you people may get much much clarity about this one sir observe very carefully very very carefully here this is enter first number enter second number now have a look about this new syntax right i hope this is the new syntax now have a look so the raised exception what is the name of that exception what is the description of this exception please provide valid input only like this i took sir now observe very carefully about this exception here see sir enter first number 10 enter second number 2 no exception the result 5.0 next uh, enter 10 enter 0 0 sir now zero division error will come if a zero division error came now this except block is the responsible to handle now observe very carefully sir here the raised exception zero division error description of the exception division by zero please provide valid input only like this right okay same way now let me execute this code sir here just uh, let me take sir 10 but second number 2 i am taking now raise the exception of value error so either zero division error or value error both the things uh, this a uh, single except block can handle so single except block that can handle multiple exceptions so now the terminology is the clear what is the syntax how you can use like any doubt about this clear right Hi 
my friends in the last videos we covered sir what is a tri except a block next a control flow in tri except next and after the tri with the multiple except blocks next a single except block that can handle multiple exceptions up to that we covered right now the next thing what i have to discuss default except block remember this one sir the name itself indicates default except block okay so what is the purpose of default except block okay very very simple sir default except block will be executed if there is no other except block matched remember something huh? so default except block will be executed if for no other no other except block matched in general so after handling exception if any new exception is coming if any remaining exceptions are there such a type of such a type of exceptions we can handle by using default except block remember this one sir so when the default except block will be executed if no except block matched then only default except block will be executed generally default except block contains just the printing exception information to the console such type of general information it doesn't contain any specific handling code remember this one sir sir what is the syntax for default except block sir observe a bit very very carefully about this one if i can take except except zero division error i am taking sir except zero zero division error error like this i am taking so except zero division error except zero division error do you know this except block meant for zero division error sir now my requirement so except that's all i'm not mentioning anything i'm not i'm not going to mention anything sir except immediately colon this is called a default except block sir it can handle any type of exception no problem at all any type of exception it can handle so if no other except block matched then only default except block will be executed is it clear for all of friend sir just observe carefully about this one we can use a default except block to handle any type of exceptions next in default except block generally we can print exception information to the console just a print exception information to the console such a type of thing only we can take inside except block sir have you observed right what is the syntax except a colon statements like this right okay so everyone in the position to understand what is the meaning of what is the meaning of default except block let me explain with a small example then you may get much clarity observe carefully right here i'm taking try our same example sir try okay x is equal to int a input a enter enter first number enter first number number like this i'm taking sir enter first number y is equal to int a input a enter enter second number enter second number like this i'm i'm taking sir okay two two values are there print print the result x by y okay the result x by y like i am taking sir sir now i'm taking except except zero division error like this i'm taking except zero division error okay like sir here i'm taking print a zero division error division by zero zero division zero division error error divide by zero divide by zero zero like this i'm taking sir that's all divide by zero like sir now except except okay like i'm taking except sir now print print a default except block print of default default except block default default except block block like provide valid provide int values only int values like this i took sir yes perfect sir now here how many except blocks are there two except blocks one is zero division error second one is what default except block sir now when this default except block will execute if zero division error 
occurs, now this except block is the responsible. Other than zero division error, if any error is coming, now this except block is going to execute, sir. Observe this very carefully. For zero division error, this except block. Other than zero division error, if any other exception came, then automatically this except block is the responsible okay, to execute. Default except block can handle any type of exception. If zero division error, this person is going to take care because it is available. Okay? So if for not zero division error, any other error, yes, this person is the responsible. Suppose if I if I am not taking this one, if I am not taking this one, then this person can handle zero division error also. Okay, that thing, even that facility is also there, sir. Okay, have a look once. Let me execute this code so that you may get much, much clarity about this terminology, right? Of course, uh, let me cross check. Uh, maybe this code is available with me. Not required. Sir, this code, this code may be, may be available here. Just uh, observe a bit very, very carefully about this one. That's all, sir. Sir, here take a bit special care. Try. X is equal to input of enter first number. X is equal to int of input of enter second number. Okay, except zero division error. Yes, print uh, zero division error can't divide with zero. Sir, next except uh, default like. Uh, sir, now from this example, you people should require to familiar with this. This is called what uh, default except block. If zero division error is coming, this person is going to take care. Any other thing is coming, then automatically this default except block is going to execute, sir. Sir, now let me execute this code. Have a look once, sir. Enter first number 10. Enter second number 2. No except. 5.0 we are getting perfectly sir now i'm taking enter first number 10 enter second number 0 now observe 0 division error 0 division error can't divide with a 0 have you observed first except block got executed okay well sir now now enter first number 10 enter second number 2 sir sir now value error will come for value error default except block is going to execute now observe this one default except block default except block please provide valid input only so for zero division error first one is going to execute for a remaining second one is going to execute sir suppose if i remove this one now this default except block can handle zero division error also have a look once let me remove first except block let me let me remove this first except block if i remove this one okay now for all exceptions this default except block will execute sir now observe 10 enter first number 10 enter second number 0 then what the answer we are getting default except block please provide valid input only okay like so even for zero division error also same default except block executed sir enter first number 10 enter second number 2 now observe that for this also default except block executed so default except block can handle any type of exception no problem at all generally we are going to print uh, such just exception and information to the console because it is no way related to particular exception so this is the generic handling code for any type of exception are you in the position to understand any doubt about this one yes friends clear now i have one small doubt sir sir in our example how many except blocks are there i respond how many how many except blocks are there two except blocks what are the first one except zero division error second one default except block where i'm taking this default except block ah, respond where i'm taking the, this default except block at last last okay like uh, sir can i take uh, this default except block sir here yeah the first one yes sir, respond is it possible or not okay i want to take default except block at the beginning okay and then I'm taking zero division error at the second. Can you please tell, is it valid or not? Except uh, zero division error, like, uh, like I'm taking, sir, print uh, zero division error, like this I'm taking. Zero division error, like, like I'm taking. Can you please confirm, is this one, is it valid or not? Respond, respond, very important point. So if uh, multiple except blocks are there, Python virtual machine is always going to give the chance uh, from top to bottom. Correct, right? So if uh, this person can handle any type of exception, any type of exception, 
then the remaining acceptor blocks are never going to get in the channels. Are you getting? So this person more specific to handle zero division error. Next person is the more specific to handle file not found error. So these acceptor blocks never going to get in the channels, which may be the problem. That's why default acceptor block must be last acceptor block. Remember this one, sir. Default acceptor block must be last acceptor block. If you change order, if you are taking anywhere else, uh, immediately we are going to get syntax error. Very, very important, sir. If a default accept block is there, compulsory, it must be last accept block. Okay. Have a look once here. Here in our example. Here in our example. Sir, so two things are there. Two things are there. First, I am taking normal accept block. Second one default acceptor block. Default acceptor block I took at the last, no problem at all. So that's why it is valid, sir. That's why it is it is the valid. No problem, it's executing, sir. Now what I'm taking, sir. Let me remove default acceptor block and the place uh, yeah, the first one. <laughs> yeah, the, yeah, the first one. Observe that. So first which acceptor block? Default acceptor block. And then accept the zero division error. If I can ask Python virtual machine. Can you please execute this one? Immediately Python virtual mission will give left and right. Okay? What the reason you are taking? So default accept block at the first, then the remaining accept blocks never going to get in the chance. That's why have a look once. Here, just uh, here the point is observe carefully, right? Sir, can you please observe? Syntax error. Syntax error. Default accept block must be last one. Default accept block must be last. So clear it is going to tell. Boss, default accept block you have to take yet last. Are you in the position to understand, right? But this rule is applicable only for default accept block, not for remaining accept blocks. So suppose here I have except uh, zero division error i have except uh, value error is there sir i have except value error is there so value error zero division error you can take in any order no problem but compulsory default accept block should be my last accept block if it is there are you getting the point so for normal accept block order i mean in any order you can take no problem at all but python virtual machine is always going to give from top to bottom but a default accept block must be last accept block okay so now observe if i can take this one if i can take this uh, Sir, happily. So, if I can take this one now, now it it, it definitely it is that's all. Except the default, except the block, it will become valid, no problem at all. Now my program execution started. Now my program execution started. Happily, it's going to run, sir. Suppose I have, suppose I have, sir, another except the block is there. Except the value error like this, I'm taking, sir. Except value error like like I'm taking. Sir, now take very special care about this one. Except value error like. So now these two things uh, you can take in any order acceptable. Yes, friends. I'm not seeing any any problem at all. Yes, value. Suppose if I can take uh, this one, yeah, the first one. This one, yeah, the first. Yes, no issue at all. Only rule default accept block should be last. This one is also perfectly valid. We are not going to get any syntax error. Are you getting the point right? So what is a default accept block? So what is the syntax? Next, uh, this point, can you please observe? If a default accept block is uh, defined, then compulsory it must be last except block otherwise we will get syntax error clear right next uh, this restriction is applicable only for default except block but not for normal except blocks that is a normal except blocks can be in any order no problem okay you can take in any order but python virtual mission is always going to give the precedence from top to bottom is it clear for all operate what is the default except block Sir, up to this, we covered various types of accept blocks. Accept block that can handle one exception. Accept block, okay, that can handle multiple exceptions. Next, default accept block, like uh, we covered multiple types of accept blocks, right? Now, 
let me discuss let me summarize all these except blocks you may get one or two new points also observe carefully sir various possible combinations of except blocks how you can use what are various possible syntaxes are there for the for the except blocks right okay here just observe a bit very very carefully about this one sir here i'm taking except except i want to i want to write except block sir to handle zero division error zero division error except zero division error perfectly it is a value can you please tell this except block can handle how many exceptions only one exception are you getting if only one exception is there okay sir you can take this exception within parenthesis or without parenthesis also parenthesis are optional if you are writing except block for one exception i covered already this point in the last videos right sir now the same thing even you can write like this also except zero division error except zero division error yes you can take within parenthesis also it is also acceptable right okay well sir now the third point now the third third point right sir observe this one sir if only one exception is there parenthesis if you want you can take otherwise not required sir next uh, i want to sir access uh, exception information i want to print exception information then yes yes keyword we require to use okay now except except zero division error except zero division error yes message like i'm taking except zero division error yes message like i'm taking sir sir can you please tell is it valid or not yes perfectly it shall be the valid now except except zero division error except zero zero division error error okay yes message remember this very carefully sir if you want to sir use yes message compulsory it should be outside of parenthesis only remember this one by mistake if you are taking within parenthesis immediately error we are going to get sir take very special care it should be outside of parenthesis only okay like so to handle single exception sir how many syntaxes are there so this next with yes these are the things sir next sir if i consider fifth one listen carefully i want to handle multiple exceptions i want to handle multiple multiple exceptions right now except except sir here zero division error zero division error error comma value error like this i am taking sir yes it is a value but whenever we are handling multiple exceptions parenthesis are mandatory remember this one compulsory parenthesis must be there okay like sir now now so except except zero division error except zero division error error comma value error okay yes message like this i'm taking sir i want to access exception information also then automatically yes message like we have to take but take very special care this yes message should be outside of okay this parenthesis is it clear right next sir what the next sir we covered one more default except block what is the syntax for default except block except okay like this for effectively these are valid combinations of valid possibilities of except block syntax everyone in the position to understand right okay sir just uh, i will tell some more you have to decide whether these are valid or invalid observe very carefully sir what is the first one i'm taking first one except except zero division except zero division error error yes message like this i'm taking sir 
can you please confirm is it valid or invalid invalid what is the reason for that yes a message yes a message should be outside of parenthesis only okay so this is invalid right now i'm taking except except sir here just my requirement is except zero division error except zero division error comma comma value error except zero division error comma value error like this can you please confirm is it valid or invalid invalid what is the reason is if you want to write except block that can handle multiple exceptions parenthesis are mandatory that's why it is the invalid right now if i can write like this except except zero division error except zero division error error comma value error except zero division error comma value error okay yes message like this i'm taking sir can you please confirm is it valid or not this one is also invalid but the reason for that is yes message you are taking inside the parenthesis within the parenthesis compulsory as yes message should be outside of parenthesis are you in the position to understand so what are various possible syntaxes valid syntaxes for okay except a block invalid syntaxes for except a block so clear right just have a look once about this here see this one what are various possible combinations of except blocks except zero division error except zero division error within within what we call parenthesis acceptable except zero division error yes message valid except zero division error yes message no problem so if you are going to handle one exception parenthesis are optional next yes message compulsory should be outside 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 of that only next except uh, zero division error value error valid so whenever we are talking about multiple exception parenthesis are mandatory okay here sir parenthesis outside of parenthesis yes message valid now except a colon default except block any doubt about this clear right next uh, have a look once about this right sir now if except a block is defined for only one exception then parenthesis are optional remember so if exception except a block is defined for only one exception then parenthesis are optional if multiple exceptions are there then parenthesis are mandatory remember next if we use parenthesis then yes yes must be outside of parenthesis only i told already multiple times sir now observe invalid combinations invalid combinations why the first one is the invalid the reason for that yes message you are taking within the parenthesis next why second one is invalid because multiple exceptions are there compulsory parenthesis are mandatory next third one so why so yes message you are taking within the parenthesis that's why it is invalid any doubt about this one so what are various possible syntaxes for except block valid syntaxes invalid syntaxes it's a very clear not required to keep any explanation clear right sir up to this we covered very clearly about try and accept the keywords now i'm ready to go for next keyword very important keywords are finally block okay finally this keyword we are going to discuss sir just observe have a have a look once very important sir sir i'm taking try block within the try block just open db connection can you please open database connection i'm taking next uh, read the data read the data from database read data from database and then close uh, db connection can you please close close db db connection like this i'm taking sir next and after that except a block is there okay except uh, now the corresponding handling code i'm taking sir okay like sir do you know open db connection read the data from the database 
what is the third line can you please read this sir close database connection closing database connection this this code is called resource deallocation code are you getting what is what is this code sir resource deallocation we are releasing releasing the resources resource deallocation code sometimes uh, we can use the word clean up code remember this one this code is also known as clean up clean up code right okay resource deallocation code or clean up clean up code now the point is can you please tell placing clean up code inside a try block is it recommended or not recommended yes friends i'm taking a resource clean up code okay clean up code i'm taking inside try block is it recommended or not recommended okay the answer not recommended what is the problem why this code we can't place here what the what the problem is suppose observe i open db connection successfully while reading the data from the database there is a problem came sir there is a there is a problem some error db error came if the db error came immediately the control will goes to accept a block without executing this one so without executing this the control will goes to accept block means uh, do you know no one is going to close the db connection one database connection is going to be wasted correct or not one db connection is going to be wasted so that's why never recommended to take clean up code inside a try block because there is no guarantee for the execution of every statement present inside try block sir before this line only exception came even you handle that exception but this line is not going to execute that's why resource deallocation code clean up code never recommended to place inside the try block is it clear right now observe the second scenario here i'm taking try block try block open db connection open open db connection db connection next uh, read read the data from the database read the data from the database read the data from the database next uh, here i'm taking accept a block close db connection accept a block close db connection oh now observe this so clean up code where we are taking inside accept block resource deallocation code where we are taking inside accept block can you please tell is it recommended or not recommended yes friend it's a two worst not recommended because the reason is if there is no exception in the try block no exception then accept a block won't be executed if accept a block not executed who is going to close the db connection no one is going to close that's why so never recommended to maintain clean up code inside accept a block because if there is no exception accept a block won't be executed is it clear for all of you sir observe very carefully never recommended to maintain clean up code inside try block because there is no guarantee for execution of every statement inside a try block never recommended to maintain clean up code inside accept a block because if there is no exception then accept a block is not secured okay so where i have to place clean up code okay to maintain clean up code compulsory some place must be required which should be executed always irrespective of whether exception raised not raised handle or not handle sir in any case that the place should be executed such a type of best place is nothing but finally block remember this one sir such a type of best place is nothing but finally block finally block meant for resource deallocation code maintenance sake so inside finally block which code we are going to take resource deallocation code clean up code we have to take any doubt up to this are you in the position to understand right so what is the purpose of finally block to maintain clean up code okay well sir now observe the syntax right <coughs> here try try okay next up within the try 
which code we have to take inside try block risky code we have to take inside try risky code next uh, accept uh, accept uh, inside accept block which code we have to take handling code are you getting inside accept block handling code next uh, inside finally block which code we have to take clean up code okay clean up code now so three blocks uh, three purposes so purposes are completely different try so to maintain risky code accept a block to maintain handling code finally block to maintain clean up code next uh, what is the speciality of finally block very very important sir finally block speciality is it will be executed always irrespective of whether exception raised or not raised handle not handle sir in any case finally block is always going to execute finally is the believable place to maintain clean up code are you in the position to understand just have a look once here finally block it is not recommended to place clean up code clean up code resource reallocation code like a closing database connection inside a try block because there is no guarantee for execution of every statement inside a try block next uh, it is not recommended to place clean up code inside except a block because if there is no exception then except a block won't be executed okay well sir now hence uh, we required some place to maintain clean up code which should be executed always irrespective of whether exception raised or not raised and whether exception handled or not handled such a type of best place is nothing but what finally block okay well sir hence the main purpose of finally block is to maintain clean up code very very important sir what is the purpose of finally block to maintain clean up code now observe the possible syntax here have a look once sir so try risky code inside except block handling code inside finally block clean up code the speciality of finally block is it will be executed always irrespective of whether exception raised or not raised and whether exception handled or not handled in any case finally block will be executed clear right what is the purpose of finally block next what is the speciality of finally block any doubt sir up to this it is very clear what is the purpose of finally block what is the speciality of finally block the purpose of finally block is to maintain clean up code the speciality of finally block is it will be executed always irrespective of whether exception raised not raised handle or not handle right in any case sir finally block is always going to execute sir where is the proof can you please explain with examples like you may ask observe carefully right sir i want to take multiple cases case 1 case 1 if if there is no exception if no exception okay in this case finally block will be executed or not okay let me check sir here i'm taking try block try block print of try try block print of try next uh, accept a block print of accept print of accept accept i'm taking next uh, finally finally print a uh, finally like this i'm taking sir print of finally can you please tell what is the output we will get if i run this code yes response what is the output we are going to get in this case yes first try will be printed next uh, there is no exception if there is no exception except a block is not going to execute so finally will be executed sir sir try followed by finally finally will be executed it's a very clear if there is no exception then finally block will be executed correct right sir have a look once let me execute this code sir the same thing only here i have try print uh, try block next accept a zero division error print of accept finally sir like this uh, finally block let me execute this code have a look once what is the answer by default you are going to get is 
pi followed by finally perfectly if there is no exception finally block will be executed is it clear for all of you right any doubt about this one okay well let me take a second case sir exception raised exception raised but handle and the handle no problem at all sir case 2 i'm taking observe case 2 okay my second case is sir if exception raised if exception raised raised and and handled if exception raised and handled handled sir if exception raised and handled what is the output very simple observe carefully try sir print of try block i'm taking print of try next print of 10 by 0 sir exception got raised exception got raised zero division error is going to come now sir except except zero division error except zero division error i'm getting sir here print of except a block print of except except a block next finally finally print of finally i'm taking print of finally can you please confirm what is the output we are going to get sir very simple if an exception raised but handled the corresponding except block is available what is the flow what is the output sir very simple here try here try will be printed here an exception got raised immediately the control will go to except block the control will go to except block inside except block yes except 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 like it's going to execute and after that finally block will be continued normally that's all are you getting so if exception raised and handled compulsory finally block is going to execute is it clear right sir let me execute this combination also here try print of try block sir just a print of 10 by 0 i'm taking print of 10 by 0 10 by 0 i'm taking sir sir observe a bit very carefully so first try will execute here an exception got raised now this is the corresponding except block now it is going to be executed and the then finally block will be continued normally so try except finally is the output we are going to get sir now observe carefully what the answer we are getting try except finally this is the answer we are going to get sir okay well sir now the next thing what i have to discuss very very important point sir what the remaining case can you please explain yes boss no exception next uh, if exception raised and handled what the remaining case if an exception raised but not handled an exception raised but not handled okay sir now case 3 observe carefully if if exception if exception raised if exception raised but not handled but not handled if exception raised but not handled what will happen finally block is going to execute or not sir abjan try try print of try block i'm taking print of try next uh, print of 10 by 0 i'm taking sir print of 10 by 0 oh zero division error is coming sir here i'm taking except a block except a block sir here value error except a block value error i'm taking now print a except print of except next finally print a finally block print a finally block like can you please confirm what is the output you are going to get sir very very important so exception raised right exception got raised but not handled because zero division error came but available except block is for value error zero division error but available except block is what value error okay very very important point sir so now the important conclusion here is suppose you are getting heart problem but the available doctor is high specialist is available there is no he can't handle the situation the same sir now try try will be printed zero division error riser but there is no except block abnormal termination 
but uh, before abnormal termination finally block will be executed remember this one that's why so try followed by finally and then so abnormal termination zero division error will be raised abnormal termination zero division error by default will be raised so everyone in the position to understand right so what is the purpose of so here finally block what is the speciality of finally block even in the case of abnormal termination also finally block will be executed first finally block and then abnormal termination is going to be happened okay have a look once here so try print of try so print of 10 by 0 print of here value error are you getting print of value error like this i'm taking sir can you please confirm what is the answer we are going to get okay here see this one first try will be printed normally here here so zero division error is coming but there is no corresponding except block if there is no corresponding except block it is always abnormal termination but uh, before abnormal termination finally block will be executed only finally block will be executed now observe carefully what answer we are going to get sir yes try try finally under then zero division error abnormal termination so that's all these three cases are very important to describe the speciality of finally block have you observed if there is no exception finally executed next if an exception raised handled finally executed if an exception raised but not handled abnormal termination but before abnormal termination finally got executed so clear proof finally is always going to execute irrespective of whether exception raised not raised handled or not handled that is the speciality of finally block clear right so everyone got the clarity what is finally block so what is the speciality of finally block any explanation is required clear sir up to this we covered very clearly about what is the purpose of finally block what is the speciality of finally block clear right so what is the speciality of finally block can you spell out finally block will be executed always irrespective of whether exception raised not raised handled or not handled up to that we covered sir now just observe I have one scenario is there. Okay, have a look once, sir. Try. Okay, there is a big code is there. Okay, inside try block, there is a big code is there, sir. And then here accept block I have. Okay, now some handling code is there. Handling, handling code is there. And then finally block. Okay, here some some cleanup code is there, sir. Now take very special care. What is the biggest specialty of finally block? Finally block will be executed always irrespective of whether exception raised, not raised, handled or not handled. In any case, finally block is always going to execute right. Okay, well. Sir, now my important conclusion here, legend. Sir, program execution started. Executing, executing, executing. Observe this. Executing, 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 right. Now, almost uh, end of try block, almost end of try block, suddenly power gone. So, what we call electricity, power gone. There is no backup facility for my system immediately. So, what will happen in this case? So, my system is going to shut down. In this case, finally block will be executed or not. Are they respond? In this scenario, finally block will be executed or not? No, no. Either Python virtual mission is going to convey to the power, a hey power, please wait some time. Because I have some mandatory work, finally block I should execute. Please wait power, please wait some time. Is it going to tell? No, definitely. So here only the program will be terminated. The system is going to shut down. Then there is no chance of executing finally block. So means that there is only one situation where the finally block won't be executed. Are you getting right? So, entire person may ask the question. Are you are telling finally block will be executed always? 
is there any situation where the final a block won't be executed maybe a chance to ask uh, what the answer you have to tell yes sir there is one situation is there whenever we are executing the program suddenly power gone backup facility is not there then finally block is not going to execute like uh, sir if you are going to tell interview person is going to see from top to bottom are you getting right so you should not tell like this you have to convert the same scenario into technically then interview person is going to accept what that what that technical uh, technical conversion right very simple whenever power gone what will happen system is going to shut down before system shut down my python virtual machine exit so exit python virtual machine exit shut down python virtual machine and then system is going to shut down so if you exit python virtual mission explicitly programmatically in that scenario finally block won't be executed remember this sir then immediately my next question sir how how you can exit uh, my system explicitly how you can shut down python virtual mission explicitly yes there is a way sir oh yes module okay oh yes module contain one method is there underscore exit of zero are you getting os contain one function is there underscore exit of zero if you can call this one then the python virtual machine will be shut down in this particular scenario finally block won't be executed remember this one sir so there is only one situation where the finally block won't be executed that is whenever we are using os dot underscore exit of zero that is once we use the os dot underscore exit of zero my system my python virtual mission will be down no chance of executing finally block are you getting clearly right sir let me execute let me let me go for a small executable program so you may get clarity here see this one here i'm taking try block try block print uh, try sir print uh, try try like this i'm taking sir here except except value error i'm taking except value error print of except print of except except like this i'm taking next try except sir finally finally like this i'm taking print of finally <coughs> print of finally finally like sir if i execute this one what is the answer try finally we know we discussed already right so inside a try block i'm taking os dot underscore exit of zero os dot underscore exit of zero as we are using os better to take import os module import os os dot underscore exit of zero sir now program started it will print a try so output try try and then whenever this line is coming the python virtual mission itself will be down if the python virtual mission itself is going to shut down no further continuation only try itself is the answer are you getting the point right so take very special care about about this particular point okay let me execute this code observe a bit carefully sir later i will talk about theory anyway don't worry here see this one sir here try except try except and then finally what the answer we are going to get sir very simple try followed by finally because i didn't use exit exit function right now let me execute this one what the answer try followed by finally okay like sir now i'm taking here os dot underscore exit of zero i'm taking sir sir what about this is zero i will i will discuss don't worry sir os dot underscore exit of zero i'm taking and at the top import os import os right sir now take very special care okay try will be executed try will be printed whenever this line is coming immediately python virtual machine will shut down python virtual machine will shut down shut down then there is no chance of continuing remaining that's why the output is always what only try only try 
now have a look once about this one sir what is the answer we are going to get only try block we are going to get okay so there is only one situation where finally block won't be executed if the python virtual mission exit explicitly how you can exit explicitly whenever we are using os underscore os dot underscore exit of zero okay like sir now up to this is the clear now what about this os dot underscore exit of zero very simple sir this zero means this zero means status code very important this zero means uh, status code status code so zero means uh, normal termination and uh, non zero means uh, non zero means uh, abnormal termination remember zero means normal termination non zero means abnormal termination internally python virtual mission is going to use this status code okay so whether it is the zero or non zero programmatically the effect is always the same this is just for internal purpose for the python virtual mission so usually we are taking zero sir instead of zero you can take any value no problem at all now observe this one if i can take thousand i am taking sir oh yes sir sir thousand i am taking now observe that either result is the same or not yes the result is always the same sir instead of thousand i'm taking minus one minus one minus one the result is always same there is no problem at all so whether it is zero or non-zero effect is always same but internally python virtual mission is going to use uh, this status code just for internal logging purpose internal reporting purpose it may be used uh, being a programmer we are not required to worry about uh, this value any doubt about this one clear for all of you right so what is the purpose of finally block what is the specialty of finally block when the finally block won't be executed what is exceptional case okay just uh, have a look once about whatever we covered up to this right okay os dot underscore exit of zero versus finally block okay now observe there is only one situation where finally block won't be executed that is whenever we are using os dot underscore exit of zero okay like sir whenever we are using os dot underscore exit of zero then python virtual mission itself itself will be shut down in this particular case finally block won't be executed clear right now have a look once sir sir what about zero here zero represents a status code zero means normal termination non zero means abnormal termination this status code internally used by python virtual mission whether it is zero or non zero there is no difference in the result of the program the program python virtual mission is always going to shut down there is no change in the result whether it is a zero or non zero is it clear for all of you right yes friends any doubt about this one okay so if you feel comfortable so to describe this to remember this one let me create a small analogy so that you may get much clarity right sir observe a bit very carefully a funny example but it's going to provide much much clarity sir what it is anyone can you please tell <laughs> yes friends what 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 it is yes what what this one what are you what you are feeling are you feeling like uh, is it boat is it sail uh, it's a, it's a water assume that water it is a river sir so in the river the boat is there observe very very carefully about this one boat is there sir now in this boat sailor is there okay sailor sailor is there who is the responsible to drive this boat now what happened is one passenger came okay he asked the sailor ray i want to i want to can you can you please provide help to cross this river like uh, he asked then immediately sailor is telling yes sir if the cost is some 10 dollars or 20 dollars like uh, he is going to convey then he is going to accept and uh, he will ask one thing Hey, I don't know about, uh, I'm full fear of water, water, if anything goes wrong, are you going to help me or not? Like, uh, so he's, he's asking the sailor, then immediately the answer from the sailor is, 
अरे आई विल ऑलवेज प्रोवाइड सपोर्ट डोंट वरी आई विल ऑलवेज प्रोवाइड सपोर्ट डोंट वरी ओके लाइक ईज गोन टू ईज गोन टू कन्वे नौ दिस पैसेंजर एंटर्ड इन टू द बोट ओके वेल नौ बोट स्टार्टेड सर नौ द बोट बोट स्टार्टेड अबर्व केरफुली नौ द बोट स्टार्टेड सर वेन एवर द बोट ईज इन मिडिल ऑफ रिवर वट एपन ये सर हिय देर इज समथिंग हैपन टू दिस बोट Slowly, water is entering into the boat. Now, slowly, boat starts sinking into the water. The depth of this river is very, very high. Even not possible to swim. Also, swimming also not possible, right? Then the total boat slowly starts sinking into the water. Even sailor also can't do anything. Okay? Then immediately this passenger asked, "Who is sailor?" you told you are going to provide support for me but now you are not doing anything you are not doing anything you did a big fraud like a passenger is going to ask the sailor then immediately sailor is telling sir if i am safe if i am safe definitely i will provide support for you myself is going to be down if myself is going to be down where is the chance of providing support sorry sir i can't do anything in this case because myself is going to be sink into the water here swimming also not possible like this person told are you getting right so if this person is the safe then there may be a chance of providing service for this passenger if this uh, sailor itself is not in safe condition then where is the provide where is the chance of providing support for the passenger are you getting the thing right sir the same thing here is happening in our scenario also sir observe this a sailor is a nothing but pvm python virtual mission this a passenger itself is a nothing but finally black okay passenger itself is nothing but finally black so now python virtual mission told to the finally black hey finally black i will always execute you no problem at all you are very special person for me okay i will always execute i will always execute this finally block don't worry like python virtual mission told told but uh, whenever we are using o s dot underscore exit of zero okay immediately immediately finally block is not going to execute then immediately finally block ask the pvm hey pvm why you are not providing support why you are not providing support to me like uh, then the pvm is going to tell are myself is going to be shut down because whenever we are using os dot exit of zero so python virtual mission itself is going to be shut down if the python virtual mission itself is going to be shut down where is the chance of executing finally black are you in the position to understand right so if the pvm is there definitely it will execute finally block if the pvm is not there where is the chance of executing finally block any doubt about this one clear right sir there is one very important entry equation i have to discuss sir finally block versus a distractor sir why sir this what is the relation between these two things observe carefully observe carefully finally block meant for maintaining clean up code distractor in the whoops concept whatever we covered meant for maintaining clean up code sir seems to be both are same where is the difference are you getting sir i have one small doubt sir best example auto driver is there or bus driver is there bus driver is the responsible to drive bus correct device driver is there whenever we are installing mouse or otherwise wherever we are installing a device so the corresponding driver we have to install whenever if we connect any hardware device compulsory the corresponding driver we have to install sir both are same so device driver responsible okay to drive device which is associated with our computer okay like but the bus driver is the responsible to drive the bus sir both are drivers only ha huh? both are drivers only that's why both are same no one is a human being the second one is the software component are you getting both are completely different right sir in our in my native language telugu there is one word is there kodi and pakodi <laughs> kodi kodi means hen hen 
okay pakodi means uh, one type of item which is going to eat seems to be both are same but both are different one is going to talk about bird bird the second one is going to talk about food item both are completely different okay seems to be words are same but here both are different okay now my point is observe where is the difference right very simple sir so whatever resources we open yeah the part of tri block okay whatever resources we open yeah the part of tri block should be closed okay inside finally block are you getting should be closed inside finally block all the resources which are opened at the part of tri block will be closed inside finally block finally block meant for clean up activities related to tri block remember this one next uh, sir here i have an object is there so i have an object is there this object associated with one database connection this object associated with one network connection are you getting so before destroying this object before destroying this object all these resources should be deallocated should be deallocated so object related clean up activities we have to maintain inside a destructor next uh, try block related clean up activities we have to maintain inside finally block finally block meant for clean up activities which are related to try block resources next uh, destructor meant for clean up activities are related to related to okay object so before destroying this object destructor will execute which is going to close all the resources and then garbage collector will destroy this object are you in the position to understand even both are meant for clean up code only destructor object related clean up activities okay next up finally block try block related clean up activities seems to be both are same but there is a complete difference is there is it clear for all of you right just observe observe a bit very carefully sir here finally block meant for clean up activities related to try block that is whatever resources we open at the part of try block will be closed inside finally block okay destructor meant for clean up activities related to object whatever resources associated with the object should be deallocated inside destructor which will be executed before destroying an object clear for all of you one person object related clean up activities destructor one person try block related clean up activities which is the finally block very important question most confusing question for most of the people that's all sir clear clarity is there any doubt hi friends in the last videos we covered very clearly about finally block what is the difference between finally and a destructor right sir now the let me go for the next important concept to get the much clarity on the concept observe control flow in try except finally sir now within the try block if an exception rises what will happen inside except block if an exception rises what will happen inside finally block if an exception rises what will happen so compulsory you people should aware flow flow of execution so that you will get much clarity on the concept okay have a look once about this one sir sir here i am taking try observe very carefully these lines try i am taking statement 1 statement 2 next uh, statement 3 uh, try within the try block how many statements are there three statements 1 2 3 next uh, except block i'm taking statement 4 uh, i'm taking inside except block next uh, finally finally block i'm taking statement 5 uh, i'm taking sir so finally block statement 5 next uh, outside of finally block okay try except of finally completed now here statement 6 i'm taking sir but observe very carefully where i'm taking statement 6 uh, outside of finally block try except finally already completed sir this statement 6 is the independent statement okay like. so from this so if a statement 1 
there is a problem or two there is a problem three there is a problem six there is a problem if for any statement if an exception rises you should be in the position to tell the flow sir so from this almost around the five cases i designed so if you can answer these five cases then you will get much clarity on the concept okay well sir observe first case sir what is the first case if there is no exception sir if there is no exception what is the flow can you please tell sir if there is no exception can you can you spell out uh, what is the flow what we are going to get in this case yes 1 2 3 will be executed okay because there is no exception sir try will be executed except uh, won't be executed when the except block is going to execute if an exception but there is no exception that's why except block won't be executed now finally will execute and then remaining lines of the code will be continue normally that's why 1 2 3 next to uh, 5 6 uh, normal termination remember this one sir so what is the flow 1 2 3 5 6 uh, it is the normal termination remember this one sir okay like so only one block is not executed what is that block sir statement uh, sir 4 is not executed because there is no exception except a block won't be executed any doubt about this one clear for all of you right okay well sir now case 2 sir now observe if an exception rises yet a statement 2 if an exception rises yet a statement 2 2 and the corresponding except block matched matched means do you know if zero division error came yes here except block meant for zero division error only then what will happen observe the case 2 sir if an exception raised yet a statement to and the corresponding except block matched matched sir what is the flow so observe carefully if an exception raised at statement to and the corresponding except block matched what is the flow sir very simple one will be executed next uh, while executing to the problem came and uh, the corresponding except block matched sir immediately the control will comes to except block so 1 4 1 4 sir exception raised handle remaining will continue normally 5 and then 6 are you getting 1 4 5 and then 6 normal termination remember this one so 1 and uh, while executing to the problem came immediately the corresponding except block matched uh, sir 4 and then finally block 5 6 uh, normal termination because exception riser uh, handle handle that's why it will become normal termination so 1 4 1 4 5 6 uh, normal termination okay that's all this is the flow sir now the next one take very very special case sir if an exception rises uh, yet a statement 2 uh, an exception rises uh, yet statement 2 uh, but uh, corresponding except a block not matched sir maybe zero division error here but this except block meant for value error sir zero division error rises uh, but except block meant for value error means the corresponding except block not matched so what will happen observe very carefully if an exception rises yet a statement 2 but corresponding except block not matched but corresponding except block not matched what will happen sir very simple one will be executed normally next uh, while executing two the problem came the problem came immediately python virtual machine will check for the corresponding except block sir except block not matched if the except block not matched it is always abnormal termination remember no except block but exception rises abnormal termination but the before abnormal termination compulsory finally block will be executed that's why 1 5 abnormal termination remember this one 1 5 abnormal termination so if an exception rises at statement 2 but corresponding except block not matched 1 1 and then only finally block only finally block 5 and then abnormal termination even in the case of abnormal termination finally block will be executed only finally block not remaining statements 1 abnormal termination okay 1 5 abnormal termination 
ओके वेल सर नौ द नेक्स्ट वन इफ एन एक्सेप्शन रईज इफ एन एक्सेप्शन रईज एट स्टेटमेंट फोर सर नव अबर्व वेरी केरफुली इफ एन एक्सेप्शन रईज एट स्टेटमेंट फोर स्टेटमेंट फोर कैन यू प्लीज टेल वाट विल हैपन is it normal termination or abnormal termination that is our next case observe if an exception raised yet a statement of four what will happen yes friends can you please confirm is it normal termination or abnormal termination in the last control flow in try except i covered already this point remember that if any statement raises an exception if any statement raises an exception which is a not part of try block it is a not part of try block then it is always abnormal termination okay if any statement raises an exception which is a not part of try block then it is always abnormal termination but before abnormal termination finally block will be executed sir here it is not part of try block if it is a not part of try block no except block no except block means abnormal termination so if an exception raised yet a statement for it is always abnormal termination but before abnormal termination compulsory finally block will be executed only finally block remember sir now observe if an exception raised yet a statement for then then it is always then it is always abnormal termination abnormal termination okay before but uh, but uh, before abnormal termination before abnormal termination only only finally block will be executed only finally block uh, will be executed only finally block will be executed remember this one sir but uh, before abnormal termination only finally block will be executed so finally block means statement 5 will be executed right so take very special care right on this analyze each and every case so that you will get much clarity friends remember this sir now next case suppose if an exception raised at yet statement 5 can you please tell is it normal termination or abnormal termination hey respond just now i told if an exception raised at statement 5 is it normal termination or abnormal termination yes it is always abnormal termination because because it is a not part of try no except block no except block means it is always abnormal termination sir if an if an exception raised at a statement 6 sir it is a not part of try block no except block it is always abnormal termination that's why if an exception raised yet a statement 5 or statement 6 it is always abnormal termination remember this one so if an exception raised yet a statement 5 or statement 6 then then it is always then it is always abnormal termination is it clear for all of you right so in the material i included all these cases okay compulsory you have to write on the paper you have to analyze then you people can feel more comfortable right are you in the position to understand right so if there is no exception what is the flow if an exception rise at statement at 2 and the corresponding except block match what will happen if an exception rise at statement at 2 but corresponding except block not match what will happen if an exception rise at statement 4 what will happen if an exception rise at statement 5 or statement 6 what is the scenario is it clear for all of you right so this is what the control flow in try except finally any doubt hi friends in the last video we covered very clearly about what is the control flow in try except finally now the next topic what i have to discuss nested try except finally nested try except finally blocks what it means the name itself indicates right nested nested so inside try block we can take try except finally inside except block you can take try except finally 
inside finally also you can take try accept finally so that's why so nesting of try accept finally is always possible friends okay that part how the behavior with example i want to discuss just uh, have a look once uh, sir sir best example here i'm taking so try i'm taking try try so within the try block you can take you can take try accept accept finally like this if you want you can take so can you please tell where i'm taking this try accept finally inside the try block remember similarly sir this is the accept block inside accept block if you want you can take again try accept finally again if you want you can take try accept finally okay where we are taking try accept finally inside accept block next finally like this i'm taking inside here try try accept try accept and then finally like like i'm taking sir can you please tell where i'm taking try accept finally inside try x inside finally block so means that inside a try block you can take try accept finally inside accept block you can take try accept finally inside finally also try accept finally is possible so means that nesting of try accept finally blocks is always possible friends clear for all of you right okay well sir what is the advantage of taking this one sir can you please explain with one or two small scenarios so that we will get much clarity you may ask very very simple sir now listen very carefully right suppose assume i have try block is there i have i have try block is there sir there are multiple multiple lines of the code is there sir this is accept a block accept accept a block right now take very special care can i use the word this is the risky code sir within the try block which code we have to take a risky code sir in this these a few lines of the code too much risky assume that these are five lines of the code too much risky code so what is the reason for that maybe communicating with the third party system that third party system is always maybe down okay so this this few lines of the code is too much risky code too much too much risky code okay like now the point is observe very very carefully sir if i'm not taking any special care for this too much risky code what will happen if an exception raised uh, immediately the control will comes to immediately the control will comes to sir this accept block because this accept block is the responsible to handle what will happen if this accept if the control come to sir this accept block now these lines of the code is not going to execute without executing these many lines of the code how you can expect a proper behavior that's why so never recommend to depends on this outer accept block you know it is a too much risky code what i will take here is here only here only i will take uh, sir this uh, try accept uh, separate accept uh, handling i'm 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 taking sir now the advantage is if there is an exception raised uh, immediately this accept block is the responsible to handle now remaining lines of the code happily will execute are you getting remaining lines of the code happily will execute no problem at all so wherever exception raised there only we are handling so remaining code happily will be continued so the biggest advantage here is yes says so these uh, lines of the code will be executed we are not skipping so proper functionality we can expect are you in the position to understand so general risky code we have to take inside out a try block okay sir too much risky code more specific risky code too too much risky code this code we have to take inside uh, inner try block okay if really an exception raised uh, inner accept block is going to handle now remaining lines of the code will be executed sir by mistake inner accept block unable to handle inner accept block unable to handle no problem at all this outer accept block is the responsible to handle are you in the position to understand right so this is uh, what uh, you should aware sir so general risky code we have to take inside the try block 
too much risky cone we have to take inside inner tri block okay outer tri block contain general risky cone sir this inner tri block contain too much risky cone is it clear for all of you right if for inner except block unable to handle exception no problem outer except block is the responsible to handle any doubt about this have a look once sir next step try accept the final blocks here see this one we can take try accept the final blocks inside the try or accept or finally hence an sting of try accept the final blocks is possible next the general risky code we have to take inside outer try block and too much risky code we have to take inside inner try block next inside inner try block if an exception raised then inner except block is the responsible to handle sir observe inside inner try block if an exception raised inner except block is the responsible to handle if it is unable to handle then outer except block is the responsible to handle that's what what you people should be aware about this one sir are you in the position to understand sir now let me go for one or two theoretical example so that you people will get much clarity best example for you people right sir you know in hyderabad in the old days in the old days there are some religion uh, uh, fightings like hindu muslim these kind of fightings maybe maybe there sir in the old days but now the people are educated we are not having any such type of problem suppose assume that assume sir this is the hyderabad city hyderabad city okay now take very special care hyderabad city there are such type of religion fighting problems came okay immediately sir army or otherwise uh, force uh, police force will be there okay to provide uh, 144 section so like uh, to provide safety okay police police force is going to come then assume there is uh, some place is there okay in hyderabad sir there are some areas some areas too much risky areas are there something like uh, old city okay old city okay this is one risky area next and after that somewhere moti nagar okay this is another another risky area next and after that borabanda something like uh, another risky area sir now observe this total hyderabad itself is the risky but in the these three areas are too much risky what the police when they are going to do yes more forces uh, they are going to take uh, here sir okay more more forces uh, they are going to keep uh, at uh, these places if really there is a problem immediately the police force who whoever there so immediately suppress the problem there only without expanding to rest of the city are you in the position to understand right too much risky area special special forces must be required general risky area normal protection forces are enough okay are you seeing the scenario so this type of too much risky areas inner tri block next general risky area outer tri block okay well suppose you are traveling you are you are traveling on the road road assume that by by using your car okay you are traveling on the road sir traveling on the road by car itself is the risky because once uh, your car on the road uh, may be a chance of accident itself is the risky so compulsory except block must be required try accept try right? but uh, there are some areas are there okay there are some areas are there okay you are going to see the boards uh, too much risky yeah accident prone area take special care like uh, there are some boats they are going to keep uh, sir take a bit special care okay too much accident prone area take a bit special care are a road itself is the risky risky area but why this uh, special boats they are going to take because it is too much risky curve accident prone area that's why take a bit special care like uh, there is some special special warning boards by default will be there are you getting right so why this uh, special warning boards uh, because boss it is the too much risky area take a bit special care are you getting too much risky area inner tri block must be required general risky area outer tri block is enough are you getting terminology right similarly okay one more example example sir you may ask sir okay try inside a try okay we are in the position to understand what is the need of taking try block inside except block i told right in our example have you observed right inside the except block also if you want you can take try except finally inside except also if you want you can take 
try accept or finally sir what is the need can you please explain with a small example so that we may get much clarity you people may ask very simple sir observe carefully sir now try block i'm taking try block use oracle use oracle database just observe very carefully use oracle database now accept 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 sir use mysql database mysql mysql database now observe are while using oracle database if there is a problem then immediately use mysql database okay like you have backup facility is there good now is there any guarantee compulsory your mysql database will work maybe the problem with mysql database also then what is my scenario are you getting then what is about my scenario sir bus ticket is not available try for train ticket if a train ticket also not available what is my situation do you should have alternative now also now so here inside it inside acceptable try accept try accept use post use postgres sql like another database i'm using sir sir now observe use oracle database if there is a problem with oracle database accept a block again in the try accept is there use mysql database if you are facing any problem with mysql database can you please use postgres sql another database so where i'm taking this try accept inside accept a block are you in the position to understand right so is it required to take a try accept inside accept a block or not yes there are some cases of there but very rare we have this type of requirement but still so you can take try accept a finally inside accept a block you can take try accept finally inside finally block also possible friends nesting of try accept a finally is always possible any doubt about this one clear for all of you right if you feel comfortable then i will go for one executable program so that you will get much clarity on the concept any doubt sir let me explain a small executable program here see this one here i am taking try block observe very carefully sir try block now here print print outer try block outer try try block i'm taking sir outer try block next uh, here i'm taking try try print uh, print uh, inner try block inner inner try block i'm taking inner try block next uh, accept uh, here accept uh, i'm taking print uh, print uh, inner inner accept block inner accept block like this i'm taking next and after that finally finally print here just observe sir here try print inner try block accept zero division error i'm taking accept zero division error if zero division error is coming print inner accept block finally print inner inner finally block print inner finally block okay that's all sir this uh, here do you know this is the inner finally inner try accept finally yes sir this one got completed right now here i'm taking accept accept sir outer outer try completed accept here print print outer accept a block outer accept a block block like next uh, finally 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 okay print uh, print uh, uh, can you please spell out sir outer outer finally block print outer finally block that's all okay now take very special care about about this uh, terminology right now my important conclusion now my important conclusion is sir if i execute this code what is the flow just have a look once the same code whatever i wrote on the board here the same just for clarity purpose i'm showing sir outer try block print outer try block try inner try block accept zero division error inner accept block next up finally inner finally block 
sir this is the outer acceptor block outer finally block same code right now if i execute this code can you please confirm what is the output by default we are going to get please respond no exception no exception if there is no exception simple thumb rule except blocks won't be executed if there is no exception except blocks won't be executed that's why do you know this one will be executed outer try block under then inner try block next except block won't execute inner finally block inner finally block next this except also won't execute now outer finally block now the answer is outer try block inner try block next inner finally block outer finally block these are four statements will be printed because there is no exception any doubt about this one have a look once sir let me execute the same code if i'm trying to execute this code now have a look once what answer by default we will get here is yes outer try block outer try block inner try block inner finally block outer finally block like sir here observe carefully sir first this one will execute outer try next inner try will execute there is no exception that's why this except block is not going to execute next this finally will execute there is no exception that's why this except block also won't be executed next outer finally that's all these are four lines will be printed to the console now is it clear for all of you right okay well well sir now i want to make a small change for this code what is the change here yes observe that inside inner try inside inner try i'm taking print 10 by 0 oh print 10 by 0 0 division error will come now what is the flow right so inner try block rising an exception sir what will happen so first outer try next try inner try okay whenever zero division error is coming immediately the corresponding except block will execute which except block inner except block inner except block for zero division error only that's why so immediately inner except block will execute so exception riser handled handled now continue finally will execute Sir, outer except won't be executed because the reason is exception is already handled here only. Now this except is not going to execute only outer finally. So in this scenario, what will happen? Inner try rising an exception, but the corresponding inner except block matched. What is the flow? Outer try block, inner try block, inner except block, inner finally block, outer finally block. Just let me show this one. Have a look once inside inner try block i'm taking print r 10 by 0 okay like sir observe the flow very carefully sir sir this one will execute next inner try will execute here there is a problem is coming zero division error immediately the corresponding except block matched immediately the corresponding except block matched now sir this line will execute so exception riser but handled immediately continue right so this line will execute next uh, here no exception to handle that's why this except block won't execute now this one is going to execute so total five lines of the output will be displayed to the console now have a look once what is the answer we are going to get outer try block outer try block inner try block inner except block inner finally block next outer finally block like this right we are getting okay well sir now i want to make a small change for this program what is my change is listen carefully inner try block rises zero division error but except block available for value error <laughs> inner except block available for value error value error error like sir can you please guide what will happen are riser exception is zero division error but except block is available for value error are there is a problem heart problem but the eye specialist is available are you getting it's always a problem right now sir what is the flow outer try block inner try block here an exception riser here an exception riser but the corresponding except block not matched not matched then the control should go to then the control should go to outer except block have you remember first priority for inner except block 
if the inner acceptor block unable to handle now the control will goes to outer acceptor block but uh, before going to the outer acceptor block here finally block compulsory will be executed remember so finally will be executed and uh, then outer acceptor block and uh, then outer finally now observe the flow outer try block inner try block next uh, inner finally block outer except block outer finally block so before going to the outer except block compulsory inner finally block will be executed only finally block only inner finally block will be executed right now have a look once sir here i'm making the change except value error like this i'm taking sir sir observe the flow observe observe the flow Sir, first this one will execute. Now inner try block will execute. Now here print of 10 by 0. Here the problem is coming. Whenever the problem is coming, immediately, immediately Python virtual machine will check for except block. Sorry, it is not matched. It is not matched. Then the control should go to outer except. But before going to the outer except, compulsory finally will execute. Only finally, only finally, finally will execute. After that, outer except block and outer finally block. Now observe the flow. Outer try block, inner try block, inner, ex uh, inner except block won't execute. Inner finally block, outer except block, outer finally block. Have a look once. Sir, here, if I execute this one, outer try block, inner try block, inner finally, and then outer except block, outer finally block. Is it clear for all of you, right? Now observe that carefully, sir. Okay. Now, I have one more small change. Okay. My change here is, observe that. Here I am not taking print a 10 by 0 inside in a try block. Okay, observe. Inner try block won't arise any, any exception or error. Okay, try. Now, inside outer try block, here I am taking print 10 by 0. <laughs> Dangerous thing, take very special care. Where exception is rising, sir, can you please spell out? Where the exception is rising? Inside outer try block. Inside, inside outer try block, exception is rising, sir. Now, so first outer try block, here the problem is coming. Can you please tell? Immediately, the control will go to, goes to accept block. So the corresponding accept block means outer accept block is the corresponding accept block. Now my question is, in this case, can you please tell? Sir, finally, block will be executed or not? That's about my doubt. Inner finally, block in this case will execute or not? Yes, no. Huh? Because in the last video, somewhere I covered, was finally, block will be executed always. Finally, block will be executed always, irrespective of exception, riser, not riser, handle or not handle. Now, this inner finally will be executed or not? So, outer try block, now the control will go to corresponding except means this one, outer except block, outer finally block. Now my question is, in this scenario, inner finally block will be executed or not? What answer you can get? Can you please confirm? Inner finally block will be executed or not? Perfect, it won't be executed. What may be the reason? I will explain. First, let me show execution. Assume it is not going to execute. What is the reason? I will explain. First, observe carefully, sir. Here, so I'm, I'm taking, I'm not. Here, see this one. Inner, inner try, won't raise any exception. Okay, like finally. Now, here I'm taking print of 10 by 0. Observe very carefully, sir. Where I'm taking inside outer try block, inside outer try block, an exception got riser. Now, first this line will execute. Here an exception riser. Immediately the control will come to corresponding except block. That's why this is going to execute. Now this one is going to execute, sir. Outer finally block. Now, the point here is, observe very carefully. What answer? Outer try block, outer except block. Outer finally block, outer try block, outer accept block, outer finally block, like we are going to get the chance. Sir, take uh, very, very special care. Why this inner finally block is not executed? Inner finally, you are not saying, sir, why it is not? Sir, very simple. What is the purpose of finally block? 
anyone can you please tell me? i told already what is the need of finally blood to maintain clean up code to close resources whatever open inside try block now observe here try block try block i open some resources resources sir inside finally block finally block i have to close the resources i have to close the resources now my question is once the control if 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 you entered in the try block if you open resources compulsory you should close the resources so that's why finally should execute correct but the problem here is you didn't enter suppose here here the problem is coming sir outside of try only the problem is coming the problem is coming so here the problem is coming the control won't entered in the try block if the control won't entered in the try block you didn't open any resources then what is the need of closing the resources are you getting the conclusion is the very important once the control entered in the try block compulsory finally block should be executed to close the resources if the control not entered in the try block then finally block not required to execute won't execute at all sir observe here you didn't enter in the inner try block because outside of inner try block only the problem came you didn't entered inside inner try block that's why so this inner finally not executed but you entered in the outer try block that's why outer finally block executed are you seeing the difference right so once we entered in the try block compulsory finally block will be executed if the control not entered in the try block then the corresponding finally block won't be executed is it clear right so this is a good example we covered almost four or five cases so very helpful in the next uh, control flow in nested try except finally there nested try except finally control flow this knowledge is very helpful sir just have a look once sir here just i covered one theoretical conclusion very important conclusion sir observe if the control not entered in the try block then the corresponding finally block won't be executed remember if the control not entered in the try block the corresponding finally block won't be executed next once control entered in the try block compulsory the corresponding finally block will be executed is it clear for all of you right this is the small example to demonstrate nested the try except finally blocks any doubt hi friends in the last videos we covered very clearly about the nested try except finally blocks what is the use with the program with the example i covered sir sir now the next thing what i have to discuss control flow in nested try except finally so if an exception rises inside outer try block what will happen inside inner try block what will happen inside the inner except block what will happen like almost around 14 cases we are going to discuss with a good example all your doubts are related to control flow of this exception handling will be resolved sir okay let me let me consider have a look once at this code sir okay here i'm taking observe a bit very carefully here try block i'm taking so statement 1 okay statement 2 statement 3 try block so within the try block 1 2 3 statements are there next uh, here within the try inner try i'm taking inside inner try statement 4 statement 5 statement 6 i'm taking statement 4 5 6 like this i'm taking sir now except except x x x now observe so x x x means so zero division error or something like so this except block where i'm taking inside a try now sir statement 7 sir this is inner try block inner except block next finally finally okay sir statement 8 i'm taking so try except finally completed sir 
ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ದ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ನೈನ್ ಆಮ್ ಟೇಕಿಂಗ್ ಟೇಕ್ ವೆರಿ ಸ್ಪೆಷಲ್ ಕೇರ್ ವೇರ್ ಆಮ್ ಟೇಕಿಂಗ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ನೈನ್ ಸೊ ವಿತ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಔಟರ್ ಟ್ರೈ ಔಟ್ ಸೈಡ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇನ್ನರ್ ಟ್ರೈ ಎಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಫೈನಲ್ಲಿ ಸರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಎ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ನೈನ್ ನೋ ವೇ ರಿಲೇಟೆಡ್ ಟು ಫೈನಲ್ ಈ ಬ್ಲಾಕ್ ಅಬ್ಸರ್ವ್ ಕೇರ್ಫುಲಿ ಸೊ ನೌ ಔಟರ್ ಟ್ರೈ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟೆಡ್ ನೌ ಹಿಯರ್ ಆಮ್ ಟೇಕಿಂಗ್ ಎಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಸಮ್ ವೈ 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 ಲೈಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ಆಮ್ ಟೇಕಿಂಗ್ ಎಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ವೈ 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 ನೌ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ತೆನ್ ಆಮ್ ಟೇಕಿಂಗ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಫೈನಲ್ಲಿ ಬ್ಲಾಕ್ ಫೈನಲ್ಲಿ ಬ್ಲಾಕ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಲೆವೆನ್ ಆಮ್ ಟೇಕಿಂಗ್ ಫೈನಲ್ಲಿ ಬ್ಲಾಕ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಲೆವೆನ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ದ ಓಕೆ ಹಿಯರ್ ಸರ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಟ್ವೆಲ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ಆಮ್ ಟೇಕಿಂಗ್ ಸರ್ ದಟ್ ಸರ್ ಓಕೆ ಟೋಟಲ್ ಹೌ ಮೆನಿ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ದೇರ್ ಟ್ವೆಲ್ ಟ್ವೆಲ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ದೇರ್ ಓಕೆ now i will explain multiple cases are related to these 12 statements so before continue listening of this video what you have to take better to write all these things on the paper paper whenever i am explaining can you please trace whether these things are correct or not so from your side more more concentration must be required then only you people can feel more comfortable better to take uh, sir these things on the paper okay and uh, then each and every case you have to trace manually then definitely you people are going to get okay please take this one take up to this sir now let me explain 14 cases to get much perfection in this control flow sir observe very carefully sir first one if there is no exception sir if there is no exception so which statements will be executed very very important sir sir if there is no exception except the block won't be executed correct right okay now observe very carefully so 1 2 3 will be executed 4 5 6 will be executed 1 2 3 4 5 6 so this except the block won't be executed now finally will execute okay next uh, sir after finally this one is going to execute now this outer except block won't be executed now finally will execute under statement 12 will execute observe very carefully sir so if there is no exception only except blocks won't be executed except that all the remaining statements will be executed sir means that sir 1 1 2 3 statement 1 2 3 will execute comma 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 sir next 7 uh, won't execute because it is except a block okay but finally will execute sir 8 will execute after finally independent statement 9 will execute 1 2 3 4 5 6 8 9 next 10 uh, won't execute because it is except a block 11 comma 12 11 comma 12 normal termination observe very carefully sir so 1 2 3 4 5 6 uh, this except block won't execute next uh, this except block won't execute so 1 2 3 4 5 6 8 9 11 12 normal termination any doubt about this one clear for all of you right sir case one if there is no exception except except block all the remaining lines will be executed okay like now second one sir observe very carefully about this case 2 sir if an exception if an exception raised uh, yet a statement 2 and the corresponding except block matched so if an exception raised uh, yet a statement 2 and the corresponding except block matched means that if an exception raised uh, yet a statement 2 sir means uh, here sir here there is a problem so here there is a problem is coming if an exception raised yet a statement 2 and the corresponding except block matched sir which is the corresponding except block this is the outer except block it is no way related to inner except block okay so now if the problem if an exception raised at statement 2 and the corresponding sir except block matched means yes it is matched now observe so one will be executed one will be executed while executing to the problem came immediately the control will comes to this except block so except block matched that's why sir this except block 10 will execute and then finally okay after the statement 12 12 normal termination 
remember so if an exception riser at a statement 2 and the corresponding except a block matched 1 sir 2 there is a problem immediately the control will comes to this except a block 10 will execute 11 12 normal termination 1 10 11 12 normal termination sir case 2 is a very clear for you now observe carefully case 3 if an exception raised yet the statement 2 sir at the same statement if an exception raised and the corresponding except block not matched and the corresponding except block not matched what will happen so now observe if an exception raised yet a statement 2 sir now 1 will be executed if there is a problem at 2 immediately sir python virtual machine will go for corresponding except block sir except block not matched if except block not matched it is always abnormal termination but uh, before abnormal termination only finally block only finally block will be executed so 1 11 only finally block followed by abnormal termination is it clear right so if an exception is that statement 2 and the corresponding except block not matched uh, 1 11 1 followed by 11 only finally block and abnormal termination any doubt about this one clear right okay next sir next case if an exception rise at a yet a statement 5 oh an exception rise at a statement 5 and the inner except block matched inner except block matched now which is the statement 5 now take very very special care sir sir which is the statement 5 here here is the statement 5 inner inner try block statement 5 where it is available inside inner try block now so if an exception raised yet a statement 5 and the inner except block matched what is the flow now observe very carefully sir so to reach statement 5 compulsory 1 2 3 4 will be executed okay 1 2 3 4 executed while executing 5 there is a problem immediately the control will comes to accept a block immediately the control will comes to accept a block sir accept block matched matched now raised exception riser handle handle 7 8 9 so this exception is already handled outer accept block is not going to execute 11 12 normal termination so observe very carefully 1 2 3 4 while executing 5 there is a problem immediately the control will comes to accept block 7 7 7 and then finally 8 and after the normal statement will be continued 9 9 okay and then and then this accept block is not going to execute 11 followed by 12 11 12 normal termination remember this one sir so if an exception rise at statement 5 and the inner except block matched what is the flow 1 2 3 4 next 7 8 9 11 12 normal termination is going to get in the chance okay well this is the case 4 next case sir if an exception rise at yet a statement 5 if an exception rise at a statement 5 and the inner except block not matched inner except block not matched oh sir inner except block not matched but but outer except block matched outer except block matched observe very carefully sir inner except block not matched but outer except block matched what is the flow now observe very very carefully sir an exception got is that statement 5 inner except block not matched but outer except block matched so if inner except block unable to handle don't worry outer except block is going to take care sir now here how the control will reach the statement 5 1 1 2 3 4 will be executed 1 2 3 4 will be executed while executing 5 the problem first priority will goes to inner except block if the inner except block not matched immediately the control should go to outer except block remember immediately the control will go to outer except block but uh, before going to the outer except block only finally will be executed remember only finally will be executed so one two three four 
ఎయిట్ వన్ టూ త్రీ ఫోర్ ఎయిట్ అండ్ దెన్ అవుటర్ ఎక్సెప్ట్ బ్లాక్ సార్ అవుటర్ ఎక్సెప్ట్ బ్లాక్ మ్యాచ్ మ్యాచ్ టెన్ లెవెన్ ట్వెల్వ్ నార్మల్ టర్మినేషన్ టెన్ లెవెన్ ట్వెల్వ్ నార్మల్ టర్మినేషన్ దట్ సార్ సో వన్ టూ త్రీ ఫోర్ నెక్స్ట్ హియర్ ద ప్రాబ్లమ్ కేమ్ ఫస్ట్ ప్రయారిటీ ఇన్నర్ ఎక్సెప్ట్ బ్లాక్ ఇన్నర్ ఎక్సెప్ట్ బ్లాక్ నాట్ మ్యాచ్డ్ దెన్ ద కంట్రోల్ షుడ్ గో టు అవుటర్ ఎక్సెప్ట్ బ్లాక్ బట్ బిఫోర్ గోయింగ్ టు ద అవుటర్ ఎక్సెప్ట్ బ్లాక్ సార్ ఓన్లీ ఫైనల్లీ విల్ ఎగ్జిక్యూట్ అండ్ దెన్ టెన్ లెవెన్ ట్వెల్వ్ నార్మల్ టర్మినేషన్ ఎనీ డౌట్ అబౌట్ దిస్ వన్ క్లియర్ రైట్ ఓకే వెల్ సార్ నెక్స్ట్ ఇఫ్ అన్ ఎక్సెప్షన్ రైజ్ ఎట్ అ స్టేట్మెంట్ ఫైవ్ సార్ సేమ్ నెక్స్ట్ కేస్ ఇఫ్ అన్ ఎక్సెప్షన్ రైజ్ ఎట్ అ స్టేట్మెంట్ ఫైవ్ అండ్ బోత్ ద ఇన్నర్ అండ్ అవుటర్ ఎక్సెప్ట్ బ్లాక్స్ ఆర్ నాట్ మ్యాచ్డ్ అరే ఇన్నర్ ఎక్సెప్ట్ బ్లాక్ నాట్ మ్యాచ్డ్ అవుటర్ ఎక్సెప్ట్ బ్లాక్ నాట్ మ్యాచ్డ్ వట్ ఈస్ ద థింగ్ సార్ నో ఎక్సెప్ట్ బ్లాక్ మ్యాచ్డ్ అబ్బియస్లీ ఇట్ ఈస్ ఆల్వేస్ అబ్ నార్మల్ టర్మినేషన్ బట్ బిఫోర్ అబ్ నార్మల్ టర్మినేషన్ ఫైనల్లీ బ్లాక్స్ విల్ బీ ఎగ్జిక్యూటెడ్ ఓకే యూ నో నవ్ అబ్ జాన్ ఇఫ్ అన్ ఎక్సెప్షన్ రైజ్ దట్ స్టేట్మెంట్ ఫైవ్ ఓకే సో ఇన్నర్ ఎక్సెప్ట్ బ్లాక్ అవుటర్ ఎక్సెప్ట్ బ్లాక్ బోత్ ఆర్ నాట్ మ్యాచ్డ్ వట్ ఈస్ ద ఫ్లో సో హౌ ద కంట్రోల్ విల్ రీచ్ ఎ స్టేట్మెంట్ ఫైవ్ వన్ టూ త్రీ వన్ టూ త్రీ నెక్స్ట్ ఇయర్ ద ప్రాబ్లమ్ కేమ్ ఇయర్ ద ప్రాబ్లమ్ కేమ్ సో వన్ టూ త్రీ ఫోర్ విల్ బీ ఎగ్జిక్యూటెడ్ నార్మల్లీ వన్ టూ త్రీ ఫోర్ విల్ ఎగ్జిక్యూట్ నార్మల్లీ నవ్ విల్ ఎగ్జిక్యూటింగ్ ఫైవ్ ద ప్రాబ్లమ్ కేమ్ ఇమ్మీడియట్లీ ఇన్నర్ ఎక్సెప్ట్ బ్లాక్ నాట్ మ్యాచ్డ్ ఇఫ్ ఇన్నర్ ఎక్సెప్ట్ బ్లాక్ నాట్ మ్యాచ్డ్ ఫైతాన్ వర్చువల్ మిషన్ విల్ గో ఫర్ అవుటర్ ఎక్సెప్ట్ బ్లాక్ బట్ బిఫోర్ గోయింగ్ టు ద అవుటర్ ఎక్సెప్ట్ బ్లాక్ ఓన్లీ ఫైనల్లీ విల్ ఎగ్జిక్యూట్ ఎయిట్ విల్ ఎగ్జిక్యూట్ ఓన్లీ ఎయిట్ ఓన్లీ ఫైనల్లీ అండ్ దెన్ అవుటర్ ఎక్సెప్ట్ నాట్ మ్యాచ్డ్ నాట్ మ్యాచ్డ్ అబ్ నార్మల్ టర్మినేషన్ బట్ బిఫోర్ అబ్ నార్మల్ టర్మినేషన్ ఓన్లీ ఫైనల్లీ దట్స్ వై లెవెన్ అండ్ దెన్ అబ్ నార్మల్ టర్మినేషన్ రిగార్డింగ్ సో వన్ టూ త్రీ ఫోర్ ఎయిట్ లెవెన్ అబ్ నార్మల్ టర్మినేషన్ ఈజ్ గోన్ టు బి హ్యాపీ అర్ ఇన్ ద పొజిషన్ టు అండర్స్టాండ్ రైట్ సో అప్ టు దీస్ సిక్స్ కేసెస్ సో ఎవ్రీ కేస్ బెటర్ టు ఎనలైజ్ సో దట్ యూ పీపుల్ కెన్ గెట్ మచ్ క్లారిటీ ఎనీ డౌట్ అప్ టు దిస్ సార్ నవ్ అబ్జర్వ్ ద నెక్స్ట్ సెట్ ఆఫ్ కేసెస్ రైట్ ఇఫ్ అన్ ఎక్సెప్షన్ రైజ్ అడ్ ఎట్ స్టేట్మెంట్ సెవెన్ ఇఫ్ అన్ ఎక్సెప్షన్ రైజ్ అట్ స్టేట్మెంట్ సెవెన్ అండ్ ద కరస్పాండింగ్ ఎక్సెప్ట్ బ్లాక్ మ్యాచ్ ఓకే ఇఫ్ అన్ ఎక్సెప్షన్ రైజ్ అట్ స్టేట్మెంట్ సెవెన్ అండ్ కరస్పాండింగ్ ఎక్సెప్ట్ బ్లాక్ మ్యాచ్ అడ్ నవ్ అబ్జర్వ్ వెరీ కేర్ఫుల్ ఈ సార్ వన్ టూ త్రీ ఫోర్ ఫైవ్ సిక్స్ సెవెన్ సెవెన్ మీన్స్ ఇన్నర్ ఎక్సెప్ట్ బ్లాక్ టేక్ వెరీ వెరీ స్పెషల్ కేర్ వేర్ ఇన్నర్ ఎక్సెప్ట్ బ్లాక్ ఈ ద స్టేట్మెంట్ సెవెన్ సో ఇఫ్ అన్ ఎక్సెప్షన్ రైజ్ అడ్ ఎట్ స్టేట్మెంట్ సెవెన్ అండ్ ద కరస్పాండింగ్ ఎక్సెప్ట్ బ్లాక్ మ్యాచ్ ఉచిత కరస్పాండింగ్ ఎక్సెప్ట్ బ్లాక్ ద కరస్పాండింగ్ ఎక్సెప్ట్ బ్లాక్ ఈస్ అవుటర్ ఎక్సెప్ట్ బ్లాక్ ఓన్లీ రిమెంబర్ తీస్ వన్ సార్ సో దిస్ ఈస్ ద పార్ట్ ఆఫ్ అవుటర్ ట్రై నౌ అవుటర్ ఎక్సెప్ట్ బ్లాక్ ఈస్ ద రెస్పాన్సిబుల్ సార్ నౌ ద ప్రాబ్లమ్ ఇయర్ ఈస్ హౌ ద కంట్రోల్ విల్ కమ్స్ టు స్టేట్మెంట్ సెవెన్ స్టేట్మెంట్ సెవెన్ సో కంపల్సరీ దిస్ వన్ టూ త్రీ షుడ్ బి ఎగ్జిక్యూటెడ్ వన్ టూ త్రీ షుడ్ బి ఎగ్జిక్యూటెడ్ అండ్ దెన్ మేబీ ద ప్రాబ్లమ్ ఎట్ ద ఫోర్ ఆర్ ఫైవ్ ఆర్ సిక్స్ సమ్వే ద ప్రాబ్లమ్ కేమ్ బికాస్ ఆఫ్ దాట్ ద కంట్రోల్ కేమ్ టు దిస్ స్టేట్మెంట్ సెవెన్ సో ఫోర్ ఫైవ్ సిక్స్ మే ఆర్ మే నాట్ ఎగ్జిక్యూట్ దట్స్ వై ఫోర్ మే ఆర్ మే నాట్ ఫైవ్ మే ఆర్ మే నాట్ సిక్స్ మే ఆర్ మే నాట్ ఓకే మేబీ ద ప్రాబ్లమ్ ఎట్ ఫోర్ ఆర్ ఫైవ్ ఆర్ సిక్స్ దెర్ ఈస్ ఎ ప్రాబ్లమ్ నౌ ద కంట్రోల్ విల్ కమ్స్ టు దిస్ ఎక్సెప్ట్ బ్లాక్ ఓకే సార్ వైల్ ఎగ్జిక్యూటింగ్ సెవెన్ దెర్ ఈజ్ ఎ ప్రాబ్లమ్ నౌ ద కంట్రోల్ షుడ్ గోస్ టు అవుటర్ ఎక్సెప్ట్ బ్లాక్ బట్ బిఫోర్ గోయింగ్ టు ద అవుటర్ ఎక్సెప్ట్ బ్లాక్ కంపల్సరీ ఫైనల్లీ బ్లాక్ విల్ బి ఎగ్జిక్యూటెడ్ దట్స్ వై సార్ ఎయిట్ విల్ ఎగ్జిక్యూట్ ఓన్లీ ఫైనల్లీ ఓన్లీ ఫైనల్లీ విల్ ఎగ్జిక్యూట్ ఎయిట్ విల్ ఎగ్జిక్యూట్ ఆఫ్టర్ దాట్ నౌ ద
ಸರ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ವೈಲ್ ಎಕ್ಸಿಕ್ಯೂಟಿಂಗ್ ಸೆವೆನ್ ದ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ಕೇಮ್ ನಾವು ಫೈನಲಿ ಬಾಕ್ ಏಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಔಟರ್ ಎಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಟಬಲ್ ಔಟರ್ ಫೈನಲಿ ರಿಮೈನಿಂಗ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ನಾರ್ಮಲ್ ಟರ್ಮಿನೇಷನ್ ನಾವು ಅಬ್ಸರ್ವ್ ವೆರಿ ಕೇರ್ಫುಲಿ ಸರ್ ಇಫ್ ಎನ್ ಎಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಷನ್ ರೈಸ್ ಆಟ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಅಂದ ಕರೆಸ್ಪಾಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಎಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಟಬಲ್ ಆಕ್ ಮ್ಯಾಚ್ ಸೊ ಒನ್ ಟು ತ್ರೀ ಕಂಪಲ್ಸರಿ ಶುಡ್ ಎಕ್ಸಿಕ್ಯೂಟ್ ಮೇ ಬಿ ದ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ಎಟ್ ಫೋರ್ ಆರ್ ಫೈವ್ ಆರ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಮೇ ಬಿ ದ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ಎಟ್ ಫೋರ್ ಆರ್ ಫೈವ್ ಆರ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ನೌ ದ ಕಂಟ್ರೋಲ್ ಕೇಮ್ ಟು ಎಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಬ್ಲಾಕ್ ಸೊ ಹಿಯರ್ ವೈಲ್ ಎಕ್ಸಿಕ್ಯೂಟಿಂಗ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಇಫ್ ಎನ್ ಎಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಷನ್ ರೈಸ್ ಅಡ್ ಇಮ್ಮಿಡಿಯೇಟ್ಲಿ ದ ಕಂಟ್ರೋಲ್ ಶುಡ್ ಗೋ ಟು ಔಟರ್ ಎಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಬ್ಲಾಕ್ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ದಟ್ ಸರ್ ಫೈನಲಿ ಬ್ಲಾಕ್ ಕಂಪಲ್ಸರಿ ಶುಡ್ ಎಕ್ಸಿಕ್ಯೂಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಔಟರ್ ಎಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಬ್ಲಾಕ್ ಔಟರ್ ಫೈನಲಿ ಬ್ಲಾಕ್ ನಾರಾ ಸರ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ನಾರ್ಮಲ್ ಟರ್ಮಿನೇಷನ್ ಎನಿ ಡೌಟ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಒನ್ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ರೈಟ್ ಓಕೆ ವೆಲ್ ನೌ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಕೇಸಸ್ ಸರ್ ಅಬ್ಜರ್ವ್ ಸರ್ ಇಫ್ ಎನ್ ಎಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಷನ್ ರೈಸ್ ಅಡ್ ಎಟ್ ದ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಸರ್ ಸೇಮ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಕರೆಸ್ಪಾಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಎಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಬ್ಲಾಕ್ ನಾಟ್ ಮ್ಯಾಚ್ಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಕರೆಸ್ಪಾಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಎಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಬ್ಲಾಕ್ ನಾಟ್ ಮ್ಯಾಚ್ಡ್ ಸರ್ ಇಫ್ ಎನ್ ಎಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಷನ್ ರೈಸ್ ಆಟ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಬಟ್ ಕರೆಸ್ಪಾಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಎಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಬ್ಲಾಕ್ ನಾಟ್ ಮ್ಯಾಚ್ಡ್ ವಾಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ ನಾವು ಅಬ್ಜಾನ್ ಸರ್ ಹೌ ದ ಕಂಟ್ರೋಲ್ ವಿಲ್ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಟು ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ನಾವು ಬೈ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೈನ್ ಸರ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಒನ್ ಟು ತ್ರೀ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ಎಕ್ಸಿಕ್ಯೂಟೆಡ್ ಕಂಪಲ್ಸರಿ ಅಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ವೈಲ್ ಎಕ್ಸಿಕ್ಯೂಟಿಂಗ್ ಫೋರ್ ಫೈವ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಮೇ ಬಿ ಎ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ವೈಲ್ ಎಕ್ಸಿಕ್ಯೂಟಿಂಗ್ ಫೋರ್ ಫೈವ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಮೇ ಬಿ ಮೇ ಬಿ ಎ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ಸೊ ಇಫ್ ದೇರ್ ಈಸ್ ಎ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ಸೊ ಫೋರ್ ಫೈವ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ನೋ ಗ್ಯಾರಂಟಿ ಸರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಫೈವ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ನೋ ಗ್ಯಾರಂಟಿ ಓಕೆ ನೌ ದೇರ್ ಈಸ್ ಎ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ದಟ್ಸ್ ವೈ ದ ಕಂಟ್ರೋಲ್ ಕೇಮ್ ಟು ಸೆವೆನ್ ಬಟ್ ವೈಲ್ ಎಕ್ಸಿಕ್ಯೂಟಿಂಗ್ ಸೆವೆನ್ ವೈಲ್ ಎಕ್ಸಿಕ್ಯೂಟಿಂಗ್ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಸೊ ದೇರ್ ಈಸ್ ಎನ್ ಎಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಷನ್ ಸೊ ಇಮ್ಮಿಡಿಯೇಟ್ಲಿ ಪೈಥಾನ್ ವರ್ಚುವಲ್ ಮಿಷನ್ ವಿಲ್ ಗೋ ಫಾರ್ ಸರ್ ದ ಕರೆಸ್ಪಾಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಎಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಬ್ಲಾಕ್ ಬಟ್ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ಎಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಬ್ಲಾಕ್ ಕಂಪಲ್ಸರಿ ಫೈನಲಿ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಎಕ್ಸಿಕ್ಯೂಟೆಡ್ ಫೈನಲಿ ಬ್ಲಾಕ್ ವಿಲ್ ಎಕ್ಸಿಕ್ಯೂಟ್ ನೌ ದ ಕಂಟ್ರೋಲ್ ಕೇಮ್ ಟು ಎಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಬ್ಲಾಕ್ ಬಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಬ್ಲಾಕ್ ನಾಟ್ ಮ್ಯಾಚ್ಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ಮ್ಯಾಚ್ಡ್ ಇಫ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅ ನಾಟ್ ಮ್ಯಾಚ್ಡ್ ಅಬ್ ನಾರ್ಮಲ್ ಟರ್ಮಿನೇಷನ್ ಬಟ್ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ಅಬ್ ನಾರ್ಮಲ್ ಟರ್ಮಿನೇಷನ್ ಫೈನಲಿ ವಿಲ್ ಎಕ್ಸಿಕ್ಯೂಟ್ ದಟ್ಸ್ ವೈ ಲೆವೆನ್ ಲೆವೆನ್ ಅಬ್ ನಾರ್ಮಲ್ ಟರ್ಮಿನೇಷನ್ ಆರ್ ಗೆಟಿಂಗ್ ಲೆವೆನ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಫೈನಲಿ ಬ್ಲಾಕ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಅಬ್ ನಾರ್ಮಲ್ ಟರ್ಮಿನೇಷನ್ ಸೊ ಇಫ್ ಎನ್ ಎಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಷನ್ ಐಸ್ ಡೆಟ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಸೊ ಇಫ್ ದ ಕರೆಸ್ಪಾಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಎಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಬ್ಲಾಕ್ ನಾಟ್ ಮ್ಯಾಚ್ಡ್ ಅಬ್ ನಾರ್ಮಲ್ ಟರ್ಮಿನೇಷನ್ ಬಟ್ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ಅಬ್ ನಾರ್ಮಲ್ ಟರ್ಮಿನೇಷನ್ ಇನ್ನರ್ ಫೈನಲಿ ಬ್ಲಾಕ್ ಔಟರ್ ಫೈನಲಿ ಬ್ಲಾಕ್ ಬೋತ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಎಕ್ಸಿಕ್ಯೂಟೆಡ್ ಎನಿ ಡೌಟ್ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಫಾರ್ ಆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಯು ರೈಟ್ ಓಕೆ ವೆಲ್ ಸರ್ ನೌ ದ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಒನ್ ಇಫ್ ಎನ್ ಎಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಷನ್ ರೈಸ್ ಅಡ್ ಎಟ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಏಟ್ ಇಫ್ ಎನ್ ಎಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಷನ್ ರೈಸ್ ಅಡ್ ಎಟ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಏಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದ ಕರೆಸ್ಪಾಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಎಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಬ್ಲಾಕ್ ಮ್ಯಾಚ್ಡ್ ಸರ್ ಉಚಿತ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಏಟ್ ಉಚಿತ ಕರೆಸ್ಪಾಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಎಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಬ್ಲಾಕ್ ನಾವು ಅಬ್ಜಾ ಸರ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಏಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಡು ಯು ನೋ ಡು ಯು ನೋ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಏಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಫೈನಲಿ ಬ್ಲಾಕ್ ಓ ಇನ್ಸೈಡ್ ಇನ್ನರ್ ಫೈನಲಿ ಬ್ಲಾಕ್ ಇಫ್ ಎನ್ ಎಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಷನ್ ರೈಸ್ ಸರ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ
sir same if an exception raise that statement a and the corresponding except a block not matched and the corresponding except a block not matched what will happen now observe if an exception raise that yet a statement eight so how the control will comes to statement eight just now i explain one two three should be compulsory four five six seven may or may not four five six seven may or may not next while executing get the problem came immediately python virtual machine will go for corresponding accept block but this accept block not matched if it is not matched it is always abnormal termination but before abnormal termination this finally block will be executed only finally this finally block will be executed 11 followed by abnormal termination are in the position to understand right so if an exception raised at statement 8 and the corresponding except block not matched it is abnormal termination but before abnormal termination only finally block will be executed any doubt clear up to this sir now the next set of cases observe carefully if an exception raised at a statement 9 at a statement 9 and the corresponding except block matched observe very carefully if an exception raised at a statement 9 and the corresponding except block matched now observe statement 9 means uh, this statement sir which is the outside of finally block okay outside of this inner inner except finally block this is sir how the control will comes to statement 9 is the very very important sir observe 1 2 3 should compulsory should execute 1 2 should be executed compulsory next 4 5 6 may or may not the reason is if there is no exception 4 5 6 and then 8 and then 9 okay no exception 4 5 6 8 9 4 if there is an exception 4 5 6 maybe the problem then 7 and then 8 and then 9 so 4 5 6 may or may not okay 4 5 6 uh, may or may not 7 may or may not 7 may or may not next uh, finally compulsory this one should be executed if uh, if there is a problem at statement 8 the control never comes to 9 but still the control came to 9 means uh, statement 8 uh, executed successfully now observe statement 8 executed successfully now the problem is at a 9 9 if there is a problem at 9 immediately so python virtual machine will check for the corresponding except block sir matched if except block matched 10 11 12 normal termination 10 11 12 normal termination okay like now observe if an exception raised at a statement 9 and the corresponding except block matched this is my statement now what is the flow is it clear for all of you right 1 2 3 1 2 3 4 5 6 or 7 may or may not 8 compulsory will execute and then while 9 there is a problem except block 10 11 12 normal termination okay well now the next case observe if an exception raised at a statement 9 sir same statement if an exception raised at statement 9 and the corresponding except block not matched remember corresponding except block not matched not matched sir what will happen so how the control will comes to statement 9 just now i told just now i told 1 2 3 should be executed 1 2 3 will be should be executed next 4 5 6 7 7 may or may not 4 okay 5 Six, seven, may or may not, because with the exception, without the exception, anyway the control will comes to nine. That's why four, five, six, seven, may or may not. But to reach statement nine, compulsory statement eight should be executed. Statement eight executed. Now statement nine, there is a problem. Immediately, Python virtual machine will check for except block. But this except block not matched. If the except block not matched, it is always abnormal termination. But before abnormal termination, finally block will be executed. That's why 
8 11 abnormal termination so have you observed if an exception is that statement 9 so under corresponding except block not matched abnormal termination before abnormal termination yes finally blocks executed 8 inner finally 11 outer finally any doubt about this one okay that's all sir now next case if an exception raised yet the statement at 10 yet the statement at 10 remember if an exception raised yet the statement at 10 oh inside outer except a block okay if an exception raised inside sir outer except a block so it is always abnormal termination have you remembered in the last videos we cover if any statement raising an exception which is a not part of tri block yes it is not part of tri block if it is not part of tri block no except block no except block means abnormal termination so if an exception rises at a statement at 10 it is always abnormal termination but before abnormal termination compulsory this finally block will be executed now observe if an exception rises at statement at 10 then then it is always then it is always abnormal termination then it is always abnormal termination but but before abnormal termination before abnormal termination only finally block will be executed only finally block will be executed are you getting only finally block will be executed any doubt about this one sir observe carefully so if an exception raised at statement at 10 it is not part of tri block if it is not part of tri block then it is there is no except a block there is no except a block means it is always abnormal termination but before that this finally block will be executed statement 11 but how you can reach the control to the statement 10 oh multiple options are there man so here here may be the problem or here may be the problem some way the control came to accept a block while executing this statement at 10 if an exception rise abnormal termination but before that finally block will be executed clear right sir next uh, last case 14th case observe if an exception rise at uh, yet a statement 11 okay sir if an exception rise at uh, yet a statement 11 11 so outer finally block so it is abnormal termination why why it is not part of try if it is not part of try no except block no except block means abnormal termination if an exception rises at statement 11 it is always abnormal termination if an exception rises at a yet a statement at 12 it is always abnormal termination because it is not part of try block there is no except block obviously abnormal termination so if an exception rises at a yet a statement 11 or statement 12 or statement 12 then then it is always then it is always abnormal termination okay remember then it's always abnormal termination any doubt about this one so that's all these are various important cases what you people should aware very clearly sir okay almost 14 cases we discussed uh, so now from any line any line randomly you can choose any line sir sir here line number six if an exception riser what is the flow if you handle what is the flow if you are not to handle what is the flow you should aware sir statement 10 if an exception riser what will happen statement 5 if an exception riser what will happen statement 1 if an exception riser what will happen from 1 to 12 any statement if an exception riser handle not handle what is the flow compulsory you people should aware are you in the position to understand i sir if you are writing this type of code then it's always a good programming practice because the reason is everywhere you define some alternatives alternative handling blocks everywhere you define alternative handling blocks so your program always safe to execute sir sir very simple suppose you you require to come to maitri vanam assume that you are you are going for you are going to maitri vanam some ex, some some place to here maitri vanam you are so in the main road if there is a problem 
if there is a problem then immediately corresponding accept block okay alternative here also there is a problem here also there is a problem then immediately there is a another another accept block okay here also there is a problem assume here also there is a problem then no accept block so what you did is what you can do are so finally block will execute inside finally block i can convey so i am struck at somewhere don't worry don't worry so maybe after few minutes i will reach the destination like you can intimate to the person okay to the to the sa, target person or otherwise to the source person by phone call are you getting so this a type of coding is always good programming practice defining alternatives alternatives at run time your program is always going to execute very smoothly sir so now how many cases we discuss na 14 cases we discuss na each and every case i clearly documented in our material also please go through the material better to analyze then definitely you people are going to get much clarity can you please explain control flow in nested try except finally if entry person is asking give left and right explain these 14 cases definitely entry person can feel very happy very comfortable any doubt about this one clear right hi friends in the last videos we covered about what is control flow in nested try except finally blocks sir now very important concept i want to discuss sir this concept is a python specific concept remember the people who are coming from c language c++ java these people so compulsory it is the new concept it is the python specific concept okay what that concept sir observe carefully else block with the try except finally are you getting else block with the try except finally sir in java if you consider so you can't use else with the try catch finally but in python you can use else everywhere sir everywhere for if else you can use for loops also we can use okay for if else you can use for loops also you can use else block next even else block you can use for try except finally also okay now have a look once sir sir in if else when else part will be executed anyone can you please tell sir if i consider if else if i consider if else when else will be executed if the condition is a false then only it will be executed best example for you sir x is equal to 10 i am taking sir if if x greater than 10 if x greater than 10 sir print print x greater than 10 sir else i am taking sir print x is sir not greater than 10 not greater than 10 like this i am taking sir yes it is a valid so if this condition fails yes if this condition fails now else part is going to execute what is the answer we are going to get sir x is not greater than 10 okay like is the answer we are going to get so we can use else with the if statement when else will be executed very simple sir if uh, sir if uh, this condition fails if uh, this condition fails uh, then only else part is going to execute are you in the position to understand right sir now just uh, let me execute this one have a look once uh, sir here i am taking just uh, observe very very carefully about this uh, this uh, terminology here i'm taking sir sir here just uh, x is equal to 10 i'm taking just observe a bit very very carefully about this one x is equal to 10 sir if if x greater than 10 if x greater than 10 print print x greater than 10 i took sir okay sir else part i'm taking print print else part i'm taking print so x is not greater than 10 like this i'm taking sir sir have you observed right this condition fails if this condition fails what is the so else is going to execute sir 
now observe a bit very carefully if i execute this code x is not greater than 10 is the answer we are going to get of course not required to keep much explanation a small kid also can understand yes we discussed already these things at the very beginning of our python okay now second terminology sir you can use else with the loops also have you remembered right sir with the with the loops loops with the loops we can use loops with the else how you can use else block with the loops sir very simple when it's going to execute a if the loop executed without the break statement remember this one if there is no break without the break statement if the loop executed then only else is going to be executed sir so if the loop encounters a break statement then the loop is not going to exit then else block is not going to execute have a look once sir i'm taking i'm taking very simple example for x in range of 10 i'm taking sir for x in range of 10 sir here just uh, print uh, x value print x value for x in range of 10 print print uh, x value or otherwise or otherwise so item the current item the current current item item is uh, x i'm trying to take okay sir now else we can take observe very carefully even this type of syntax also not there in other languages like java okay c r c plus plus so else we can use with the loops concept right else sir when this else will be executed if there is no break statement if the break statement not encountered then only else is going to execute sir sir observe print print sir congratulations all items processed successfully congratulations congratulations okay all items all items processed successfully like this i'm taking sir all items are processed successfully like i'm taking sir now in this case else is going to execute or not yes definitely because for loop is going to execute without the break remember this one if there is no break that's why happily else is going to execute suppose observe the same example i'm taking sir for for x in range of 10 for x in range of 10 so range of 10 means 0 to 9 so if x greater than 5 if x greater than 5 okay so print print here if x is is greater than 5 can you please break sir break if x value is greater than 5 please break otherwise can you please print okay print the current item the current item item is x i'm taking the current item is x like this i'm taking sir now very simple i'm taking else part else part print print congratulations print congratulations 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 all items processed successfully all items processed successfully like this i'm taking sir can you please tell if i can take this code what is the answer by default we are going to get sir zero if x is the zero this condition is not satisfied break is not going to execute the current item zero current item one current item two current item three current item four current item five but whenever x value is the six uh, this condition satisfied break sir if the break means uh, you will come out of the loop okay so the loop uh, encountered break statement in this case else is not going to execute remember this one so in loops uh, when else part is not going to execute sir if a loop uh, without the break then only else is going to execute while executing loop if the break statement encountered then else part is not going to execute any doubt about this one sir let me execute this you may get much clarity here just uh, have a look once uh, sir here i'm taking for x in for x in range of 10 for x in range of 10 sir here print print the current item print the current item item is x value okay now i'm taking else print 
congratulations okay congratulations all items are processed all items are processed processed successfully all items are processed success successfully okay like i'm taking sir that's all sir in this case loop is not going to execute so without break i mean loop executed without break so there is no break statement at all then break is not encountered all items processor successfully that's why else sir, definitely is going to execute sir have a look once sir now observe now observe a bit carefully here observe the current item 0 1 2 3 and so on up to 9 so 0 to 9 all 10 items processed congratulations all items processed successfully else spot the executed properly remember this one sir sir now here just i'm taking if x greater than 5 if x value greater than 5 then break sir so if x is the 0 1 2 3 4 5 so break statement is not going to execute whenever x is a 6 break is going to execute if the loop encountered break statement then else is not going to execute so in this case else part won't be executed because loop encountered break statement right are you in the position to understand let me execute this code here observe a bit very carefully about this terminology right okay current item 0 0 1 2 3 4 5 up to that where is the uh, else part else means congratulations all items processed successfully else is not executed are you in the position to understand so with the loops uh, when the break statement when the else is going to execute sir uh, if the loop without the break uh, then only else is going to execute while executing loop if a break statement is there then else part is not going to execute are you in the position to understand clear for all of you right now take very special care sir so with if else when else is going to execute next up with the loops when else part is going to execute just have a look once sir observe carefully here up to this whatever i covered here else block with the try now observe if else if condition is false then only else will be executed next up for else for else if loop executed without the break then only else will be executed sir while else if loop executed without the break then only else will be executed just uh, this is a small review whatever we covered else uh, with respect to the loops with respect to if else any doubt up to this clear right sir now observe we can use else with the try except finally also okay remember this one else block happily we can use with the try except finally sir in try except finally where we have to take else block next up when it will be executed next uh, what exact the requirement of this else block all the things we are going to discuss just aware sir so if i can use uh, try block okay try under then we are taking what except except under then we are taking what finally correct right try except finally up to this if you want to take else block where we have to take sir after except we have to take else sir now finally remember this one first try and then accept and then else and then finally block okay next so within the try block what code we have to take observe that risky code we have to take observe very very carefully risky code we have to take next inside accept the block inside accept the block what code we have to take observe very very carefully sir handling code we have to take handling handling code we have to take next uh, when accept block will be executed can you please confirm sir uh, it will be executed it will be executed if exception if exception in in try block if exception in try block then accept block is going to execute next uh, you can take else also so the position is always fixed after except we have to take else block sir so when else block will be executed very very important can you please guess yes friends 
can you please guess when else is going to execute in the case of try accept finally yes when the sales block is going to execute sir within the try block if an exception got raised except is going to execute so within the try block if there is no exception remember this one within the try block if there is no exception then else block is going to execute now observe so here it will be executed it will be executed if if there is no exception if there is no exception in in uh, in try block very very important line this one you have to understand sir sir when else block will be executed if there is no exception inside the try block then only else is going to execute sir can you please explain with a small example which is going to meet this type of requirement don't worry i will explain first observe the syntax how to use when it's going to execute sir yes okay next uh, finally block finally block inside finally block we have to take uh, clean up code inside finally block we have to take clean up code can you please tell when the finally block will be executed it will be executed always irrespective of whether exception rise or not rise or handle or not handle okay so here it will be it will be executed it will be executed if and only if it will be executed if and only if sir when it's going to execute sir so whether exception raised or not raised handle or not handle it will be executed whether whether exception whether exception raised whether exception raised or not raised whether exception raised or not raised whether exception handle whether exception handle or not handle whether exception handle or not handled not not handled so in any case finally block will be executed always but anyway you are very much familiar with the try block except block finally block the only thing what you have to be aware this one better to give importance right so if there is an exception inside try block except is going to execute if there is no exception inside try block then as block is going to execute remember this one sir so of course i will explain with an example don't worry just observe this one so now i have one small doubt sir is there any chance uh, to execute both accept and else block simultaneously can you please confirm is there any chance to execute both accept and else block simultaneously never never if there is an exception except will execute if there is no exception else will execute both are contradiction right if there is an exception in set try except block if there is no exception then only else block so except and else never going to execute simultaneously if except is going to execute else won't execute if else is executing then except won't execute right clear for all of you right just the syntax familiarity right just observe this one sir here else block with the try accept finally okay we can use else block with the try accept finally blocks next if there is no exception in try block then only else block will be executed remember next uh, have a syntax familiarity wise just try covered whatever inside try block risk key code inside accept block handling code accept block will be executed if an exception inside a try next else will be executed if there is no exception inside a try finally meant for cleanup code will be executed whether exception raised or not raised and handled or not handled in any case my finally block will be executed so i hope you people are familiar with the, the what is the when the else block is going to execute how to use if you feel comfortable theoretically let me show programmatically so that you will get much clarity any doubt up to this sir now let me go for executable code observe carefully sir here i am taking try try block okay print uh, try try block print uh, try try i am taking next uh, accept uh, accept uh, print uh, accept block print uh, accept block try accept next uh, else i am taking print uh, else block print else else block next finally i'm taking finally 
print uh, finally black okay finally print uh, finally black i'm taking sir that's all can you please confirm is uh, what is the answer what is the output we are going to get if i execute this code yes friends yes what is the output sir please guess you know when else is going to execute if there is no exception inside the try then only else will be executed can you please confirm what is the answer sir first try first try next uh, there is no exception except block won't be executed if there is no exception else is always going to execute that's why try else uh, finally is the answer friend okay because no exception then except won't be executed but else will be executed so try else finally okay let me execute this one so else is going to execute if there is no exception inside try block let me show let me execute sir sir here see this one already this code is there with me you are not required to worry here see sir i'm taking try try block next and after that except next uh, sir else uh, else and then finally same same thing only there sir so first uh, try will execute next uh, there is no exception that's why except block won't execute if there is no exception definitely else is going to execute anyway whether exception rise or not rise or handle or not handle finally is always going to execute try else finally okay let me execute this uh, syntax right yes what the answer try else finally is the output you are going to get is it clear now sir let me go for if there is an exception then else should not be executed let me show have a look once same example try i'm taking try so print a uh, try block print of try sir print a uh, 10 by 0 i'm taking ah uh, bus print of 10 by 0 i'm taking so here exception got raised now except uh, print of except block print of except except block and then else i'm taking print of else block print of else else and then finally finally okay print of finally block i'm taking sir finally finally block can you please confirm what is the answer we are going to get in this case please confirm friends what is the answer we are going to get in this scenario very simple so just observe try try will execute while executing 10 by 0 if an exception rises yes zero division error immediately except block will execute except except so if there is an exception then else won't execute next up finally try except finally is the output we are going to get any doubt about this one try except finally is the output we are going to get sir let me execute this one sir here here try try print uh, 10 by 0 i'm taking try print uh, 10 by 0 i'm taking what is the answer by default you are going to get try except finally try except finally is the answer in this case else is not executed what is the reason why else is not executed because there is an exception inside the try block are you in the position to understand friends so both examples clear indication practical proof when else will be executed if there is no exception inside try block clear right now i have one small doubt friends take very special care and then tell the answer sir i'm taking try block print try print try try block print try next uh, else i'm taking print uh, else print else next uh, finally i'm taking print uh, finally print uh, finally ah excellent can you please tell what the answer we are going to get <laughs> try sir try block else block finally block except block i didn't write please tell what is the answer we are going to get what is the output we will get if i execute this code just take one minute time and then tell the answer don't try to execute just can you please guess what output we are going to get in this case Re respond what is the answer try else finally there is no except block okay take very special care if i ask uh, python virtual machine are you, can you please execute this code immediately 
python virtual machine will be left and right okay where the reason for that is if you are if you if you are using else block compulsory you should write except a block remember this one sir so else without except a block you can't take remember whenever we are writing else block compulsory we should write except a block else without except a block is invalid immediately error by default we are going to get syntax error what is this error sir syntax error. there is a syntactical mistake is there syntax error we are going to get are you in the position to understand sir just observe carefully right here here just i'm taking just i'm removing this here except a block i'm i'm just a remove sir try else finally okay immediately error we are going to get get this line what is the reason for that is without except you can't write else block by mistake if you are trying to write immediately syntax error right sir let me execute this code have a look once what is the answer by default we are going to get sir so syntax error invalid syntax yet a line number three else part at line number three else here here we are getting syntax error clear for all of you sir very very important terminology you people should should be aware about this one sir so i hope it's a clear for all of you so can you please tell so else one or two conclusions about else else we can use with the try except finally blocks okay if there is no exception inside the try then only else will be executed next uh, else and except uh, both the simultaneously never going to execute if except executed else won't be executed if else executed except won't be executed next uh, without the writing except block we can't write else block else uh, without except block is always invalid is always a syntax error clear right sir observe very carefully these two conclusions also there is no chance of executing both except and else simultaneously we cover if we want to take else block compulsory except block should be there that is else without except block is always invalid syntax error invalid syntax like you are going to get the error if you are trying to use any doubt up to this clear right but still i didn't cover where exactly this else requirement is there that part i will explain sir now let me go for a simple example where else block is really helpful okay just observe carefully sir i'm taking f is equal to none one reference variable i'm taking f sir now try try block i'm taking try within the try block sir just f is equal to can you please open a b c dot txt file can you please open abc.txt file in read mode of course it's a, even you don't know about file io don't worry you can understand very easily i'm not talking about file io internal things okay next topic there we will discuss about files in detail so open abc.txt file r r means reading purpose okay like sir now accept accept so if while open this file file may not available so read permissions may not available if some problem came immediately print print okay some problem some problem problem while while locating while locating locating means whether it is available or not while locating or opening 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 file by locating or opening file some problem like i kept accept a block sir next uh, else i am taking observe very carefully else so when else will be executed can you please confirm if there is no exception inside a try block means uh, you open file successfully correct right then only now i am taking so else print uh, print uh, file open file opened successfully file open successfully okay like i'm taking file open successfully now print print the content of the file the content 
of the file the content of the file is so just a print a print a sir hash mark i'm taking some 30 times i'm taking sir hash mark 30 times just for display sake so if if the file open successfully file open successfully okay now else part is going to execute within the else file open successfully the content of the file is print print how you can read the total data present inside file f dot read we have to take f dot read read we have to take remember this one now if there is no problem then only else is going to execute else is the responsible to print the content present inside file okay well next uh, sir except else finally okay so inside finally what we have to take clean up code are whatever resources you open can you please close can you please close this file pointer like so if if f is not none so means that if this file f is pointing to the file object only it is open successfully then f dot close like this you have to take yeah beautiful example friends sir to understand when else block will be executed now observe very carefully sir so if for try if for if for there is there is a problem in the try block then except block will execute okay except some problem while locating or opening the file if for there is a no problem in the try block now else block is going to execute sir have you observed clear division division of the code is there sir risky code if there is a problem handling code if there is no problem success if if there is no exception then sir print this one print this one sir next and after that finally anyway close close that file perfect example of finally block else block sir in this scenario let me execute this code have a look once sir this f is equal to none f is equal to none yeah, sir, next uh, try f is equal to open abc.txt. Some problem, some problem while locating and opening the file. Okay, else uh, file open successfully. The data present in the file is print. Uh, okay, as a symbol, some 30 times I am taking. And uh, then f dot read. Uh, if f is not none, means if the f is pointing to the file object only, f dot close. Yes, observe very, very carefully, sir. So if uh, there is an exception in the try block, now except block will execute. If uh, there is no exception in the in the try block, now else block is going to execute, which is the responsible okay, to display, to read the content from the file under to display that. Let me execute. But before that, which content is there inside file abc.txt yes line 1 of abc.txt file line 2 line 3 line 4 line 5 like five five lines are there sir so it's a very clear file is available file is available so now f open successfully now else is going to execute and it's going to close the file pointer that's all sir so try will execute else will execute finally also will execute sir now observe very carefully here observe carefully what is the answer if i execute this code yes file open successfully okay the data present in the file is line one of abc line two dot abc line three dot like this perfect sir it's executing sir now if there is a problem if there is a problem in this then automatically do you know except block will execute assume that this file is not available assume this file is not available sir let me take uh, some invalid file okay the file which is not there in my system what will happen sir sir now observe abc 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 dot txt okay i'm sure there is no such type of file in my system if uh, file is not there then some problem while locating except block will execute else won't execute next f is not none f is the none only the close also is not going to be happen okay well so now you can see some problem while locating and opening the file okay now observe let me execute this code let me execute this code now observe have you observed some problem some problem while while locating and opening the file yeah
clear division is there sir the clear the total code divided into success part handling part risky code like uh, sir this is the purpose of perfect example best example of else part are you in the position to understand sir if any person is asking can you please tell one real time scenario where else block is useful then happily you can tell this example sir sir now do you know in other languages like java java so this division is not there okay in java what we have to take so try block i'm taking try block next uh, open file open file okay read the data open file read the data next uh, catch block we have to take catch block we have to take handling code we have to take sir if uh, if the file is not available handling code we have to take finally block finally block here just a clean up code clean up code we have to take clean up clean up code we have to take observe very carefully here so try open the file read the data next catch handling code finally so here if if it is open successfully if it is open successfully then only execute this code there is no such a type of division sir so try block else block both are we have to take inside a try only but here clear division is there are if you open this file successfully then only execute else part if there is a problem then only execute except block so clear division is there obviously what is the biggest advantage we are going to get here readability of the code by default will be improved is it clear for all of right what is the best use of except else else block is this is what what you people should aware any doubt up to this clear right sir by this time you people are very clear about else block with the try except finally let me give the finishing touch for this with a small bit observe carefully sir which of the following is true about else block which of the following is true about else block so we can use else with the try except finally blocks yes is it valid or not yes we can use next else block will be executed if there is no exception inside the try block oh it is also correct man next there is no chance of executing both except and else blocks simultaneously correct if except block executed else won't execute if else executed except won't execute else block without except block is invalid and the causes a syntax error yes we saw correct next all of these so which of the following is true about else block which one is the correct answer sir all these so i'm framing this question just to review all the conclusions about else block so which one is the correct answer sir e e answer e sir just observe means all all of these clear right now if any person is asking what is the purpose of else block can you please explain with an example when it's going to execute what important conclusions are there about else with the try except finally you should be in the position to give left and right to the interview person any doubt about this one clear right hi friends in the last video we covered very clearly else block with the try except finally blocks so how you can define when it is going to execute so what is the main purpose with an example we covered sir sir now the next topic very interesting topic what we are going to discuss various possible combinations of try except else finally are you getting various possible combinations of try except else finally this part we have to discuss sir take very special care almost around 25 combinations we are going to discuss so that you will get much clarity sir any syntax is it valid or not you should be in the position to tell so like uh, we are going to discuss all possibilities with the required conclusions take very special care sir here i'm taking just uh, i'm i'm writing only only try that's all just uh, print uh, try block i'm taking sir can you please tell is it valid or not ha ah, respond friends is it valid or not yes if you can take like this sir python virtual mission will give left and right what the reason is whenever we are writing try block compulsory 
either accept or finally must be required okay trying without accept or finally is always invalid remember this one sir it is the invalid invalid syntax so try must be compulsory associated with either accept block or finally block if you are not taking anything it is always invalid remember okay next uh, second combination what i'm taking sir so just uh, accept uh, accept uh, okay like i'm taking print a uh, accept uh, accept uh, print of accept like this sir two worst combination <laughs> are you getting whenever we are writing accept block compulsory try block must be there so accept without a try is always invalid sir are without risky code what is the need of maintaining handling code are you getting without risky code what is the need of maintaining handling code meaningless that's why invalid combination next uh, third possibility okay here else i'm taking print uh, sir else block else else block right sir this one is also invalid so have you remembered right compulsory whenever we are writing else compulsory so except must be there but whenever we are writing except compulsory try must be there okay without try except else you can't write man okay so this is invalid combination okay well sir now i'm taking now finally okay remember this one now i'm taking finally okay print print okay finally i'm taking sir so here this is also invalid combination because finally block meant for clean up code close the resources the resources which are open inside a try block we have to close inside finally block hey there is no try block without the try block what is the need of taking finally block that's why this one is also invalid right are you in the position to understand now take very special care sir so whenever we are writing try block compulsory except or finally must be required so try without except or finally invalid so whenever we are writing except block try must be there except without the try invalid next up whenever we are writing else block so compulsory except must be required but uh, except without a try not possible so try except must be required then only we can write else block next uh, if you want to write finally compulsory try block must be required so finally without a try is always invalid are you in the position to understand right so up to these uh, four combinations right okay well now i'm taking try sir try try i am taking print a try block print a try block next accept accept print a accept block i am taking friends sir take very special care this one perfectly we allowed okay try accept if there is a problem immediately accept block is going to execute try accept it's a valid combination next i am taking i am taking try try okay print a try block print of try block else else print a else print a else like this i'm taking sir so have you remembered right in the last while discussing else we covered about this one so else without except is always invalid else without except it is always invalid that's why this one is invalid whenever we are writing else block compulsory except block must be there else without except is always invalid combination okay well sir now the next thing very very important combination observe carefully sir now the next here i'm taking try block try block print of try print of try next sir i'm taking finally finally print a finally i'm taking sir finally print a finally can you please confirm is it valid or not yes friends is it valid or not so try and then finally no accept block no else block is it valid or not you respond why you are silent is it valid or invalid huh? 
ah remember most of the people are going to feel it is invalid invalid so because sir risky code is there handling code must be required without except blah what is the need of taking try you may get the doubt so but for a fact lay this one is valid combination what the reason for that is sir may be a chance of raising an exception okay i don't know how to handle exception okay so that's why i didn't try to accept a block i don't know how to handle exception i want abnormal termination only but before abnormal termination can you please close my database connection are you getting even abnormal termination but before abnormal termination can you please close my database connection like uh, for a fact lay this one is the valid syntax right try finally without except without else perfectly valid combination have a look once sir now let me let me show so that so that you people may get uh, much much clarity about this one sir one minute friends here just uh, have a look once about this okay sir here i'm taking try block try block print a uh, try print of try next uh, finally finally print a uh, finally like this i'm taking sir that's all so try followed by finally is it valid syntax or not 100% percent pakka it is the valid syntax only so try finally is the output we are getting sir are you in the position to understand right so try followed by finally itself is valid without except without else right okay well sir now my next one try i am taking try try i am taking sir print uh, try block print uh, try try i am taking next uh, sir here else else print a uh, else i'm taking print of else next uh, except except uh, print a uh, except uh, like this i'm taking sir can you please confirm is it valid or invalid very very important is it valid or invalid invalid immediately python virtual mission will give left and right what is the reason ha ah, can you please tell what the reason immediately we will get error what what the reason the reason for that is so else except first we have to take except and then else try except else finally order is important first try and then except and then else and then finally but here else we are taking at the beginning that's why syntactical mistake we are going to get so it is invalid try right? sir now i'm taking now sir try try okay print a uh, try block try print of try block next uh, here do you know else uh, print a uh, else i'm taking print of else finally finally print a uh, finally like this i'm taking sir finally like can you please tell is it valid or not i hope your knowledge is more enough to answer it is valid whether it is the valid or not yes 100% pakka invalid <laughs> invalid what the reason is if you are taking else compulsory except must be required so without except how you can write else without except how you can write else that's why this one is invalid combination okay well sir now i am taking try try print a ah, 10th combination try print of try sir print of try next uh, except uh, except uh, okay print of except print of except except i'm taking try except next uh, here else uh, else uh, print of uh, else next uh, finally print of uh, finally print of uh, finally like this i'm taking can you please confirm is it valid or not so for a fact the best example to identify the syntax right try except else finally order order everything is there for a fact lay it is a valid combination remember this one sir sir now next one i'm taking try try very important sir try okay sir here print uh, try block print uh, try block except uh, print uh, print uh, except print except sir try except like this again again i'm taking try print uh, try 
ಪ್ರಿಂಟ್ ಟ್ರೈ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಫೈನಲ್ಲಿ ಪ್ರಿಂಟ್ ಫೈನಲ್ಲಿ ಪ್ರಿಂಟ್ ಫೈನಲ್ಲಿ ಯಾ ಟ್ರೈ ಎಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಟ್ರೈ ಫೈನಲ್ಲಿ ಕೆನ್ ಯು ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಟೆಲ್ ಈಸ್ ಇಟ್ ವ್ಯಾಲಿಡ್ ಕಾಂಬಿನೇಷನ್ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಓಕೆ ರಿಮೆಂಬರ್ ದೇಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಒನ್ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ಪರ್ಫೆಕ್ಟ್ಲಿ ವ್ಯಾಲಿಡ್ ಸೊ ಟ್ರೈ ಎಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಒನ್ ಸಿಂಟ್ಯಾಕ್ಸ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಟ್ರೈ ಫೈನಲ್ಲಿ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಪಾಸಿಬಲ್ ಸಿಂಟ್ಯಾಕ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಟ್ರೈ ಎಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟೆಡ್ ನೌ ಟ್ರೈ ಫೈನಲ್ಲಿ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಒನ್ ಪರ್ಫೆಕ್ಟ್ಲಿ ವ್ಯಾಲಿಡ್ ಕಾಂಬಿನೇಷನ್ ರೈಟ್ ಅರಿ ಇನ್ ದ ಪೊಸಿಷನ್ ಟು ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ರೈಟ್ ಸೊ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಟ್ರೈ ಎಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಎಗೈನ್ ಟ್ರೈ ಎಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಟೇಕ್ ಟ್ರೈ ಫೈನಲ್ಲಿ ಎಗೈನ್ ಟ್ರೈ ಫೈನಲ್ಲಿ ಹ್ಯಾಪಿಲಿ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಟೇಕ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಸೊ ದೆರ್ ಇಸ್ ನೋಟ್ ಡೌಟ್ ಎಟ್ ಆಲ್ ಅಪ್ ಟು ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಸರ್ ಟೋಟಲ್ ಅಮೋನಿ ಕಾಂಬಿನೇಷನ್ ವಿ ಕವರ್ಡ್ ಲೆವೆನ್ ಕಾಂಬಿನೇಷನ್ ವಿ ಕವರ್ಡ್ ಸರ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಅಪ್ ಟು ದಿಸ್ ಸ್ಟಿಲ್ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಯಾರ್ ಸಮ್ ಮೋರ್ ಸೊ ಅಪ್ ಟು ದಿಸ್ ಐ ಹೋಪ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಅ ವೆರಿ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ನಾಟ್ ರೆಕ್ವೈರ್ ಟು ಕೇಪ್ ಎನಿ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲನೇಷನ್ ರೈಟ್ ಸರ್ ಅಪ್ ಟು ದಿಸ್ ವಿ ಕವರ್ಡ್ ಲೆವೆನ್ ಕಾಂಬಿನೇಷನ್ಸ್ ನೌ ದ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಒನ್ ಅಬ್ಸರ್ವ್ ಕೇರ್ಫುಲಿ ಸರ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಆಮ್ ಟೇಕಿಂಗ್ ಸರ್ ಟ್ವೆಲ್ತ್ ಕಾಂಬಿನೇಷನ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ವೆರಿ ಸಿಂಪಲ್ ಟ್ರೈ ಆಮ್ ಟೇಕಿಂಗ್ ಪ್ರಿಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಟ್ರೈ ಸರ್ ಟ್ರೈ ಆಮ್ ಟೇಕಿಂಗ್ ಪ್ರಿಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಟ್ರೈ ಸರ್ ನೌ ಸರ್ ಎಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಆಮ್ ಟೇಕಿಂಗ್ ಪ್ರಿಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಪ್ರಿಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಸರ್ ಟ್ರೈ ಪ್ರಿಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಟ್ರೈ ಆಮ್ ಟೇಕಿಂಗ್ ಎಲ್ಸ್ ಪ್ರಿಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಲ್ಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ಆಮ್ ಟೇಕಿಂಗ್ ಕೆನ್ ಯು ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಕನ್ಫರ್ಮ್ ಈಸ್ ಇಟ್ ವ್ಯಾಲಿಡ್ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಎಸ್ ಯುವರ್ ನಾಲೆಡ್ಜ್ ಇಸ್ ಮೋರ್ ಎನ್ ಆಫ್ ಟು ಆನ್ಸರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಒನ್ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ದೇರ್ ಸರ್ ಎಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಒನ್ ಈಸ್ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ಪಕ್ಕ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಇನ್ ವ್ಯಾಲಿಡ್ ಕಾಂಬಿನೇಷನ್ ವಾಟ್ ದ ರೀಸನ್ ಈಸ್ ಸೊ ಟ್ರೈ ಎಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಅಪ್ ಟು ದಿಸ್ ವ್ಯಾಲಿಡ್ ಬಟ್ ಟ್ರೈ ಎಲ್ಸ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಇನ್ ವ್ಯಾಲಿಡ್ ರಿಗಾರ್ ಬಿಕಾ ವೆನ್ ಎವರ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ರೈಟಿಂಗ್ ಎಲ್ಸ compulsory accept must be required but you didn't write accept that's why itself is invalid combination okay well sir next uh, here i'm taking try try print a uh, try try print of try next accept uh, x x x print a uh, sir accept one accept one next uh, except uh, y y y i am taking print a uh, except 2 uh, i am taking sir that's all can you please confirm is it valid or invalid this one is perfectly valid try with multiple except blocks always possible no problem at all so a single try can be associated with multiple except blocks clear right sir now observe very carefully very carefully try i'm taking print a ah, sir try print of try try now my requirement is sir this is the 14th combination so next try i'm taking sir so print of try next uh, take very very special care about this one except except print a ah, except block print of except block next uh, else else print a uh, sir else one next else print a uh, print a uh, else two i am taking sir <laughs> have you observed can you please confirm is it valid or invalid 100% pakka this one is invalid combination a single try associated with multiple except blocks but you can't take more than one else block remember this one more than one except block possible for the same try but more than one else block not possible clear right okay well same here just observe carefully sir try i'm taking try i'm taking print of try block print of try try block next except except print a uh, except except a print of except now sir my requirement is yes, finally okay print a uh, finally one sir next uh, finally print a uh, finally print a uh, finally two sir how many finally blocks i am taking sir two finally blocks i am taking so two finally blocks sir which is invalid remember this one so this one is always what uh, invalid what the reason is 
so for the same try you can take multiple except blocks you can't take multiple else block multiple finally blocks again finally only one or zero at most one finally block at most one else block you have to take but except any number of except blocks you can take as long as exceptions are different are you in the position to understand i sir this is a bit very important case now i have one small doubt sir observe carefully <laughs> here try print a uh, try i'm taking try print of try now except 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 print a uh, except block print a uh, except block now sir if 10 greater than 20 print uh, if print if else uh, print uh, else i'm taking sir <laughs> can you please confirm is it valid or invalid ayyo respond so try accept uh, valid this is the if else sir this else no way related to try it is associated with the if block what is the problem if else is the valid syntax next turn after that try accept is the valid syntax that's why no problem at all itself is acceptable okay any doubt about this clear right okay well now next uh, possibility is abjad sir i'm taking 17th 16 already completed right now try try print a uh, try block print a uh, try block next uh, print a uh, hello hello i'm taking hello sir after try immediately print of hello and then accept uh, print a uh, accept block i'm taking print of uh, accept block immediately error we are going to get what the reason is sir try accept uh, is a single statement you should not write independent statements in the middle because of this independent statement try will become alone accept will become alone no link at all this uh, try and accept try without accept or finally next accept without try syntactical errors we are going to get are in the position between try and accept you can't write any independent statements observe carefully sir here i'm taking sir try block try block next accept block okay like like i'm taking sir this is the valid perfectly this one is the valid sir valid now observe valid no problem it is the valid sir in the middle some print uh, hello hello like uh, some independent statement i'm taking observe where i took independent statements are in between try and accept i'm taking independent statement so because of this now try will become alone next uh, accept will become alone remember this so have a look once syntax error invalid syntax like we are going to get so in between try and accept you can't write any independent statements remember that sir same rule applicable between two except blocks also okay here try i am taking print of try try i am taking print of try now except x x x okay print a uh, except one print of except one except one like this right sir now except except y y y print a uh, except to except to like this i am taking now first except block second except block in the middle i am taking print a uh, hello are you getting so because of this what will happen sir this a try except completed now this except will become alone alone without a try this except is there that's why it is the invalid syntax so between two except blocks in the middle you can't write any print statement any doubt about this one clear right next uh, similarly okay now observe carefully try try print a uh, try try print of try next uh, except except uh, print a uh, except print a uh, except uh, like try except next uh, else i'm taking print of else so here do you know try except else 
perfectly valid syntax no problem at all but in the middle i'm taking print the ah hello hello so between accept the block and the else block i'm taking independent statement immediately error we are going to get okay because try accept valid syntax now because of this print statement else will become alone alone that's why it is invalid syntax remember this sir similar line okay last i mean here try print ah uh, try i'm taking try print up try now accept accept print a uh, accept print of accept next uh, sir here take very special care about this terminology right sir i'm taking finally try accept and then finally here print a uh, finally finally like so try accept finally valid so after try accept one independent statement i'm taking okay print of hello independent statement i'm taking print of hello immediately error by default we are going to get the reason is try accept okay well but because of this print now this finally will become alone so that's all that's why this one is the invalid combination so means that try accept else finally is a sir single statement in the middle you can't write independent statements by mistake if you are writing independent statements then immediately you are going to get error is it clear for all of you right sir up to these how many combinations we cover 20 combinations we cover still some more are there okay be ready sir up to this we cover 20 combinations right let me go for some more combinations sir here observe I'm taking 21 try try within the try block I'm taking sir print inner try print inner inner try next accept print inner accept inner inner accept okay next finally okay print print sir inner finally inner inner finally like this i'm taking so now here accept accept sir print outer accept print outer outer accept like this i'm taking sir take a bit very special care about about this terminology what is the important conclusion here is within the try block try accept finally try accept else finally you can take inside the try inside accept block inside finally block also nesting or try accept else finally is always possible remember this one sir so it is a valid thing next uh, i am taking sir 20 second try try okay print a uh, try block next uh, accept accept block accept within the accept block i am taking try sir print inner try inner inner try i am taking next uh, here accept accept print a uh, inner accept print of inner accept like this i am taking so where i am defining this uh, try accept sir inside accept block so inside accept block you can take try accept else finally perfectly acceptable sir similarly okay here try i'm taking print a uh, try block print of try next uh, accept i'm taking print a uh, accept block print of accept accept block i'm taking try accept sir i'm writing else uh, inside else block inside else block i'm taking try try print a uh, try next uh, finally print a uh, finally like this i'm taking sir so where we are writing sir this try finally have you remember try finally the valid syntax this valid syntax you are taking inside else block no problem perfectly acceptable remember this one same here i'm taking try sir here 24th try 
print a try block try print of try block now sir here except except print a except block print a except block now finally okay finally i'm taking sir finally so now take very special care inside finally block sir i'm taking try i'm taking try print a okay try nr try nr try next accept i'm taking so print a accept accept can you please confirm is it valid or not yes inside finally you can take try accept no problem at all so try accept else finally you can take inside try block you can take inside accept block you can take inside else block in you can take inside finally block also everywhere you can take next thing oh try accept else finally is always possible clear right okay now next uh, one more thing i'm i'm going to talk sir here observe very carefully 25th combination i'm taking try try so within the try i'm taking try okay print uh, nr try print uh, nr nr try now sir here accept uh, i'm taking sir print uh, accept block print uh, accept block can you please tell is it valid or not ha huh? <laughs> is it valid or not inside a try i'm taking try try and then accept i'm taking is it valid or not invalid invalid so this accept block related to outer try sir now for this inner try no accept no finally where is the accept block or finally try without accept accept or finally is always invalid combination remember this one sir this one is the valid or invalid invalid combination because this try will become alone no accept block no finally block that's why itself is invalid right now i'm taking here just a try try i'm taking inside try try so print okay try print try next finally finally print finally print finally i'm taking sir sir now accept accept okay print accept print accept can you please tell is it valid or not 100% pakka it is valid so within the try i am taking try finally valid syntax next try accept valid syntax what is the problem sir so now i hope it is clear for all of you right so with these 26 combinations if tomorrow if any new combination is coming you should be in the position to answer are you in the position to understand right sir almost 26 combinations all these combinations i covered very clearly in our material so don't worry just go through the material have a look once observe carefully sir this is this is about our material here do you know first combination second combination third combination fourth like uh, almost around 25 combinations 25 combinations are there in our material sir you are not uh, not required to worry about uh, these uh, things all these things i kept uh, in our material form just uh, go through these combinations right sir next uh, before that just uh, whatever conclusions we had let me talk once uh, here see various possible combinations of try accept else finally okay observe important conclusions right very important sir so whenever we are writing try block compulsory we should write except or finally are you getting whenever we are writing try block compulsory we should write except or finally block okay so that is try without except or finally is always invalid is it remember uh, is it is it clear right try without except or finally is always invalid next up whenever we are writing except block compulsory try block should be there so except uh, without the try is always invalid okay well sir whenever we are writing finally block compulsory try block should be there 
finally without a try is always invalid remember this one sir next uh, here observe carefully whenever we are writing else block compulsory except block should be there sir so else without except is always invalid else without except is always invalid is it clear next uh, we can write uh, multiple except blocks yes uh, try with multiple except blocks possible we can write multiple except block for the same try but we can't write multiple else blocks and finally blocks multiple else blocks multiple finally blocks for the same try is invalid remember next in try except else finally order is important compulsory we should take first try and then any number of except blocks and then else and then finally order is important right next we can write uh, try except else finally inside a try except else and finally blocks hence uh, nesting of try except finally is always possible nesting of try except finally else finally is always possible are you in the position to understand right various possible combinations of this try except else finally almost these 26 combinations i hope you got very clearly right so any explanation is required clear for all of you right okay that's all hi friends in the last two videos we covered very clearly what are various possible combinations of try except else finally sir almost around 25 combinations we discussed uh, with the clear conclusions right now i hope you people got very clearly about the possible combinations right sir now the next uh, very important topic what i have to discuss just observe types of exceptions so what are various types of exceptions are there in python we have to discuss this topic very important for day to day coding and even for interview room also that's why take very special care about this one sir sir can you please spell out how many types of exceptions are there yes friends there are two types two types the first one predefined exceptions what are the first ones are predefined predefined exceptions second one second one sir if it is not predefined then obviously someone is the responsible to define okay programmer is the responsible developer is the responsible to define such type of exceptions are called user defined exceptions remember this one user defined exceptions so how many types of exceptions are there there are two types of exceptions first one predefined exceptions second one user defined exceptions right sir now you may ask what what about predefined exceptions sir python's inbuilt exceptions we we came across multiple exceptions in our last examples right zero division error value error attribute error have you remembered okay file not found error like multiple multiple errors we covered all these things are python's inbuilt exceptions remember these ones are predefined exception these things are right so these predefined exceptions will be raised automatically by the python virtual machine whenever a particular event occurs remember this one whenever a particular event occurs automatically python virtual machine will raise these predefined exceptions okay best example for you here just uh, print uh, 10 by 0 i'm taking sir can you please confirm if i can take print 10 by 0 what is the answer Ah, what is the answer? Whenever we are trying to perform zero division error, immediately, immediately, Python virtual machine will raise uh, zero division error. Okay? Zero division error. Immediately, Python virtual machine will raise zero division error. Remember that. Sir, similarly, suppose I want to convert uh, Sir, string to inter type. Have you remembered? At the very beginning classes, we cover typecasting functions. I want to convert the string value to int type. Int function we require to use, right? Suppose I'm taking x is equal to int of 10. 
okay i'm i'm converting string string to integer type of course this string internally contain 10 means number into value only no problem at all sir no issue it is acceptable suppose i'm taking x is equal to int a T E N. We are trying to convert string to int value, but the string not the representing int value. Then immediately we are going to get value error. Are you getting? So the exceptions which are raised automatically by the Python virtual machine whenever a particular event occurs, such type of exceptions are. PVM exceptions, Python virtual machine exceptions, or predefined exceptions, or Python inbuilt exceptions, right? Are you in the position to understand? Whatever exceptions we covered up to this in our exception handling concept, all these things are predefined exceptions. But what about user defined? That part we are going to discuss. So just uh, let me show these two things, right? Okay, these, these two examples, right? Observe a bit very carefully, sir. Here, here I'm taking here just uh, my requirement is observe print uh, 10 by 0 i'm taking print uh, 10 by 10 by 0 i'm trying to take sir if i can take 10 by 0 10 by 0 what is the answer we are going to get sir have you observed right zero division error zero division error division by zero division by zero so whenever we are trying to perform Whenever we are trying to perform, okay, division by zero, immediately Python virtual machine will rise uh, zero division error, division by zero. So, it is a predefined Python inbuilt exception, Python predefined exception, Python virtual machine know everything about this exception when it has to rise such type of information PVM already aware. That's why whenever we are trying to perform division by zero, immediately Python virtual machine is going to rise zero division error is it clear right sir same way what about value error let me show sir here observe carefully here i'm taking uh, so x x is equal to sir x is equal to int a uh, 10 int of 10 i'm taking print of x value now observe we are trying to convert string to we are trying to convert string to int type int type yes this string internally contains int value only that's why we never going to get any problem happily the code sir runs under print 10 sir okay well sir instead of 10 by mistake ten is there now observe ten ten is there sir if ten is there there then immediately so we are going to get value error remember so we are trying to convert string to int value but the string not representing int that's why value error we are getting sir who is the responsible to raise this exception how i respond either zero division error or value error who is the responsible to raise these exceptions python virtual mission next these are python's inbuilt exception such type of exceptions are called predefined exceptions python virtual mission exception are inbuilt exceptions right are you in the position to understand so whatever we discussed up to this these are predefined exceptions only so the second category user defined exceptions that part we will take care just up to this whatever we covered have a look once sir here just we we, we discussed about the types of exception how many types of exceptions are there there are two types of exceptions what are the first category predefined exception second category user defined exception sir user means programmer developer okay such type of exceptions are user defined we will discuss in detail next uh, here observe what is the predefined exceptions okay also known as inbuilt also known inbuilt exceptions are pvm exceptions these will be raised automatically by python virtual machine whenever a particular event occurs so so predefined exceptions will be raised automatically python virtual machine whenever a particular event occurs division by zero zero division error converting string to int but string is not a int value then immediately value error like sir observe very carefully this example one 
whenever we are trying to perform division by zero automatically python will rise zero division error python means python virtual machine will rise zero division error print 10 by zero zero division error whenever we are trying to convert string str value str value to int time and the string doesn't contain int value then we will get what value error automatically so who is the responsible to rise zero division error value error Huh? Who is the responsible? Python, virtual mission, is the responsible to rise. Uh, these uh, things uh, are by default considered as predefined exceptions or inbuilt exceptions or PVM exceptions. Because Python virtual mission has complete information about these exceptions, which uh, when these uh, things uh, should be raised, PVM already having complete information, right? Sir, up to this, any doubt about this one? Clear, right? So now I have to talk about user defined exceptions. Up to this, any doubt? Sir, the next category of the exceptions is user defined exceptions. Okay? Who is the user here? Programmer or developer is the user, developer. So sometimes we have to define our own exceptions and we have to rise explicitly to indicate something goes wrong. Remember this one, boss, something goes wrong, I can't process your request, so that's why I'm stopping by raising error. So we have to define our own exceptions and we have to raise explicitly whenever something goes wrong. Remember this one, so these exceptions which are defined by developer or programmer, these exceptions are by default considered as user defined exceptions or customizer exceptions or programmatic exceptions we have to rise programmatically programmatic exceptions or customizer exceptions or user defined exceptions sir okay can you please tell one scenario okay related to this one sir how how you can how you can explain so can you explain with an example so that we will get much clarity like you may ask observe a bit very carefully sir sir not one scenario Two or three scenarios I will explain so that you may get much clarity, sir. Sir, best example, here just uh, assume bank application, sir. Okay, because everyone having some basic idea about this bank app, bank application, even in the whoops, we covered this type of things, right? So in bank application, okay, assume common operations related to the bank, deposit operation, withdraw operation, right? So I want to withdraw amount, okay, in my account, 10,000 is there, 10,000 balance is there, I want to withdraw amount, I want to withdraw amount, so how much amount you want to withdraw, compulsory, the requested amount should be, should be less than or equal to available balance, remember this one, should be either less or equal to available balance, so requested amount should not be greater than available balance, but here do you know, sometimes my account contains 10,000, 10,000 rupees only in my account, I want to withdraw 20,000, <laughs> just I will go to the ATM center, swipe the card, enter 20,000, what will happen? Huh, I know money won't come mm, by mistake by mistake I may get then I can enjoy okay by mistake like uh, so I tried I tried to withdraw 20,000 immediately you are going to get insufficient funds have you heard about this one insufficient funds okay internally how this uh, sir functionality is implemented just a basic idea assume that sir it is a uh, withdraw function or withdraw method, withdraw function I am taking. So, how much amount you have to withdraw? Sir, def, withdraw of amount. Now I am taking, if, if, amount, if amount greater than or equal to balance. If amount greater than or equal to balance. Sir, something goes wrong, we can't proceed this request. So, I have to stop by rising exception right what i'm taking a rise rise in sufficient in sufficient funds exception rise in sufficient funds exception like this i did i did sir i did so if a requested amount greater than or equal to balance 
can you please raise insufficient funds exception okay like sir now else else okay process request okay else process process request as per our business requirement okay like sir now my question is so if requested amount greater than or equal to balance raise insufficient funds exception so insufficient funds exception is it python inbuilt exception no no so for bank application based on my program requirement i define my own exception and i'm creating this exception object and i'm raising that exception object sir here which keyword we are using raise raise keyword we are using to raise our own exception sir this exception what we are using is the programmatic customizer exception user defined exception right are you in the position to understand don't feel always zero division error value error only no no we have to define our own exceptions also any doubt about this clear right first example now here just observe one more example sir okay so do you know mobile mobile recharge application mobile recharge recharge application sir observe observe a bit very very carefully mobile recharge application do you know how you can recharge your mobile sir i'm talking especially specific to india okay in india how we can recharge our mobile phones assume that it is the prepaid prepaid how you can recharge do you know these days okay there are mobile recharge apps are available applications are there by using that you can do online very easily sir but in the olden days if you move if you go so almost around 5 to 6 years before or 10 years before then we are not having online recharge facility right then what we have to take we have to take uh, so we have to go to the shop shop wala is going to provide so scratch card scratch card then we have to sir on the on the on the scratch if you scratch then a number a big number by default we are going to get so b e uh, g h four five six a big number a big number you are going to get this number you have to enter in your mobile okay then the requested amount will be recharged sir okay this is uh, you know scratch card kind of thing sir sir what happened most of the people what they are going to do is sir i paid 100 rupees then i got this scratch card i scratch that then this is the number i got then i have to enter this number i have to enter this so my mobile is going to be recharged but most of the times what i'm going to take oh 456 is there compulsory 455 also should be there okay 455 also should be there like uh, what i will do is i will try to enter 1 2 3 b e g h 455 so whenever i'm trying to enter immediately we are going to get invalid pin exception are you getting invalid pin exception like oh there is no such type of number pin okay like then 455 not working maybe 457 may work okay 1 2 3 b e g h 457 i will try whenever i'm trying to i'm trying 457 the invalid pin exception okay like oh i realized that array this one and this one is not there compulsory we require to enter this one only like moreover i got a lot of message two attempts already failed if you are going to enter wrong pin third time your mobile is going to be blocked okay like some message also your sim is going to be blocked like i got message then so i have to enter okay this number then my mobile is going to be recharged are you in the position to understand anyone having this type of experience right most of the people most of the people at the beginning days they did like this okay so make sure the service provider never going to generate these things in the sequence remember this one compulsory they are going to generate random random wise only because if they are going to generate sequence the problem is 456 if you aware okay then 457 458 459 okay like continuously happily you can recharge you can use all those things right that's why so sequential they won't print compulsory they are going for random random number generation only okay well sir here just observe de f recharge de f recharge recharge sir can you please enter pin okay i have to enter pin 
so if a pin if a pin is not valid if a pin is not valid not valid sir so you entered wrong pin okay now can you please raise can you please raise invalid pin invalid pin exception can you please raise invalid pin exception like this right so what is this invalid pin exception this is nothing but what customizer exception our own exception to meet the programming requirement we define our own exception such a type of exception is called what user defined exception customizer exception are you in the position to understand one small use case where we have this type of requirements right okay well sir still let me go for one more very important example sir sir what my next example is take very special case sir sir here here durga durga matrimonial application okay matri matrimonial matrimonial application sir durga matrimonial application is there i want to develop this application so in india the minimum age to go for marriage is 18 years okay my application decided max age 60 years right okay for this age group my application will provide support assume that assume 18 years to 60 years below 18 years marriage illegal in india okay but 60 years after 60 years so even it is the legal there is no use of going for marriage okay after 60 years right now observe very carefully right i want to develop such a type of application okay like sir i have one small question are you married yo yes or no are you married most of the times whenever i ask this question in the classroom in the classroom whenever i ask it everyone is going to tell not married not married not married even their age is 30 plus also okay everyone is going to tell not married not married are why you didn't go for marriage sir no job no job so no job once i got the job then i will think about marriage like uh, this type of statements i am generally hearing in the classroom take very special care at the age of 60 years also you can get the job but at the age of 60 years uh, you won't get marriage okay that's why so getting marriage getting job getting marriage at right time is a very important job throughout your life any time you can do that okay next the more over getting job is very very easy than getting marriage remember that if you are going to upload your profile in job sites okay your resume you uploaded in naukri uh, naukri next uh, times uh, like uh, monster like if you are going to upload your profile in the job sites uh, similarly parallelly better to upload in the matrimonial sites also okay uh, or otherwise you can convey to your father father i started job trials can you please start uh, my marriage trials like uh, you have to request because getting marriage in india especially okay these days is a very very difficult especially for the gent remember that okay but i am very lucky because i got married already okay now observe sir now my application 18 to 60 years it's going to provide support now my question is there is one person came sir he want to he want to so register in my application is age 99 years sir <laughs> are you getting his age is what 99 years sir. yet this age he is trying to register then what i have to do so something goes wrong something goes wrong because my application should not accept this one now i am going to tell very beautiful very beautiful exception i am going to raise okay to to young exception <laughs> are you getting to young exception to young exception okay please uh, wait uh, some more time please uh, wait uh, some more time please wait some more time definitely you will get the best match okay definitely you will get uh, definitely you will get the uh, best match are you getting definitely you will get best match like i'm taking so just for fun okay sir 99 means too old like you have to just for fun just i reverse sir next uh, so there is one person came he want to upload his profile 
బట్ అన్ఫార్చునేట్లీ ఈజ్ ఏజ్ ఈజ్ ట్వెల్వ్ ఇయర్స్ ఉంది ఎట్ ద ఏజ్ ఆఫ్ ట్వెల్వ్ ఇయర్స్ ఉంది ఈజ్ హరీ హరీ ఫర్ ద మ్యారేజ్ దెన్ ఇమ్మడిగెట్లీ మై అప్లికేషన్ వాట్ ఇట్స్ గోన్ టు టెల్ టు ఓల్డ్ ఎక్సెప్షన్ టు ఓల్డ్ ఎక్సెప్షన్ ఎక్సెప్షన్ యువర్ ఏజ్ యువర్ ఏజ్ ఆల్రెడీ ఆల్రెడీ క్రాస్డ్ మ్యారేజ్ ఏజ్ ఆల్రెడీ క్రాస్డ్ మ్యారేజ్ ఏజ్ మ్యారేజ్ ఏజ్ నో ఛాన్స్ ఆఫ్ గెటింగ్ మ్యారేజ్ నో ఛాన్స్ ఆఫ్ గెటింగ్ మ్యారేజ్ ఓకే లైక్ ఐఎమ్ టేకింగ్ సార్ no chance of getting marriage like uh, so this exception i'm going to raise now take very special case just for fun reversing sir 99 actually two old exception i have to raise just for fun two young exception 12 two old exception because you don't know the legal rules uh, so that's why just i'm taking uh, your age already crossed you can't get the marriage like uh, so then he is going to think about what is the correct age and so on then he may get the legal rules now observe very carefully sir what is uh, this uh, two young exception what is this two old exception okay to meet our programming requirement we have to define our own exceptions we have to raise these exception to indicate something goes wrong such type of exceptions are by default considered as customized exceptions or user defined exceptions now are you in the position to understand three examples i covered sir what is the first one so inception of funds exception second one invalid pin exception third one two young exception two old exception like you people should aware now everyone got basic idea about the, how what is the meaning of customizer exception of course how to define that part i will explain how to define use rise that part i am going to take care sir observe a bit very carefully sir use are define exceptions okay now have a look ones also known as customizer exceptions or programmatic exceptions these user defined exceptions also known as customizer exceptions or programmatic exceptions sometimes we have to define and raise exceptions explicitly to indicate that something goes wrong such a type of exceptions are called user defined exceptions or customizer exceptions or programmatic exceptions remember so we have to define we have to raise exceptions to indicate something goes wrong such a type of exception user defined or customizer programmatic exceptions right sir now i have one small doubt here observe very carefully sir here if you observe these examples these example here who is raising inception funds exception we are raising are you getting i'm using inception funds exception i'm raising python virtual mission doesn't have any information about our exceptions because these exceptions are not python inbuilt exception our own exception we know when we have to raise okay python virtual mission won't write these exceptions automatically we have to raise explicitly by using which keywords are raise keyword are you getting so pvm python virtual mission not having any information about these exception that's why we have to raise explicitly by using which keywords are raise keyword remember have a look ones so now programmer is responsible to define these exceptions and the python virtual mission not having any idea about these okay hence uh, we have to raise explicitly based on our requirement by using which keywords are raise are you getting by using which keyword raise keyword raise keyword can be used uh, to raise uh, exceptions most of the times we are going to use customized exceptions because predefined exceptions pvm automatically raise but customized exception pvm won't raise so some keyword must be required to raise for that raise keyword we are going to use clear for all of you right now observe sir can you please give an example okay inception funds exception invalid pin, pin exception two young exception two old exception these are the best examples right so now i hope you people are having clear clarity what is the meaning of customizer exceptions theoretically right sir how to define how to raise that part i will take care up to this clear any doubt hi friends up to this it is very clear what is the meaning of 
customizer exceptions predefined exceptions like now the next thing what i have to discuss how to define and raise uh, customizer exceptions very very important have a look once uh, sir if you want to define any exception so every exception in python is a class so if you want to define your own exception you have to write your exception class are you getting right so writing defining customizer exception means you have to write exception class sir next uh, when a class will get uh, exception ability suppose i am taking sir class uh, test okay i am taking class test can i use this class uh, yeah as exception can i use this class as an exception no no so it is not exception class it is a normal class when we can use a class as exception when this class is going to get exception ability compulsory this class should be child class of base exception either directly or indirectly have you remembered right in the last video somewhere we covered exception hierarchy okay so which class acts as the base for all exceptions right i hope you people may remember base exception okay so for this base exception child class is there exception so for this exception child class is there arithmetic error okay arithmetic error error like a uh, we have multiple multiple right so compulsory your exception class also should be child class of base exception uh, either directly or indirectly no problem at all so what i will take is so most of the times if you want to define your own exception okay better to make uh, your exception class is the child class of uh, exception it is a common programming practice okay here you have to write two young exception something like or two old exception so if you want to write your class should be exception class so it should extend either exception or base exception or any exception compulsory it should fall under this base exception hierarchy is it clear right sir now i want to take class class okay two young exception class two young exception okay it is a normal class when this class will have exception ability means uh, do you know it should be child class of either base exception or exception or arithmetic error like anything you can take but uh, general programming practice okay exception like this we can are you in the position to understand we have to write a class sir name of the exception class and it should be child class of exception next uh, i hope you remember if you want to raise a two young exception okay your exception having any description or not suppose here have you observed zero division error zero division error error this is the name of the exception division by zero division by by zero this is the description this is the name of the exception this is the description like uh, two young exception two young exception exception okay two young exception this is the name of the exception and i want some description also what that description is are please wait please wait some more time please wait some more time definitely you will get the best match definitely you will get the you will you will get the best match remember this one please wait some more time definitely you will get the best match remember this one sir so means that means means that so this is the description so you are exception having some description or not if you are exception having some description so it is the argument to constructor now what i have to take d e f underscore underscore init underscore underscore self do you know what is this syntax right construct a comma message is this is the description sir okay here you have to declare self for dot message is equal to message like that's all so this is the way how you can define 
predefined, I mean customize their exceptions, right? Write a class, write a class, which is the child class of exception, exception. Next, uh, write the constructor and uh, so some message variable. So create one instance variable self dot message is equal to message like you can take. Here, this variable can be anything you can take, but better to take here compulsory instance variable should be msg. Any doubt about this one, sir? Clear, right? Okay, this is the way how you can define, okay, our own customized exceptions concept. Okay, of course, with the example, so with the program, executable program, I will explain. First, get the basic idea. Next, uh, I have to, I have to, so raise this uh, based on my requirements, sir. How you can raise this one? So, how you can, you can raise uh, this one based on, based on our requirement, right? Sir, very simple. Create an object for this class. Okay, now I'm taking, so, two old, two young exception. Like this I'm taking, two young, two young exception, exception. Okay, here, just uh, pass the description, whatever description you want, you can pass. Uh. So, two young exception. Please uh, wait uh, some more time. Please wait some more time. Definitely, you will get the best uh, match. Okay, this is the message. Description, whatever you want for this, you have to pass this one, sir. So, you created exception object. Now, you have to raise this exception object explicitly. Then, automatically, we have to use which keywords are raise keyword. Remember this one, okay? Raise this exception object. Now, immediately, Python virtual mission got this exception object, no handling code, stop the program by raising this exception. Is it clear for all of you? How to define, how to define our own exception, how to raise our own exception. That's all. This is the syntactical thing what you people should aware. So, any explanation is required? So, is it possible to define any number of our own exceptions or not? Yes. That facility Python people provided. No problem. Write a class, which is the child class of exception. Write the constructor. Declare one instance variable with provided value. That's it. Suppose, if I don't want to pass any description. Yes, man. I don't want to pass any description. Then the constructor is also not required. Just pass. That's all. This constructor you can ignore if you don't have any description. Okay, clear, right? Any explanation is required? Just observe carefully. Here, how to define and the rise customizer exceptions. Okay? Now here, just observe. Observe. Every exception in Python is a class and it should be child class of base exception either directly or indirectly. Sir, it is not uh, compulsory child class of base exception directly, either directly or indirectly. Next, uh, class, name of exception. Sir, next, a uh, predefined exception should be some parent. Next, uh, this is the constructor what we have. This is the syntax uh, to define our own exception. Sir, example, if you want, have a look once. Example, class to young exception which is the child class of exception now self comma message self dot message is called message to young exception is our own exception class name and uh, it is the child class of exception which is the predefined exception exception is the predefined exception to young exception is our own exception class name okay well next uh, here so we can raise exception by using raise keyword. Remember this one, which keyword we require to use? Raise keyword we require to use, sir. Next, raise to young exception. Here message, whatever description you want to provide, happily you can provide. So theoretically, are you feeling comfortable how to define and how you can raise uh, customizer exceptions? If you feel comfortable, then happily we can go for executable program so that you people can feel more comfortable. Any doubt? Sir, let me convert the total theory of customizer exceptions, sir, into an executable program so that you will get much clarity. Observe very carefully, sir. So, how to define customizer exceptions? Sir, here, class, class, to young exception. Sir, I am taking to young exception. So, compulsory, our exception class, okay? Our exception is a class. And it should be child class of 
base exception either directly or indirectly sir i'm taking generally exception okay exception like this i'm taking sir now my target is yes so your exception is going to accept some description or not yes okay def def underscore underscore init underscore underscore okay self comma message okay like i'm taking so because we want to pass some description okay that's why now self dot message self comma message self dot message is equal to message that's all so first customizer exception is ready that's all this is the very simple sir defining our own exception is the very simple nothing is there sir now class class two old exception class two old exception it is the child class of exception it should be child class of exception right class two old exception it is the child class of exception okay def underscore underscore init underscore underscore self comma message self comma message sir here self dot message is equal to message like yes okay second customizer exception is also ready friends sir up to this any doubt can you please confirm so here how you can define our own exceptions okay well sir how you can use these exceptions how you can raise these exceptions let me talk about this one here read the age sir this is i'm taking this one related to matrimonial application okay i want to enter end user is the responsible to enter age based on his age i have to provide proper response okay well so i will ask are can you please enter your age okay int age is uh, sir here just to take very special care about this one sir age is equal to age is equal to sir int a uh, input a uh, enter age enter age age can you please enter your age okay if if age greater than 60 sir if age is greater than 60 maybe someone is trying to register in the matrimonial website with 90 years or 99 years sir what i want to take i want to provide okay raise raise to young exception raise to young exception to young exception please wait some more time please wait some more time some more time definitely you will get the best match okay definitely definitely you will get the best match definitely you will get best match are getting raise to young exception please wait some more time definitely you will get the best match remember so then immediately mask sir age greater than 60 so two old exceptions are but you are raising two young exception just for fun okay i know actually we have to raise two old exception but here two young exception just for fun it is just reversing the sir please wait some more time definitely you will get best match sir when is going to get best match so maybe somewhere at swargam or narkam somewhere because after a few years after few some more days definitely this person will be gone 99 years age person still how many days will be there very rare so definitely wait some time you will get best match okay like sir elif elif age less than 18 years sir i want to provide support so my my matrimonial application will provide support from 18 to 60 years only remember so if age greater than 60 raise okay exception yet if age less than 18 still it is also invalid something goes wrong to indicate i have to raise exception now raise raise two old exception raise two old exception okay so what i have to take sir two old exception your age your age already your age already crossed 
మ్యారేజ్ ఏజ్ ఎవర్ ఏజ్ ఆల్రెడీ క్రాస్డ్ మ్యారేజ్ ఏజ్ నో ఛాన్స్ ఆఫ్ గెటింగ్ మ్యారేజ్ నో ఛాన్స్ ఆఫ్ గెటింగ్ మ్యారేజ్ మ్యారేజ్ లైక్ దిస్ ఐమ్ టేకింగ్ సార్ ఎవర్ ఏజ్ ఆల్రెడీ క్రాస్డ్ మ్యారేజ్ ఏజ్ నో ఛాన్స్ ఆఫ్ గెటింగ్ మ్యారేజ్ జస్ట్ ఫర్ ఫన్ రివర్సింగ్ ఐమ్ టేకింగ్ సార్ యాక్చువల్లీ ఇయర్ ఏజ్ లెస్ దాన్ ఎయిటీన్ మినిట్స్ టూ యంగ్ ఎక్సెప్షన్ ఏజ్ గ్రేటర్ దాన్ సిక్స్టీ మినిట్స్ టూ ఓల్డ్ ఎక్సెప్షన్ వీ హ్యావ్ టు టేక్ బట్ ఐ రివర్స్ సార్ జస్ట్ ఫర్ ఫన్ బీ ఆన్ దట్ నథింగ్ ఓకే నెక్స్ట్ ఎల్స్ సార్ సార్ కెన్ యూ ప్లీజ్ టెల్ సో వెన్ ద కంట్రోల్ విల్ కమ్స్ టు ఎల్స్ బ్లాక్ ఇఫ్ ద ఏజ్ ఈజ్ నాట్ గ్రేటర్ దాన్ సిక్స్టీ ఏజ్ నాట్ లెస్ దాన్ ఎయిటీన్ సో మీన్స్ విత్ ఇన్ అవర్ రేంజ్ ఓన్లీ ఎయిటీన్ టు సిక్స్టీన్ దెన్ వాట్ ఐ హ్యావ్ టు టేక్ ఓకే ప్రింట్ ప్రింట్ ఓకే జస్ట్ ఐ హ్యావ్ టు టేక్ ప్రింట్ జస్ట్ వెరీ వెరీ సింపుల్ సార్ ప్రింట్ ఓకే సో థ్యాంక్స్ ఫర్ రిజిస్ట్రేషన్ యూ విల్ గెట్ మ్యాచ్ డీటెయిల్స్ యూ విల్ గెట్ మ్యాచ్ డీటెయిల్స్ సోన్ బై ఈమెయిల్ సోన్ బై ఈమెయిల్ ఓకే లైక్ ఐమ్ టేకింగ్ సార్ సోన్ బై ఈమెయిల్ ఓకే లైక్ సో ఇఫ్ ఏజ్ గ్రేటర్ దాన్ సిక్స్టీ సంథింగ్ గోస్ రాంగ్ రైజ్ టు యంగ్ ఎక్సెప్షన్ ఏజ్ లెస్ దాన్ ఎయిటీన్ సంథింగ్ గోస్ రాంగ్ రైజ్ టు ఓల్డ్ ఎక్సెప్షన్ నెక్స్ట్ అదర్వైజ్ నో ఎక్సెప్షన్ ప్రింట్ ప్రాపర్ మెసేజ్ అర్ ఇన్ ద పొజిషన్ టు అండర్స్టాండ్ రైట్ ఎ సింపుల్ బేసిక్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ టు అండర్స్టాండ్ హౌ టు డిఫైన్ అవర్ ఓన్ ఎక్సెప్షన్ హౌ యూ క్యాన్ రైజ్ సర్ ఎక్సెప్షన్ బేస్డ్ ఆన్ ప్రోగ్రామింగ్ రిక్వైర్మెంట్ ఎనీ డౌట్ కెన్ ఐ ఎగ్జిక్యూట్ దిస్ కోడ్ జస్ట్ ఐ హ్యావ్ ఎ లుక్ వన్ సర్ సార్ యా సేమ్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ ఐ ఐ టుక్ సార్ జస్ట్ అబ్జర్వ్ క్లాస్ టూ యంగ్ ఎక్సెప్షన్ ఎక్సెప్షన్ ఇద పేరెంట్ క్లాస్ సర్ దిస్ ఇద కన్స్ట్రక్టర్ నో యూ నో హౌ యూ కెన్ డిఫైన్ సార్ దట్ సార్ దిస్ ఇద ఫస్ట్ ఎక్సెప్షన్ క్లాస్ నెక్స్ట్ దిస్ ఇద సెకండ్ ఎక్సెప్షన్ క్లాస్ టూ ఓల్డ్ ఎక్సెప్షన్ సార్ టోటల్ హౌ మెనీ కస్టమైజ్డ్ ఎక్సెప్షన్స్ ఐ డిఫైన్ టూ కస్టమైజ్డ్ ఎక్సెప్షన్స్ ఐ డిఫైన్ సార్ నెక్స్ట్ ఇన్పుట్ ఎంటర్ ఏజ్ ఓకే ఇఫ్ ఏజ్ గ్రేటర్ దాన్ గ్రేటర్ దాన్ సిక్స్టీ rise to young exception because something goes wrong please wait some more time definitely you will get the best match where you will get the best match after death maybe <laughs> okay yeah if age less than 18 rise to old exception your age already crossed marriage age no chance of getting marriage else sir else means age is not less than 18 not greater than 60 perfect then you will get the match details soon by email so everything is clear for you people right not required to define so how you can define how you can rise based on your programming requirement best example to understand friend sir now let me execute this code have a look once sir i'm taking just uh, i'm taking here let me execute this code py test at py enter age sir 99 okay 99 grandfather age okay what what is the response it's going to tell pass it is telling too young exception please wait some more time please wait some more time definitely you will get the best match are you getting so please wait some more time definitely you will get the best match sir enter age this time 12 years i'm taking sir now two old exception your age already crossed marriage age no chance of getting marriage remember this one sir so next uh, sir 25 perfect marriage age for the gent 25 i'm taking sir no exception you will get the match details soon by email so i hope ida terminology is a very clear for you people how to define how you can raise our exceptions right sir now i have one small point take very special care sir sir do you know two young exception is our own exception two old exception is our own exception our own exception python virtual mission not having any information about this so when this exception should be raised when this exception should be raised pvm not having any information who is the responsible to raise a programmer responsible based on our programming requirement based on our functionality i have to raise this exception 
PVM not having any idea. That's why. So which keyword we require to use, sir? Rice keyword we require to use. Are you which keyword, sir? Rice. Rice keyword best suitable for customizer exceptions, not for predefined exceptions. Remember this one, sir. Rice keyword best suitable for customizer exceptions, but not for predefined exception. Even if you want, you can use for predefined exception, but it's not a good programming practice. Are you in the position to understand, right? That's all. So this is the total concept of customizer exceptions. Very, very important for the intro room, even for day-to-day -day coding also. Clear, right? That's all. Your exception handling concept got completed. I hope you can enjoy just the review again, again, so that you will get much clarity. Any doubt about this? Clear, right? Hi friends, myself Durga. I'm working as a Java and Python trainer for the last 16 years in Durga Sabsar. I'm very happy to launch my new tutorial on Python exception handling. Observe the title. So exception handling in Python 3. Exception handling in Python 3. So this course is going to cover five important keywords. Have you observed right? Try accept else finally rise like so all these are five keywords we are going to perform post-mortem like anything sir this is one of my favorite topic you people can expect much much subject from this tutorial especially right okay so at the part of this what things we are going to cover what is our agenda have a look once here just uh, this is our agenda friends okay so first we are going to discuss syntax error versus runtime error so what about syntax error so some examples what is the runtime error can you please give some examples like uh, we will discuss right so the three most important questions about exception handling so what is exception what is the purpose of exception handling so what is the meaning of exception handling like we are going to discuss right next uh, default exception handling and exception hierarchy remember default exception handling and exception hierarchy we are going to discuss so which class acts as a root for all python exceptions like base exception like we are going to discuss all next a customizer exception handling by using try accept sir i want to handle exception then how you can use a try block how you can use accept block how our application will become normal termination instead of abnormal termination all the things we are going to discuss here next and after the control flow in try accept so within the try block if an exception got riser what will happen inside accept block if an exception got riser what will happen like we have to discuss in detail next uh, how to print uh, exception information to the console are what is the riser exception name what is the description what is the stack trace like a uh, complete information about exception how you can print uh, that one will be there sir at the part of this we discuss Sir, sir. Next, uh, try with the uh, multiple accept blocks. Sir, uh, maybe a chance uh, single try can be associated with multiple accept blocks. What is the need? So, what is the advantage of such a type of possible syntax? We are going to discuss right. Okay, well, sir. Next, uh, sir, after this, after after these uh, things, uh, the next uh, thing what we are going to discuss single accept block that can handle multiple different exceptions, right? Have you remembered? So, one exception block only that can handle multiple exception how you can so far to handle multiple different type of exceptions how you can write a single accept block that part we are going to discuss next a uh, default accept block under various accept block syntaxes right so you know there is a default accept block is there next uh, total how many syntaxes are there for just of writing accept block all those things we are going to discuss right next up uh, finally block what is the purpose and what is the speciality very important sir what is the purpose of finally block to maintain cleanup code what is the purpose of what is the speciality of finally block finally block will be executed always irrespective of whether exception rise or not rise or handle or not handle like uh, so always it's going to execute sir so with the 
practical examples I showed, sir. Next, uh, there is only one situation where the final block won't be executed. That is OSR underscore exit of zero. If you are using this one, then final block is not going to be executed. Next, uh, important intra equation, sir. Very important. What is the difference between final block and the destructor? Final block meant for cleanup code. Destructor meant for cleanup code. Sir, then what is the difference between these two things? We have to discuss. Next, the control flow in try except finally. Within the try block, if an exception rises, what will happen? Inside except block, if an exception rises. Inside finally block, if an exception rises, what will happen? If you handle what is the flow, if you are not a handle what is the flow, like a complete control flow, we require to discuss, right? Next, the next end, try except finally. Theory on the demo program, sir. Observe, try except finally. Next, end, what is the need of try except finally inside the try block, inside except block, inside finally block. So, one or two scenarios I'm going to explain. And then demo program also, we are going to cover other part of this. Next, the control flow in nested try except finally. Sir, beautiful concept, sir. Almost 14 cases I discussed rather part of this one. Sir, do you know, you people are going to get much clarity about, uh, sir, these are syntaxes, right? Just uh, this topic is a very, very important topic, sir. 15th one. Next, uh, and after that, okay? Sir, after that, we have to talk about else block with the try except finally theory. So, what is the purpose of else block? What is the need of else block? Like, uh, so how to use, like uh, we are going to discuss, right? Next, uh, else block with the try except finally demo programs, right? Multiple programs I'm going to discuss at the part of this. Next, uh, various possible combinations of try except else finally. Sir, beautiful concept. Almost around 25, 25 five so combinations i discussed at the part of this one next uh, types of exception predefined exception user defined exception so what is the meaning of predefined what is the meaning of user defined like next uh, how to define and raise uh, customizer exceptions on the demo program remember this one how to define and raise customizer exceptions on the demo program this part also we are going to discuss clear right almost around uh, 20 topics uh, we are going to discuss it is a part of six hours uh, concept more than six hours concept you are going to get much clarity much perfection much confidence in the subject sir so do you know each and everything first i'm going to explain on the board once you people are comfortable then i will execute on the system so theoretically programmatically you people are going to get much perfection okay be ready to give left and right to the python exception handling okay Hi friends, the next topic what we have to start, exception handling, one of my favorite topics sir, so you can expect a concept like anything from this concept, I'm sure sir, okay, just I did some great research kind of thing, so that you people can get much concept from this topic, especially right. Sir, now, in any programming language, if you consider any Python program, you wrote uh, multiple Python programs, right? So, in any programming language, can you please spell out how many types of errors are possible? Okay. So, there are two types of errors are possible. Okay. One is a syntax error. Second one is a runtime error. What is the first one, sir? Syntax error. Second one, runtime error. Okay. What is syntax error? Okay. It's a very, very simple, sir. So, because of invalid syntax in our program, because of invalid syntax in our program, invalid syntax, you didn't uh, follow the syntax rules properly. If you are writing the code, we may get syntax error. So, best, uh, so because of invalid syntax, uh, syntax errors will be raised. Remember this one, sir. Best example, sir, assume I am taking x is equal to 10. Assume that x is equal to 10. Sir, if x is equal to 10, print, print x value, x value 10, like I want to take, sir. Okay, this is my first example. If I can ask, are you Python virtual mission? Can you please run, can you please run this code? Like if I can ask Python, then immediately 
Python is going to give left and right. Uh, so you are taking if uh, where is colon? Colon is missing. It is a syntax, invalid syntax. A syntax error. Like immediately Python virtual machine is going to tell, sorry, I can't start execution because there are some syntactical mistakes are there in your program. Like it's going to tell, sir. Have a look once here. I want to, I want to run. I want to, I have to run this code, sir. Just uh, observe a bit very, very carefully about this one. Here, x is equal to 10. I am taking x is equal to 10. If x double equal to 10, if x double equal to 10, equal to 10, can you please print, uh, sir, x value here, x value is a 10, like this I am taking, sir. That's all, this is my code. Okay, now, sir, here observe a bit very carefully about this one, py, test.py. What the answer we are going to get, if I run, if I run this code, if I run this code, immediately Python virtual machine will give left and right. Can you please observe syntax error, invalid syntax. So, immediately I will correct that mistake. So, colon, if I can take a colon, then happily it is going to run sir okay x value is the 10 like so syntactical mistakes because of invalid syntax syntax errors will be raised are you in the position to understand sir if you want uh, another example just uh, observe carefully sir if i can go for if i can go for print uh, print uh, hello hello friends like this i'm taking sir print uh, hello friends like i'm taking now I will ask, Are Python, can you please run this code? Python virtual machine, can you please run this code? Like, immediately, Python virtual machine is going to tell, sorry, I can't run. There is a syntactical mistake in your code, okay? What mistake is, for the print statement, parentheses are mandatory. You didn't take parentheses, that's why I can't run this code. Like, so it's going to, it's going to tell, sir. Now, so in Python 2, it is a value. Because in Python 2, parentheses are optional for print statement. But in Python 3, parentheses are mandatory. Just have a look once. So how the Python is going to respond for this code? Here I am taking print, print, hello, hello, friends, like this I am taking, sir. Print, hello, friends, like, like I am taking. Now, observe carefully, sir. Here, what is the answer by default you will get? Syntax error missing parenthesis in call to print missing parenthesis in call to print did you mean print of hello hello friends okay like sir how beautiful python virtual mission is going to tell yes this this information right syntax error missing parenthesis in call to print did you mean print of hello friends yes my meaning is the same now let me take sir print of hello friends like now i'm including parenthesis right okay now i carefully hello friends like it's going to uh, get the chance so the important conclusion what you people should be aware because of invalid syntax in our program we will get a syntax errors who is the responsible to correct these uh, syntax uh, syntax mistakes right syntax errors programmer because that is our mistake right programmer is the responsible to correct these uh, syntax errors right once uh, all syntax errors correct Dead. then only then only the program execution will start remember this one once all syntax errors corrected then only python virtual machine will start execute our program first syntax checking will be there sir so any doubt about this terminology the first category syntax errors right now the second category okay run time errors now run time run time errors like this i am taking sir run time errors Observe very carefully about this runtime runtime errors, right? Sir, you know there are no syntactical mistakes in our program. In our program, no syntax mistakes, right? Yet runtime while executing program, execution already started. Yet runtime something goes wrong because of invalid input, invalid end user input, or memory problem, or some programming logic wrong programming logic. Yet the runtime something goes wrong. Then we will get the runtime errors. Remember this one. Some people in some languages, these runtime errors also known as exceptions. 
these runtime errors also known as exceptions in some other languages like java we can use the word exceptions right okay well so at the runtime while executing the program something goes wrong because of end user input or because of memory problem or because of some logic mistake in the program some way at runtime something goes wrong then immediately we will get the runtime errors remember this one sir sir best example if i can consider example one observe carefully sir here let me read uh, sir two numbers from the keyboard okay x is equal to int of input a enter int of input of enter enter first number enter enter first number like this i am taking sir because this number i am always expecting into type that's why type casting to int next uh, y is equal to int a input a enter int of input of enter second number enter second second number like i am trying to enter sir okay there are two numbers i am trying to read from the keyboard now my target is print a the result print a the result is x by y print of the result x by y like this i am taking sir so can you please tell in this program any syntactical mistake no no syntactical mistake everything is proper sir okay at run time maybe because of end user provided input maybe a chance of some problem may come i don't know so let me execute this code sir observe very carefully here yes sir let me type this code x is equal to int of input of int of input of enter enter first number enter first number number like like i am taking sir enter first number y is equal to int a input a enter second number enter enter second second number like this right print of the result print a the result the result x by y i am taking sir that's all this is my code okay there are no syntactical mistakes in this code there is no syntactical mistakes perfectly it should work sir okay let me execute this code now observe this one so now end the user providing data enter first number 10 program execution already started enter first number 10 enter second number 2 now the result 5.0 perfect it's working no problem at all sir let me run again enter first number 10 enter second number 0 enter second number 0 0 now observe what happens sir so 0 division error division by 0 0 division error and division by 0 now can you please tell this 0 division error is because of programmer mistake or because of end user input Ah, respond friend because of what end user input end user provided second number at the zero how divide with the zero is going to be happen that's why so at the run time because of end user input now the problem is coming this type of errors are by default considered yeah run time errors clear right can you please spell out which error we are getting zero division error zero division error this run time error we are getting clear any explanation is required now observe same thing sir here just uh, let me run this one enter first number enter enter first number t e n i'm taking so we are trying to type cast uh, yes uh, this uh, string uh, into into type input is always going to take string uh, format this uh, string into number into type into type but uh, this uh, t e n is uh, not uh, not uh, int then immediately what will happen here is so we are going to get observe that value error okay invalid literal for int with base 10 t e n boss t e n we can't convert into int value that's why we are going to get what value error are you in the position to understand so because of end user input yet the runtime something goes wrong we are getting these errors these errors are called runtime errors can you please give an example for runtime error zero division error next value error like this right okay let me go for one more example sir 
observe this. So in this program, at run time, which type of errors are possible? Can you please spell out the first one? Zero division error. Sir, these words are very, very important. Minimum hundreds of times we are going to use in the exception handling only. That's why take special care. Zero division error. Second one, sir, value error. Value error we are getting. Okay, well. Sir, now let me go for one more example. I'm taking f is equal to f is equal to sir open open can you please open so a sir here x y z x y z x y z dot uh, t x t file can you please open x y z x y z dot t x t file and uh, read the print data print a uh, f of read f of read so here what i'm trying to take what what i'm trying to take is i'm trying to print the data present inside xyz xyz dot txt file can you please tell is there any syntactical mistake in my application no no so perfectly it is a valid sir at the run time at run time it is trying to read the data and print in that data to the console by mistake Yet runtime, if this file is not available, you are getting if this file is not available, then we will get a file not found error. You are getting what is this one? File not found error, we are going to get at runtime. Okay? So file not found error is not because of mistake in my program. Okay? Because this file is not available. That's why we are going to get this error. Let me crop check, sir. Here, I am trying to take f is equal to f is equal to open a open x y z x y z dot txt file i'm taking sir okay like sir print of f dot read f dot read read like this right so i'm trying to open the file and i'm trying to read the data now have a look once now i'm trying to execute this code observe that immediately we are getting sir file not found error file not found error no such file or directory file not found error no such file or directory okay xyz xyz dot txt so everyone in the position to understand clearly not required to keep much explanation sir so file not found error is not a mistake because of my program so because that file you didn't provide then how i can execute this one that is the problem with your file not the problem with my program so such type of errors are by default concerned is what runtime errors which are also known as exceptions right suppose assume assume i'm taking abc.txt assume abc.txt abc.txt file is already available in my system now let me let me run this code sir with the, let me change the file name okay abc.txt abc.txt like this right so let me crash in my system abc.txt file is available or not yes friend it's already available hello this is the data from abc.txt file this data is already there in in this file now observe what is the name of this file abc.txt is already there sir okay now let me run this code let me let me run this code perfect my program definitely is going to execute we never going to face any problem hello this is the data from abc txt file so are you in the position to understand right so if the specified file if you provide then my program will work because you didn't provide specified file that's why sorry man it is it is not in a position to continue immediately it will be stopped by raising what file not found error so yet the runtime while executing our program if something goes wrong because of lack of required resources or invalid end user input or otherwise memory problem yet the runtime something goes wrong then our program will be terminated by raising these runtime errors such type of things are called exceptions or runtime errors so can you please give an example for runtime error please respond so zero division error value error next and after that what is this one sir file not found error okay that's all so in any program how many types of errors are possible there are two types what is the first one syntax errors because of invalid syntax second one sir runtime errors which are also known as exceptions so no problem in our program at runtime because of lack of resources or end user input some way something goes wrong okay then runtime errors we will get now my question is exception handling concept is it related to syntax errors or related to runtime errors 
ah i told right run time ah uh, it is exception handling so handling related to exception exception means what run time error run time error that's why so exception handling concept applicable only for run time errors but not for syntax errors sir. remember this one sir suppose you are traveling in the you are you are traveling in the car or otherwise bike so you drunk you drunk because of that accident happened okay you drunk because of that accident happened whose mistake it is that is your mistake you require to correct which is nothing but something like syntax error so so while uh, with uh, with a uh, drunk uh, don't uh, drive are you getting with a uh, drunk uh, don't uh, drive that is your mistake so this is the syntax error so my driver is good okay my driver is good next uh, vehicle is too good condition happily is going on so opposite uh, one drunk uh, driver came and he hit our car then automatically have you observed right now it's not our mistake because something goes wrong at runtime which is accident real accident which is or something like runtime errors are you in the position to understand right take a bit very special care what is the difference between syntax error and runtime errors exception handling concept applicable only for runtime errors sir have a look up to this whatever we covered just uh, let me review these things right okay now here observe exceptionally in any programming language there are two types of possible errors what is the first one syntax errors second one runtime errors okay next uh, sir syntax errors the errors which occurs because of invalid syntax such type of errors are considered as syntax errors right next the programmer is responsible to correct these syntax errors once all syntax errors are corrected then only program execution will be started okay like uh, next uh, what about the uh, runtime errors right also known as exceptions runtime errors also known as exceptions uh, while executing the program at runtime if something goes wrong because of end user input while executing the program at runtime if something goes wrong because of end user input memory problems or programming logic then we will get runtime errors okay exception handling concept applicable for runtime errors but not for syntax errors clear for all of you right the basic idea how many types of errors are there exception handling concept related to which one any doubt sir in the last video we covered very clearly about sir what is syntax error runtime error exception handling is related to which concept like we covered right okay well sir now the next thing three most important questions okay related to exception handling sir so can you please observe what is an exception next uh, what is the main objective of exception handling sir just now i told our topic name is exception handling what is the main purpose of exception handling next uh, what is the meaning of exception handling sir handling means what uh, compulsory you people should be aware about uh, this uh, terminology right okay first uh, can you please spell out what is an exception now what is what is an exception can you define an exception or can you define a runtime error yes friends okay very very simple sir suppose assume you are seeing you start seeing this video so your flow is you have to start this video you have to understand you have to listen carefully you have to listen listen very carefully so and then you have to use this concept somewhere maybe in certification exam or maybe in your day to day coding like so you started watching the tv watching the video almost uh, sir half of the video completed assume suddenly internet gone internet gone the video is not playing so some unexpected unwanted event occurs some unexpected unwanted event occurs that disturbs your normal flow correct or not an unwanted unexpected event that disturbs a normal flow which is nothing but exception or error okay in this case let me use internet error i got sir okay in this case internet internet error i am getting okay well an unwanted unexpected event that disturbs your normal flow of the program is by default considered as an exception or error sir here we are getting internet error okay well suppose assume that you are attending this class live assume sir 
so almost you waited for last uh, one week converts to attend this uh, live session okay session started faculty started explaining the things so now each and every point what your faculty is telling you have to listen you have to understand you have to use this subject in your day to day coding this is the regular flow so faculty started faculty started started sir now happily you are listening the session suddenly in the middle you are getting full sleep <laughs> are getting it's a very common thing sir in my regular classes also i saw several students so, who are sleeping who are sleeping okay so i thought that to give left and right but they are very tall than me so i can't do that okay anyway so just uh, so they are just uh, you you got full sleep uh, you are getting sleep uh, you are not in a position to listen this class properly remember this one sir you are not in a position to listen this class properly so some unwanted unexpected event that disturbs the normal flow of the program is happening in this case what we got sir sleeping error okay observe very carefully sir sleeping error we are getting suppose assume assume that assume that you have to go to the office by 9 am 9 am you should reach office because at 9 am client meeting is there sir assume that client meeting is there which is the mandatory for you so from the house uh, at the 8 am you started within 45 minutes you can reach office that is that is about your plan 8:45 you can reach office by 9 you can attend uh, your client meeting right okay right so on the two wheeler you started on the bike you started sir sir almost around 8:30 8:30 after traveling half of the distance suddenly your bike tire got punctured okay so two early morning no repair shops also then automatically by walk you reached the office assume that sir then automatically time happened 10:15 am your client meeting already completed so tire punctured because of that your regular flow by default got a disturbed sir correct right so an unwanted unexpected event uh, that uh, disturbs the normal flow of the program is called exception in this case what we got sir tire tire punctured uh, tire punctured uh, exception or error we are getting sir tire punctured error we are getting are you getting right so there is a flow flow of events are happily happening something some unexpected unwanted event that the disturbs the normal flow of the program is going to be happen these kind of things are by default considered as exceptions or errors clear for all of right sir just uh, theoretical okay can you please explain with an example already i told right run time errors best example i want to read the data i want to read the data from from remote file locating at london assume that sir f is equal to open open okay london london file london file dot txt i'm taking sir i'm trying to sir read the data from the london file assume so now print off f dot read print off f dot read f dot read then automatically what will happen assume at run time if london file is not available sorry you are not in the position to continue some unwanted unexpected event that disturbs the normal flow of the program happens huh? so here in this case what error you are going to get file not found error i hope are you in the position to understand file not found error like we are going to get so what is an exception an unwanted unexpected event that disturbs the normal flow of the program is called exception can you please give an example yes internet error sleeping error next and after that tire punctured error next uh, sir file not found error value error zero division error type error like uh, multiple errors are there have a look once sir the first equation is a very clear i hope so what is an exception okay an unwanted and unexpected event that the disturbs the normal flow of program is called an exception okay right internet error sleeping error tire punctured error okay file not found error zero division error value error like uh, multiple errors are there up to this any doubt clear right what is an exception is it good thing or bad thing bad thing which disturbs our normal flow
flow that's why never recommended if something goes wrong then automatically there is a problem to so as it is the bad thing as it disturbs our normal flow that's why handling must be required which is nothing but exception handling any doubt sir up to this we covered very clearly about what is an exception the next thing what i have to discuss what is the main objective of exception handling remember this one sir what is the need what is the main purpose of exception handling sir very simple it is highly recommended to handle exceptions highly highly recommended sir that's why exception handling topic came highly recommended to handle exceptions what is the purpose what is the need just the have a look once sir i have one program is there open open db connection open database connection okay next uh, read the data read the data from database okay read data from database if you want to read data from the database first we have to open connection next uh, read data and then use uh, that uh, data use uh, that uh, data based on our program requirement once uh, reading completed we have to close the db connection are you getting we require to close the db connection sir this is my program assume that sir of course python database connectivity separate topic is there there i will explain how you can do this programmatically like but anyway even sir here i open successfully database connection no problem at all assume that it is my db i open database connection successfully while reading data something goes wrong there is a mistake in my sql query or otherwise database side there is a problem so my read operation while reading the data something goes wrong i am getting some error sir okay if you are not handling that error what will happen is so while reading data there is a problem right you successfully open connection but while reading data there is a problem now if you are not going to handle then the program will be stopped here only okay well the program will be stopped here only so if the program stopped here only without executing rest of the code okay the program terminated abnormally this is called abnormal termination because in the middle only the program terminated right now the point is if the program terminated here only here only so without executing rest of the code then who is going to close the db connection no one is going to close no one is going to close so one database connection open but no one closing that no one using that unnecessary one db connection is going to be wasted remember this one sir so like the sir 10 programs uh, 10 connections open 10 programs are terminated abnormally like so 10 connections uh, open but no one is using so 11th person is coming sir i want to communicate with the database I want to communicate with the database. I'm trying to open DB connection. Then immediately my DB server is going to tell too many open connections. Sir, max number of connections already reached. Sorry, you can't communicate with this database. Like uh, total application, total project uh, is going to be down. Are you getting right? So you didn't handle exception. Because of that, the resources will be blocked. Uh, at certain point, total project, uh, total application itself is going to be down because of this mission. Mistake. remember this one sir so our resources should not be blocked remember we should not miss anything okay so such type of graceful termination i want uh, that is the main objective of exception handling remember so what is the main objective of exception handling sir graceful termination of the program we should not uh, sir block our resources we should not miss uh, anything anything in our program okay well sir just uh, one more small example i will i will tell so most of the people having this type of experience right suppose assume that assume sir project report i have to submit in my college at 9 am assume that sir that is the last date to submit my project report at 9 am now early morning 4 o'clock onwards early morning 4 o'clock onwards i started sir i started preparing so this document and giving the finishing touches almost uh, up 
टू एट ए एम की पाल डूइंग द रिक्वायर्ड मॉडिफिकेशन से अलाइनमेंट्स डायग्राम्स डार्ट 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 सो फोर आवर्स आई वर्क कर सर ऑलमोस्ट रेडी टू कंप्लीट शरणली पावर गन शरणली पावर गन इट इज द डेस्कटॉप नो बैकअप फैसिलिटी इज देयर देन ऑटोमेटिकल व्हाट विल हैपन पावर गन माय टोटल वर्क फोर आवर्स वर्क व्हाट एवर आई डिड बाय द फॉर गन सर सो इट इज अ अबनॉर्मल टर्मिनेशन इट इज अ नॉन ग्रेसफुल टर्मिनेशन बिकॉज़ यू आर मिसिंग समथिंग यू आर मिसिंग समथिंग वी डोंट वांट दिस टाइप ऑफ अबनॉर्मल टर्मिनेशन आई वांट अ नॉर्मल टर्मिनेशन we don't want this type of non graceful termination i want graceful termination man i should not miss anything okay that is the main objective of exception handling remember this one so if any person is asking what is the main purpose of exception handling simple words are i want the graceful termination i should not block any resources i should not miss anything that's what you should aware have a look once what is the main objective of exception handling okay it is highly recommended to handle exceptions the main objective of exception handling is graceful termination or normal termination of the application that is we should not block our resources and we should not miss anything clear for all of you right so what is an exception what is the main purpose of exception handling any doubt sir up to this we covered very clearly what is an exception what is the purpose of exception handling now the next one what is the meaning of exception handling exception handling means what so don't feel exception handling means repairing an exception we are not in the position to repair that exception suppose london file is not available we are not responsible our program is not responsible to place that file if internet is not working our program is not responsible to make internet available are you getting don't feel exception handling means repairing an exception no exception handling doesn't mean repairing an exception then what is the meaning of exception handling sir very very simple suppose while preparing project report so frequently power gone then automatically whatever work you did that work by default will be will be gone you are you are losing that data sir that updation what you do, what you can do immediately you can have some power backup at least for 10 minutes okay power gone power backup is already there ups facility is there for your system so now you will save whatever work you did shut down the system once power came now again you can open where you stopped from there you can continue your work so so if for power you are providing alternative facility ups power backup sir okay are you in the position to understand same way okay so if internet gone internet gone immediately in your mobile okay hotspot is there you can on hotspot mobile mobile hotspot and you can fulfill you can continue your work just observe so defining alternative way to continue rest of the program normally this way of defining alternative way is nothing but exception handling remember this one sir so we have to define some alternative way to continue rest of the program normally defining alternative way to continue rest of the program normally is nothing but exception handling best example sir i will i will show two statements for you which statement there is a maximum chance to succeed okay just have a look once about this one sir here just uh, so i have two statements are there sir this weekend i'm planning to go to my native place by bus sir first person is telling are i'm planning to go to my native place by bus this is the first person is telling second person is telling same statement but in more descriptive way observe that this weekend i'm planning to go to my native place by bus if a bus is not available bus tickets if i didn't get then i will try for train okay if a train is not available then i will try for flight if still it is not available then i will go for cab sir abjan if 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 you if can ask a fresher to write a program if you can ask a expert to write a program so this is the way of coding for the fresher this is the way of coding for the expert remember this one experienced person 
know what kind of common problems are there he is already ready with alternatives at the beginning only are you getting right but this person don't try at run time which problems are going to come ha bus i'm travel i want to travel by bus are bus tickets are not available what he is not having any backup plan so this a type of coding so is always abnormal termination maximum chance to terminate abnormally so everything get ready go go to the bus stand are for the bus sorry bus ticket is not available then he has to come to the room are you getting right he, he, he has to come back to the room but what about this one so he is having some alternative plans so happily this program there is a maximum chance to continue to succeed are you in the position to understand right so what is the meaning of exception handling defining alternative way to continue rest of the program normally is the concept of what exception handling okay have a look once about this one sir here just the exception handling doesn't mean repairing an exception we have to define alternative way to continue rest of the program normally okay like this way of defining alternative is nothing but exception handling are you in the position to understand right okay just observe assume the my program requirement i have to read the data from london file i have to read the data from london file yet run time if a london file is not available then file not found error stop the program which is abnormal termination remember this one because you are not handling you are not uh, sir handling exception file not found error you must get stop the program but now i want to provide local file to continue rest of the program normally so defining this alternative is nothing but what exception handling just observe carefully sir my requirement is are read the data read the data from from remote file read the data from remote file locating at a london locating yet yet a london locating at a london okay like this is my code sir so if i'm writing only up to this code then at run time if a london file is not available then i will get a file not found error the program will be stopped which is never be recommended sir what i want to take here is so i will take this code inside a try block remember very important sir i will write the, this code inside a try block try block so while executing this code if a file not found error occurred except except a file not found error okay except a file not found error came if a file not found error came use a local file use a local file and continue use a local file and continue rest of the program normally and continue rest of the program normally are you getting so if if a file not found error came use a local file and continue rest of the program normally okay this thing is by default considered as yeah, exception handling so we are defining alternative way alternative way if in the main flow sir i can use the word this is the main main code sir this is the main 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 flow main code main flow this is a alternative code alternative alternative code sir so in the main flow if there is no problem at all then this alternative is not going to execute in the main flow if there is a problem immediately alternative code is going to execute and the remaining code by default will be continued normally are you getting is it graceful termination or not yes it is the normal termination graceful termination even exception got raised even error got raised no problem at all our code in a position to handle and continue rest of the program normally this way of handling an exception this way of defining alternative is a nothing but exception handling remember this one sir so what is the meaning of exception handling exception handling means defining alternative way if something goes wrong maybe a chance man don't expect everything goes fine as per your requirement at run time something goes wrong we should have alternative to continue rest of the program normally right okay suppose everyone 
సార్ ఐ వాంట్ టు మ్యారీ కత్తిరినాకాయ్ ఒక దిస్ ఈజ్ మై మెయిన్ ఫ్లో ఐ వాంట్ టు మ్యారీ కత్తిరినాకాయ్ బట్ కత్తిరినాకాయ్ మే నాట్ ఇంట్రెస్ట్ ఆన్ మీ దెన్ ఐ షుడ్ హ్యావ్ సమ్ ఆల్టర్నేటివ్ టు కంటిన్యూ మై రెస్ట్ ఆఫ్ ద ప్రోగ్రామ్ ఆర్ నాట్ ఎస్ అబ్వియస్లీ విచ్ ఈస్ నథింగ్ బట్ వాట్ ఎక్సెప్షన్ హ్యాండ్లింగ్ రిమెంబర్ ది సో డిఫైనింగ్ ఆల్టర్నేటివ్ వే to continue rest of the program so in our day to day life every time we are using this concept but unfortunately we don't know we don't know it is called exception handling sir sir i want to go to the office first i will check for bus bus is not available i will check for auto 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 is not available then i will ask my friend lift then i may go to the office defining always you are searching for alternative which is nothing but exception handling you are going for the movie so you are you are uh, ready just uh, release the movie you are trying for the ticket if you are not getting the ticket for that movie then immediately you can check for alternative theater or otherwise alternative movie are you getting but you won't come back to the room you won't come back to the house so you will go for alternative theater or alternative movie and then happily after completing the program you will come to your house so the way of defining alternative to continue rest of the program normally which is nothing but what exception handling are you in the position to understand friends okay that's all so what is an exception what is the purpose of exception handling what is the meaning of exception handling these are three things you should aware unwanted unexpected event that disturbs the normal flow of the program is called exception okay then the main purpose of exception handling graceful termination of the program what is the meaning of exception handling defining alternative way to continue rest of the program sir here i use two keywords what is the first one try try second one sir accept these two are keywords for exception handling what is the purpose which code i have to take inside try block which code i have to take inside accept block i will explain in detail in the next videos up to this any doubt clear right hi friends in the last videos we covered very clearly the basic introduction to exceptions right what is exception what is the meaning of exception handling how to handle exceptions right now the next topic what i have to discuss default exception handling in python sir abjan default exception handling in python sir if you are not handling an exception if an exception got raised by default what will happen that part we have to aware sir best example let me go for a small example so that you will get much clarity sir sir here i am taking print of hello hello like this i am taking print of hello next uh, print of 10 by 0 i am taking next uh, print of hi print of hi like this i am taking this code sir assume that sir have you observed if i execute this code immediately error we are going to get because of 10 by 0 yes you know that because of 10 by 0 an error will occur sir sir now the important point so whenever an exception got raised by default what will happen sir in this example so which exception will be raised okay zero division error will be raised correct right zero division error exception got raised every exception in python is a class remember this one sir every exception in python is a class that's why zero division error is a class sir zero division error is a is a class whenever an exception raised immediately python virtual mission will create an object for the corresponding class okay now observe this one zero division error exception class object will be created by python virtual mission remember so in our python code anywhere if an exception raised first step sir so python virtual mission will create an object for the corresponding exception class so it is a zero division error class object zero division error is our exception class okay like an object got created next immediately python virtual mission will check is there any handling code is available or not okay any handling code is it available or not if handling code is available 
then handling code will be executed and the rest of the program will be continued normally remember this one sir so after creating this exception object immediately python virtual machine will check is there any handling code or not if no handling code is available so python virtual machine will execute that handling code and the rest of the code will be continued normally okay like but uh, i'm not having any handling code i'm not having any handling code if you are not having any handling code immediately the program will be terminated yes there only at the second line only the program will be terminated and the printed exception information to the console remember this one sir the program will be terminated there and the printed exception information to the console and the rest of the program won't be executed remember this one sir sir this is abnormal termination are you getting this one is what abnormal termination okay so if an exception got raised python virtual machine will create an object related to exception class and check for a handling code if a handling code is available it will handle hand, handling code will be executed and the rest of the code will be continued normally okay if handling code is not available the program will be terminated there only rest of the code is not going to execute print exception information to the console the program will be terminated abnormally what is this uh, termination sir is it normal termination or abnormal termination abnormal termination is it graceful termination or non graceful termination non graceful termination suppose here you open one database connection assume that you open one database connection while reading data the problem came so now this is the closing database connection so no one is going to close by db connection obviously so it is a, it's a bigger problem that's why abnormal termination non graceful termination we don't want okay to prevent this abnormal termination we require to go for what exception handling by using try and accept blocks sir how you can use that part i will take care don't worry sir up to this is the clear for all of right have a look once sir sir now default exception handling in python just observe carefully sir let me execute this code here if i can take print a uh, hello i'm taking print of hello i'm taking print a uh, 10 by 0 i'm taking and uh, print a uh, hi i'm taking sir that's all print of hello print of 10 by 0 print of hi like this i'm taking sir now let me execute this code here observe so the first line will be executed properly so second line there is a problem is coming immediately python virtual machine will create exception object now it will check for handling code handling code is not available the program will be terminated at second line and the printed exception information to the console rest of the code is not going to be executed remember this one sir sir observe carefully if i execute this code what is the answer sir hello printed and the exception information will be printed to the console rest of the code is not executed sir you want to see hi in the console have you observed right you want to see hi in the console because the rest of the code is not executed sir sir now my question is who is the responsible to print this information okay python virtual machine python interpreter is the responsible to print this information is it normal termination or abnormal termination it is abnormal termination never recommended is it clear for all of you right so this is default exception handling in python by default what will happen nothing program will be terminated abnormally print exception information to the console clear right just have a look once about this theory sir whatever we have okay sir here just observe that default exception handling in python sir observe every exception in python is an object for every exception type the corresponding class is available clear next up whenever an exception occurs pvm will create the corresponding exception object and will check for handling code if handling code is available then it will be executed and the rest of the program will be executed normally okay if handling code is not available then pvm will terminate program abnormally and the print the corresponding exception information to the console rest of the program won't be executed observe it is a normal termination it is abnormal termination because handling code is not 
available. Okay, to prevent this abnormal termination, we should handle exceptions explicitly. Of course, by using what? Try accept blocks. So, is it clear for left right? What is the default exception handling in Python? Any doubt? Hi friends, in the last video we covered about default exception handling in Python. Sir, now the next thing what I have to discuss, Python's exception hierarchy. Just a basic idea, sir, what are various exception classes, at least a few. What is the relation between these, which is the parent class, which is the child class, like you people should have clarity, sir. Sir, I told already, all exceptions in Python, every exception in Python is an object corresponding class is available. Means exception classes are there, sir. So all exception classes in Python are child classes of base exception. Remember this one. All are child classes of base exception. Every exception, if you consider, sir, it should be child class of base exception. That's why this base exception class is considered a yeah, root class for python exception hierarchy remember this one sir okay like uh, sir for this there are multiple child classes are there friends one child class is exception okay one child class one child class is exception remember it is the child class of base exception okay one child class is the exception Similar to exception, okay, system exit, system exit, it is another child class. Next, do you know, generator exit, generator exit, exit, it is another child class. Next, keyboard interrupt, keyboard, keyboard interrupt, keyboard interrupt, it is a another child class while executing the program whenever you are going to press control c immediately keyboard interrupt okay like these are various child classes of base exception are you in the position to understand right so base exception is the parent for all exception classes in python for that exception system exit generator exit keyboard interrupt like these are the child classes right Sir, next, uh, for uh, this exception, for this exception, multiple child classes are possible, man. Okay? So, one is uh, arithmetic error. Are you getting? One is uh, arithmetic error. Error like this, right? So, for this arithmetic error, do you know, sir, child class, zero division error. Zero division error is the child class Bas, we saw several times zero division error is the child class of arithmetic error which is the child class of exception which is the child class of base exception complete hierarchy at least uh, up to certain common user exceptions basic hierarchy you people should aware sir similarly overflow error okay over overflow error next uh, floating point error okay floating flo floating point uh, error error okay like floating floating point error like uh, okay now these are various child classes for arithmetic error is it clear right sir similar to arithmetic error there is one more child class is there okay lookup error one more child class is there lookup lookup error sir for this lookup error okay there are some child classes are there index error have you remembered right whenever you are trying to access string out of range index index error we are going to get list elements out of range index index error next key error key error okay best example in our dictionary dictionary if we are trying to access a data by specifying the key if that key is not available then key error we are going to get sir okay like this is so similar to so have you observed index error key error these two things are child class of lookup error right similar to this okay now the next thing what we have okay oh yes error are you getting oh yes oh yes error like uh, oh yes error for the oh yes error child classes are sir file not found error 
फाइल नॉट फाउंड एरर वी कवर्ड ऑलरेडी इन द लास्ट सेशन फाइल नॉट फाउंड एरर इधर चाइल्ड ऑफ ओएस एरर ओएस एरर इधर चाइल्ड ऑफ एक्सेप्शन एक्सेप्शन इधर चाइल्ड ऑफ बेस एक्सेप्शन लाइक सर फाइल नॉट फाउंड एरर इंटररप्टेड एरर इंटररप्टेड एरर एरर नेक्स्ट टाइम आउट एरर टाइम आउट एरर एरर नेक्स्ट परमिशन एरर परमिशन Permission error, permission error, like so. These are various child classes of OS error, right? Okay. Next, similar to this, do you know? Next, uh, attribute error, attribute error, attribute attribute error. Okay. Next, uh, EOF error, EOF error, end of file error. Next, uh, name error, name name error, name error. नेक्स्ट टाइप एरर टाइप एरर ओके वैल्यू एरर वैल्यू वैल्यू एरर ओके लाइक मल्टीपल चैल क्लासेस आर देयर आर इन द पोजीशन टू अंडरस्टैंड फ्रेंड बेस एक्सेप्शन एक्सेप्शन अर्थमेटिक एरर जीरो डिवीजन एरर ओवरफ्लो एरर फ्लोटिंग पॉइंट एरर सिमिलरली लुकअप एरर चैल क्लासेस इंडेक्स एरर की एरर राइट नेक्स्ट ओ एस एरर फाइल नॉट फाउंड एरर इंटरप्टेड एरर टाइम आउट एरर परमिशन एरर सर सिमिलर टू दिस सो अट्रिब्यूट एरर इवो एफ एरर नेम एरर टाइप एरर वैल्यू एरर लाइक सो दीज आर द थिंग्स व्हाट यू पीपल शुड एवेयर सर जस्ट अ पार्शियल हाइर की बट नाउ आई हैव वन स्मॉल डाउट सर अर्धमेटिक एरर इत चील क्लास ऑफ रेस्पॉन्ड अर्थमेटिक एरर इज द चैल्ड क्लास ऑफ एक्सेप्शन उचित चैल्ड क्लास ऑफ बेस एक्सेप्शन राइट सर जीरो डिवीजन एरर इज द चैल्ड ऑफ अर्थमेटिक एरर ओके नेक्स्ट इंडेक्स एरर इज द चैल्ड ऑफ लुकअप एरर लुकअप एरर इज द चैल्ड ऑफ एक्सेप्शन फाइल नॉट फाउंड एरर इज द चैल्ड ऑफ ओएस एरर ओएस एरर इज द चैल्ड ऑफ एक्सेप्शन ओके लाइक सो मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम्स बीइंग ए प्रोग्रामर our concentration is always exception and its child classes only in the exception handling most of the times we are always going to talk about either exception and its child classes remember these are very important sir just for basic idea purpose i'm providing this are you in the position to understand right okay just have a look once about this one sir so now if you observe these conclusions sir Every exception in Python is a class. All exception classes are child classes of base exception, either directly or indirectly. Hence, base exception acts as root for Python exception hierarchy. Remember right. Next, up, being a programmer, most of the times we have to concentrate or handle exception and its child classes. So, any explanation is required about this one. Just a basic idea. Better to draw this diagram on the paper. Just to try to have. Just least basic, basic commonly required exception hierarchy. You should aware, clear, right? So even in the next videos also, I'm going to touch this point. So which is the parent of zero division error? Immediately you have to tell arithmetic error is the parent. Sir, which is the parent of arithmetic error? Immediately you have to tell exception, sir. Which is the parent of exception? Base exception. This parent and child relationship, sir. We are going to use uh, somewhere in the next videos to discuss some important conclusions. Sir, remember, sir, same way, index error is the child of, hey, respond, <laughs> index error is the child of, look up error, index error is the child of, look up error, look up error is the child of, exception, file not found error is the child of, OS error, OS error is the child of, exception, like a basic idea about these things, compulsory you people should have, any doubt about this one, clear right? Hi friends, in the last videos we covered very clearly about what is the default exception handling and then partial exception hierarchy. Now the next concepts are customizer exception handling by using try accept. Sir, have you remembered? It is highly recommended to handle exceptions. What is the main objective of exception handling? Graceful termination. Okay, normal termination. I want. I don't want to block any resources. I don't want to miss any resources. Right. It is highly recommended to handle exceptions. So how you can handle sir? Try accept. Remember this one. Try accept. These are two keywords we are going to use to handle exceptions. How we can do? Have a look once, sir. Sir, I am taking a simple example. Okay, 
without without try accept i don't want to take sir try accept then what is the flow so with try accept what is the difference right just a basic idea sake here i'm taking print of statement 1 print of statement 1 okay print of 10 by 0 print of 10 by 0 next uh, print of statement 3 print of statement 3 like this i am taking sir that's all now i can ask now i will ask python virtual mission can you please execute this code are python virtual mission can you please execute this code like i will ask then immediately python virtual mission is going to tell so it will print it will print statement 1 properly no problem at all next uh, while executing this one zero division error is coming no handling code then immediately the program will be stopped uh, by raising zero division error are you getting by raising zero division error can you please tell is it a normal termination or abnormal termination yes it is abnormal termination the program stopped in the middle only sir it is abnormal termination abnormal abnormal termination so it is not a graceful termination sir non graceful termination non graceful termination okay just observe so it is abnormal termination non graceful termination right so what is the reason why what is the what is the reason for that the reason is suppose assume assume that the first line open database connection okay assume the first line open db connection second line read data third line close db connection close db connection so you open db connection successfully but whenever while reading there is some error came immediately the program terminated here only without executing the rest of the code then who is going to close the database connection no one is going to close so our resource is going to be blocked so which is never be recommended are you getting right that's why so this a type of coding this a type of abnormal termination or non graceful termination never recommended compulsory we should handle exceptions by using what try accept same code with try accept what will happen sir just have a look once sir so with with try accept i want to take sir very important can you please tell in this program how many lines of the code is there uh, respond in this how many lines of the code is there three lines in the which line may raise an exception can you please confirm which line may raise an exception yes this line may raise an exception second line may raise an exception the code which may raise an exception that code is called risky code remember this one so risky code the code which may raise an exception that code is called what risky risky code right okay risky code we have to take inside the try block remember so within the try within the try which code we have to take the code which may raise an exception that code is called risky code risky sir but not whiskey whiskey is also risky only okay so try which code we have to take sir risky code we have to take risky code next uh, while executing this risky code if an exception raised uh, you should have handling code right where we have to take handling code inside uh, except a block inside except a block we have to take handling code have you observed inside except a block we require to take what handling code sir have you remembered what is the meaning of exception handling hey i covered already in the last videos very clearly what is the meaning of exception handling exception handling means defining alternative way are you getting defining alternative way so this is the main code in the main code if there is a problem then immediately this alternative this alternative code should execute sir are you getting this is the syntax very important for the entire room are within the try block which code we have to take what is the purpose of try block what is the purpose of accept block in the try block 
we have to take which code risky code in the accept a block we have to take which codes are handling code which is nothing but alternative code when accept a block will be executed if there is a problem inside a try block if there is an exception got raised inside try block immediately the corresponding accept block will be executed once exception handling handle now rest of the program will be continue normally which is a normal termination instead of abnormal termination okay have a look once sir so first statement is not risky code print of statement 1 is not risky code okay now i am taking print a statement 1 normally okay print of statement 1 next uh, print of 10 by 0 sir maybe a chance of rising arithmetic error because you are doing some arithmetic operation risky code okay risky code we have to take inside a try block okay try print a 10 by 0 i am taking because it is a risky code which may raise an exception so in this case which exception will be raised respond in this case which exception there is a possibility to raise zero division error if zero division error is coming how you want to handle okay accept accept which which error there is a possibility zero zero division error zero division error error like this i am taking so except uh, zero division error if zero division error is coming then don't uh, perform this arithmetic operation can you please perform this arithmetic operation 10 by so 2 like this can you please do that 10 by 2 like uh, don't fail sir this is the alternative code just for flow purpose i'm telling if a london file is not available use local file if there is a problem with oracle database then use mysql database so if uh, you are not getting bus ticket better to get a train ticket or any something like alternative code next uh, so try accept uh, completed now what is the remaining code so risky code we handle sir what the remaining statement 3 now print a statement 3 print a statement 3 can you please confirm what is the output we are going to get in this case yes friends if i execute this code what is the output sir statement 1 will be executed statement 1 will be executed and then while executing this one there is zero division error immediately the control will comes to corresponding the control will comes to corresponding handling except block now except block is going to print 10 by 2 10 by 2 means 5.0 5.0 and after completing rest of the code will be executed normally statement 3 will be executed okay now my question is is it the normal termination or abnormal termination this is the normal termination because all the statements are executed normal termination it is the graceful termination normal termination or graceful termination which is a highly recommended friends are you getting this uh, normal or graceful termination is a highly recommended is it clear for all of friend so how you can handle exceptions uh, in our own way by using try except try means what uh, try block risky code we have to take inside except block we have to take handling code let me execute this one first i will show abnormal termination and then i will go for normal termination sir observe carefully here the same example whatever i i i explain whatever i explain on the board here see this one print uh, print a uh, statement 1 print of statement 1 print a uh, 10 by 0 i'm taking next uh, print a uh, statement 3 print of statement 3 like this i'm taking sir that's all so print of statement 1 10 by 0 statement 3 like this i'm taking now observe carefully first one will execute normally but whenever we are executing this one zero division error is coming now there is no corresponding handling code the program will be terminated abnormally without execute the rest of the code now observe now observe this one if i execute this one so statement 1 executed and then abnormal termination by printing zero division error okay like that's also is it normal or abnormal termination abnormal termination never recommended right okay so i want to convert the, this 
Norm, abnormal termination to normal termination by handling exception. Which keywords we require to use? Try except. Try keyword meant a far. Try block meant a far. Risky code place. Okay. Try meant a far place a risky code. Sir, except a block meant a far. Okay. Handling code. The people who are coming from Java background. Try, try the same, but except uh, in Java is the catch block. In Java, catch block. In Python, except block, both are same. Remember, now, have a look once. So, risky code is, uh, sir, which is the risky code? This is the risky code. We have to take this risky code inside a try block. Okay, now, try block, I am taking. Okay, next, uh, handling code, except, uh, except, uh, zero division error except uh, zero division error if for zero division error is coming print a uh, 10 by 2 like this i'm taking sir that's all so risky code i separated into try block try block and the corresponding handling code i kept uh, inside uh, except block okay that's all now let me execute this code if i execute this one statement one will be printed so here zero division error is coming immediately the control will comes to this one next uh, here 5.0 is going to print and then statement three will be printed now have a look once uh, sir statement one statement one 5.0 and then statement three this is the output by default we are going to get which is the uh, normal termination all the things are very clear right abnormal termination normal termination that is the power of try except blocks okay so up to this whatever we cover just uh, have a look once uh, sir here just uh, I, I showed already i showed already customize the exception only by using try except Abja, it is highly recommended to handle exceptions the main objective of exception handling graceful termination next the code which may raise an exception is called a risky code remember this one sir the code which may raise an exception is called risky code and we have to take that risky code inside a try block next the corresponding handling code we have to take inside except a block so within the try block if an exception raised immediately except block is going to execute alternative code is going to execute rest of the program will be continued normally okay have a look once about this one sir here customize the exception handling by using try except in the try risky code we have to take inside except handling code or alternative code so that's all sir the first two keywords how you can use for exception handling everyone got basic idea about a try and accept keywords any doubt about this Sir, in the last video, we covered try accept the block basic idea. Now, I want to dig a control flow inside a try accept. Observe carefully, sir. Control flow in try accept blocks. How the flow will be there? If an exception riser, what will happen? If an exception not riser, what will happen? Compulsory, you should aware. Okay, here, very, very simple terminology, sir. Here, I am taking try try okay statement uh, one statement uh, two statement uh, three try statement one two three next uh, except block i'm taking some x x x x x x means either zero division error or value error name of the exception now statement of four okay Next, after the statement of 5. Now, observe carefully. Statement 5 is outside of accept block. Okay, 1, 2, 3 are within the try block. Statement 4 inside accept block. Statement 5 outside of accept block. Okay, like now, multiple cases I have to discuss so that you will get much clarity about the flow. Very important, sir. Okay, listen carefully. Sir, I want to take case 1. Case 1 if there is no exception if there is no exception can you please tell what is the flow which statements will be executed please confirm if there is no exception if there is no exception except the block won't be executed because when the except block will execute if there is an exception riser but if there is no exception except block won't be riser then automatically 1, 2, 3, and then 5. 1, 2, 3, and then 5. 
normal termination remember this so 1 2 3 5 normal termination okay this is because there is no exception simple sir 1 2 3 will be executed and then 5 will be executed normal termination okay well now second case so up to this not required to keep any explanation there is no exception except block won't be executed okay well next uh, if yan exception raised if an exception raised yet uh, statement to sir listen very carefully an exception raised yet a statement to well executed statement to an exception raised and and the corresponding except block matched and the corresponding corresponding except block matched corresponding except block matched means uh, sir here zero division error oh this except block for the same zero division error only now what is the flow sir please confirm an exception raised but the corresponding except block is there sir zero division error came except zero division error block is there then what what is the flow please confirm very carefully understand compulsory you have to trace what is the what is the which statements are going to execute sir 1 1 100 to the problem is coming immediately the control will comes to accept block immediately the control will comes to accept block now statement 4 will be executed and after statement 4 execution now my doubt yes statement 3 will be executed or not getting my point so statement 3 will be executed or not after executing statement 4 if a statement 3 will be executed or not okay remember this within the try we have main flow sir try block means main main flow inside except block we have alternative flow alternative alternative flow in the main flow if there is a problem immediately alternative flow got executed once alternative flow executed then the control won't go back again to execute main flow suppose best example try for bus tickets if the bus ticket is not available try for train ticket okay you got the train ticket after getting train ticket no one is going to try for bus ticket again are you getting right so means that within the try block if anywhere an exception got raised huh? so now immediately the control will comes to accept block rest of the try block won't be executed remember this one sir that's why what is the flow one one will be executed while executing two the problem is coming immediately control will comes to accept block four will be executed one four and then remaining code will be continue normally one four five normal termination one four five normal termination sir so there is important conclusion compulsory you should aware within the try block anywhere an exception raised anywhere an exception raised so rest of the try block won't be executed even though you handled that exception even we handled rest of the try block won't be executed that's why so inside the try block you have to take only risky code only risky code but not normal code because there is no guarantee for execution of every statement in the try block that's why only risky code we have to take inside try block the length of the try block should be as less as possible remember sir but most of the people what they are going to do is sir abjan try block try block they will take statement 1 okay dot 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 statement 10000 they are going to define statement 10000 they are going to take okay now here they are going to define except block except block sir so 10000 statements are there inside try block if any person who wrote this type of coding if he is standing in front of me i will give left and right the problem here is are ye, there is a problem at statement 1 only there is a problem at statement 1 immediately the control will comes to accept block then without executing 9000 999 lines of the code how i ex expect proper behavior 
that's why length of the tri block should be as less as possible inside the tri block we have to take only risky code but not normal code is it clear for all of you even in the last example also have you remembered right try of statement 1 statement 1 statement 10 by 0 statement 3 i took a statement 10 by 0 only in the try block but not the total three statements in the last example if you remember same here see this one sir so it's a clear if an exception raised at a statement 2 and the corresponding except block matched sir one executed while executing to the problem came immediately control came to accept block and after completing accept block yes a statement 5 will be executed 1 4 5 normal termination any doubt about this one okay well <coughs> now next case listen very carefully if an exception if an exception raised at the statement 2 if an exception rise at a statement 2 statement 2 but corresponding except block not matched <laughs> okay but corresponding but corresponding except block but corresponding except block not matched corresponding except block not not matched what is the flow now so not matched means are here zero division error is coming but this except block for value error or heart problem is coming but the available doctor is high specialist is there <laughs> are you getting so here rise the exception but the available except block there is no match at all now this except block is not not the correct code sir what will happen so here an exception riser immediately python virtual machine will check either any handling code handling code is not available because it is not corresponding except block abnormal termination that's why one one followed by abnormal termination remember this one one followed by abnormal termination okay this is the flow now the next one very very important sir take a bit special care now the fourth case fourth case if an exception raised yet a statement for if exception raised if exception raised yet a statement of four can you please tell what will happen is it a normal termination or abnormal termination please confirm if an exception raised at statement four is it a normal termination or abnormal termination very important friends please confirm is it normal or abnormal termination yes if an exception raised at statement 4 is it normal or abnormal sir remember very important conclusion first doubt you may get sir exception should be raised only in the try block but not inside except block no wherever python code is there there may be a chance of raising an exception so assume i'm checking for bus ticket if the bus ticket not available then i will try for train ticket is there any guarantee train ticket is compulsory available no no so maybe a chance of exception inside except block also okay don't feel exceptions will be raised only in the try block maybe a chance of rising inside except block inside finally block also so what is finally that part we are going to discuss don't worry sir okay so except inside try inside except inside finally everywhere there is a possibility of rising an exception okay first conclusion next uh, if an exception raised uh, inside except block what will happen sir very simple listen carefully if there is a problem yet a try statement one statement two statement three there are three statements are there inside try block if an exception raised in the try block if an exception raised in the try block try block compulsory okay who is the responsible to handle except block is the responsible except a block acts as a god security person to the try statements remember this one so somewhere outside of try here an exception raised outside of try here an exception raised can i ask this except block to handle that no chance at all boss myself is the responsible only for these three statements only suppose for your house you arranged one security person one security person if anything goes wrong in your house 
the security person is the responsible. Suppose in the neighbor's house, okay, robbery happened. Robbery happened in the neighbor's house. Can I ask the security person why robbery happened in the neighbor's house? No chance at all because this person is the responsible only for this house, not for this house. Are you getting? Same way, this except a block is the responsible only for three block statements, not outside the statements. Are you getting? That's why if any statement raising an exception which is not inside the tri block, which is not inside tri block, simply abnormal termination. Remember this one, sir. So, here statement 4, not in tri block. It is inside except block, not in tri block. Always abnormal termination because it is not there inside tri. No except block. No except block means abnormal termination. Next, if an exception raised yet a statement 5. If an exception raised at statement 5, again statement 5 is within the tri block or outside of tri block? I respond, within the tri block or outside of tri block? Outside of tri block. Correct, right? So, if an exception raised, so outside of tri block, it is always abnormal termination. So, if an exception raised at statement 4, or statement 5, or statement 5, it is always abnormal termination. That's all. So, with pleasant mind, trace each and everything so that you will get much clarity. Sir, next level, we have to talk about control flow in try except finally. Control flow in nested try except finally blocks. There, if you want to understand, compulsory, here much clarity must be required. Because the same thing we are going to rediscuss again and again. So, here better to get much clarity. Are you in the position to understand right? Next, in addition to this, there are three important conclusions I covered. Have you remembered or not? I don't know. Within the tri block, if anywhere an exception raised, the rest of the tri block won't be executed even though you handled that exception. That's why length of the tri block should be as less as possible. We have to take only risky code inside a tri block. Okay, well. Next, uh, sir, there is a possibility of raising an exception inside tri block, inside except block, inside finally block also. Everywhere, there is a possibility of raising an exception. Next, uh, so here do you know if any statement outside of tri block raising an exception, it is always abnormal termination. Remember that, okay? Have a look once. I hope these three statements I documented for your reference. Observe carefully, sir. Within the tri block, if anywhere an exception raised, then rest of the tri block won't be executed, even though we handled that exception. Hence, inside tri block, we have to take only risky code and the length of the tri block should be as less as possible. Next, in addition to tri block, there may be a chance of raising exceptions inside, except and finally blocks also. Don't feel exception should be raised only in the tri block. No. Next, uh, if any statement which is not part of tri block, outside of tri block, raising an exception, then it is always abnormal termination. Okay, well, then immediately you may ask, uh, sir, inside except block, if an exception raised, you are telling abnormal termination, can I take uh, this statement for again try accept <laughs> again try accept so try accept inside accept block possible or not are you possible that part don't worry we will discuss in detail next level as of now it is not part of try statement abnormal termination so any doubt about this control flow in try accept the blocks clear right hi friends in the last videos we covered about try block Accept a block. What is the flow control flow in try except up to that we covered sir now the next concept Let me talk. Okay, how to print Exception information. I want to print exception information. What is the way sir very simple simple terminology observe carefully Here I have Try block is there try is there now I'm taking print of 10 by 0 I am sure I will get zero division error. Okay, because my intention is I want to print its exception information right. Okay. Now here I am taking except a block zero division error. Zero division error like this we took sir. Now we wrote the handling code inside except a block. 
suppose my requirement is i want to print uh, exception information inside acceptor block okay like uh, name of the exception description of the exception type of the exception like i want to print sir what is the way very simple here we require to use except uh, zero division error don't keep immediately colon okay yes yes message like this we have to take sir yes message okay like we have to take so means uh, hold zero division error object okay with the uh, msg reference variable okay so here object got created or not exception object got created for uh, this msg is the reference variable okay like but here one important point you should aware so yes uh, is a python keyword remember this one you can't change this one yes compulsory but instead of msg you can take anything no problem at all yes x yes exception yes e like uh, any name because it's a simply name of the reference variable right so now inside uh, except the block i'm taking print uh, the type of exception print uh, the type of exception exception like i want to take so what is the type of exception very simple type of message like this we have to take so the type of the type of exception is type of message message like now it will tell class zero division error type like you are going to get sir so sir let me execute up to this you may get some basic idea and then i will i will go further have a look once sir here i'm taking a simple example a simple a simple example sir this is a test i'm taking here just a try i'm trying to take within the try block within a within the try block print 10 by 0 print 10 by 0 except except zero division except zero division error yes message okay sir here you can take anything no problem at all yes x you can take or yes e you can take or exception we can take anything you can take no problem at all but uh, yes message general my convention i'm using sir now print a print a exception type print of exception type exception type so what i have to take sir type of message okay like this i'm taking sir sir let me execute this code have a look once what is the answer by default we will get exception type e class zero division error okay class zero division error like this we are going to get yes this is the way how to print exception type type of the exception but now observe the same thing there is another way is also there to print sir what is that way is print print okay the type of exception print uh, the type of exception exception is uh, there is another way are it is msg it is the reference variable to exception object what is the corresponding class name what is the corresponding class name i want to print uh, very simple msg dot msg dot underscore underscore class underscore underscore class underscore underscore have you observed msg dot underscore underscore class underscore underscore we have to take okay so this one itself a to print a class name again so to print a type type only again the same answer we are going to get just have a look once sir sir i'm taking i'm taking so exception type exception type msg dot underscore underscore class underscore underscore now the corresponding class object i'm trying to print if i'm trying to print corresponding class object what the answer we are going to get yes same answer we are going to get friends okay so this is the class this is the class zero division error it is going to print class object okay class zero division error like this we are going to get sir okay now my requirement sir class zero division error i don't want a simply class name i want exception class name i want what is the way sir very very simple observe carefully right here print print so the exception class name the exception 
class name name like this i'm taking sir exception class name what is the way is m s g dot underscore underscore class underscore underscore it is going to return class object now what is the name of this class what is the name of this class dot uh, dot uh, underscore underscore name underscore underscore we have to take observe very carefully sir this syntax is a very important message msg dot underscore underscore class underscore underscore dot underscore underscore name underscore underscore sir exception object the corresponding class object and the name of that class name of that class like observe the e msg is exception reference to exception object what is the corresponding class class object now what is the name of that class okay just simply name of that class is zero division error like we are going to get sir okay have a look once about carefully so now i'm taking now print print sir the exception class name okay exception class name sir exception class name sir observe very carefully m s g dot underscore underscore class underscore underscore dot underscore underscore name underscore underscore have you observed right this is syntax is a very very important for you people right so it is a reference to exception object now underscore underscore class is going to return underscore underscore class is going to return a reference to class object next uh, underscore underscore name written sir name of that uh, class name of that exception what is the answer we will get sir now have a look once exception class name zero division error are you in the position to understand right what is the exception class name zero division error like this right okay well now i am in the position to print type of exception and the name of the exception class sir description i want to description of exception i want sir then very simple print print okay print the description i want observe very carefully the description the description i want description of exception description of exception very simple just a print a message directly okay now you are going to get what is the description sir division by zero are you in the position to understand friends now take very special care how to print a exception information that's all this is the code you should away so what is the way how to print the type there are two ways are there to print a class name this is the way next to print a description this is the way let me execute this code also here observe a bit very very carefully about this one sir print uh, so the description the description of exception okay description of exception description of exception very simple m s g that's it okay sir now what is the answer by default we are going to get yes observe that description of exception division by zero so is it clear for all of you right so how to print exception information this is the way but one important point you should aware yes it is the keyword compulsory you should use as only next instead of msg msg g is the reference variable to exception object you can use any name there is no problem at all don't feel compulsory we should use okay msg only sir i want to replace msg with e is it acceptable or not observe carefully sir just uh, let me replace msg with e sir what is the type of e what is the e dot class name next next e dot next and after that e like this i am taking sir 100% pakka this one is acceptable msg i replace it with e yes observe that the same answer by default we are going to get just uh, it is the name of the variable any name you can use no problem at all so clear not required to keep any explanation about how to print exception information to the console let me go for one more example so that you will get much clarity right sir just observe a bit very carefully here i'm taking try block okay x is equal to int of input a enter enter first number enter enter first number like this i'm taking of course this example we covered multiple times even in the last session also sir int a input a enter enter second number enter 
second second uh, number like this i am taking sir sir now what i have to take print uh, print uh, the result uh, print uh, the result uh, x by y i am taking print the result is x by y now except uh, except uh, here take very special care about this uh, terminology right sir in this code which type of errors are possible can you please spell out which type of errors are possible either zero division error is possible or value error is possible are getting zero division error is possible or value error is possible right except uh, so here i am taking sir base uh, exception base uh, exception like this i am taking sir base exception as m s h so if i can take a parent so this person can handle either piece exception or its child classes oh means so both the things this except block is going to handle except base exception as message okay like now i'm trying to take here print the type of exception print the type the type of exception is a type of message like this i'm taking sir type of exception type of message next print print again i'm trying to take the type of exception so to print type of exception there is another way is there can you please spell out what is the other way sir m s g dot underscore underscore class underscore underscore okay like i'm trying to take sir m s g dot underscore underscore class underscore underscore like sir now print a uh, print print of sir now the name of the exception can you please confirm what is the way just now we covered the name of exception what is the name of exception sir yeah can you please guide what is the name of the exception very simple yeah here m s g dot underscore underscore dot underscore underscore name okay like sir now print print the description print the description description okay like i'm taking so what is the description sir m s g that's all you have to take so now take very special care if a zero division error is coming now this uh, it is going to print uh, information about zero division error if a value error is coming this one is going to print uh, value error information is it clear for all of you right okay let me execute this code sir here one point you should aware if you write except a base exception if you are taking parent parent exception it can handle parent and its a child classes also it can handle base exception and its a child classes also no problem at all are you in the position to understand right now we have a look once sir sir here the same example but only difference is instead of msg i am using e because acceptable acceptable no issue at all now have a look once sir here just uh, observe carefully enter first number 10 enter second number 2 sir the result 5.0 no exception enter first number 10 enter second number 0 0 now observe yes perfectly it is going to tell what is the exception type what is the exception type sir what is the class name zero division error what is the description division by zero sir now let me again let me print uh, here 10 but second one i'm taking to sir value error we are going to get now observe carefully exception type okay value error type value error class name value error description of the exception invalid literal with the base 10 to this is the description of the exception right so everyone in the position to understand how to print exception information if you want to print exception class name if you want to print description if you want to print the type so what is the way clear any explanation is required that's all sir in the last video we covered how to print exception information to the console now the next one sir try with the multiple except blocks very very important concept sir sir best example if you are going to ask sir just usually in the classroom sir what is your name observe the first question they are asking sir what is your name name like this right 
ఇమ్మడి గేట్ లైక్ ఎంత అరే మై నేమ్ ఈస్ దుర్గా లైక్ లైక్ దిస్ ఐమ్ టెలింగ్ ఎస్ యాక్సెప్టబుల్ ఓకే సార్ వాట్ ఈజ్ యువర్ నేమ్ నవ్ ఐమ్ టెలింగ్ మై నేమ్ ఈజ్ దుర్గా సో బేస్డ్ ఆన్ ద క్వశ్చన్ ఐ ప్రొవైడెడ్ కరస్పాండింగ్ ఆన్సర్ నవ్ ఇమ్మడి గేట్లే స్టూడెంట్స్ ఆర్ ఆస్కింగ్ సార్ వాట్ ఈస్ యువర్ క్వాలిఫికేషన్ వాట్ వాట్ యువర్ క్వాలిఫికేషన్ క్వాలిఫికేషన్ లైక్ దే ఆర్ ఆస్కింగ్ దెన్ ఇమ్మడి గేట్లే మై ఆన్సర్ ఎస్ మై ఆన్సర్ ఎస్ మై నేమ్ ఈజ్ దుర్గా లైక్ దిస్ ఐమ్ టెలింగ్ సార్ మై నేమ్ ఈజ్ దుర్గా లైక్ దిస్ ఐమ్ టెలింగ్ దెన్ ఇమ్మీడియట్లీ స్టూడెంట్ ఆస్కర్ ఎగాయిన్ సార్ యు డిడెంట్ లెజన్ మై క్వశ్చన్ ప్రాపర్లీ సార్ వాట్ ఈస్ యువర్ క్వాలిఫికేషన్ ఒక లైక్ దే ఆస్కర్ దెన్ ఐ టోల్డ్ మై నేమ్ ఈజ్ దుర్గా లైక్ ఐ టోల్డ్ సార్ మై నేమ్ ఈజ్ దుర్గా లైక్ దిస్ ఐ టోల్డ్ దెన్ ఓకే స్టూడెంట్ మే ఫీల్ సార్ ఈజ్ నాట్ ఇంట్రెస్టెడ్ to tell his name okay like uh, immediately is going to change the question sir what is your native place okay what is your native native place uh, like he asked sir like then immediately i told my name is uh, durga like this i told sir my name is durga then student uh, definitely is going to feel are sir mental or pagal ho gaya why is telling the same answer for any question okay like definitely student is going to get that doubt correct right because the answer should be based on the question are you if he, if he is asking about name we have to tell the name if we are asking about qualification we have to tell about qual- qualification if he is asking about native place then i have to tell my native place are you getting so the answer should be based on the question not uh, sir for any question same answer is not acceptable but in our academics btech or uh, btech or intermediate 10th class you know any question same answer sir for academics it's okay but in programming this type of thing is not possible remember that's why so the answer is varied from question to question the way of handling an exception is varied from sir exception type to exception suppose arithmetic zero division error came are perform these alternative arithmetic operations database error came oh don't use oracle better to use mysql sir if a file not found error okay came don't use remote file better to use a local file sir have you observed the way of handling an exception is a varied from exception to exception that's why for every exception type compulsory we have to take separate except a block remember for every exception type we have to take separate except a block so try with the multiple except blocks possible recommended to you sir remember this one sir so because the way of handling an exception is varied from exception to exception that's why the way of uh, so handling an exception is varied for every exception type separate except block we have to take try with the multiple except blocks is possible recommended to you sir. are you in the position to understand right sir let me go for a small example so that you may get much clarity here see see this point very carefully sir sir i'm taking here try try i'm taking now do you know here just uh, take very very special very very special care sir what is the syntax let me let me explain sir i'm taking except except sir zero division error except zero zero division error error like this i'm taking sir except zero division error now perform perform alternative perform alternative arithmetic operations perform alternative arithmetic operations operations like uh, i'm taking sir next uh, except uh, except uh, sir file not uh, found error came except uh, file not uh, found uh, error came except uh, file not found error came then automatically do you know use uh, Re- local file use a local file instead of use a local file instead of remote file instead of remote file like sir have you observed so if it is zero division error okay we have some handling code if it is the file not found error we have the corresponding handling code right the way of handling an exception is varied from exception to exception that's why so for every exception type separate except block we have to take so 
try with the multiple acceptor blocks is possible recommended to use are you in the position to understand right any explanation is required okay like but here one small point you should have so based on raised exception okay some exception got raised sir immediately python virtual mission is always going to give the chance uh, for the first one are you can you handle this exception or not if it is matched uh, it will execute if it is not matched uh, then it will ask a second one so python virtual mission is always going to give the chance uh, from top to bottom from top to bottom until matched except block available remember this one sir python virtual mission is always going to consider from top to bottom until matched except block available okay remember this one sir so that's all try with multiple except blocks possible how the order python virtual mission is always going to consider from top to bottom okay have a look once sir just a theory and then i will go for small example okay try with multiple except blocks the way of handling an exception is varied from exception to exception hence for every possible exception type we have to take separate except block so try with multiple except blocks is possible under recommended to use correct okay next uh, here observe what is the syntax right sir here try okay except zero division error perform alternative arithmetic operations except a file not found here uh, use a local file instead of remote file okay like if you try with the multiple except blocks available then based on raised exception the corresponding except block will be executed is it clear for all of you right up to this so can i go for a small executable example so that you will get much clarity any doubt up to this sir let me go for a small executable code observe carefully here i am taking try try block x is equal to int of input of enter enter first number enter first number okay like i am taking sir next y is equal to int of input of enter enter second number enter first number enter second number like this i am taking now my target is sir print the result the result okay is x by y i am taking sir now take very special care here in this code which type of exceptions are possible one is zero division error second one is so if you didn't provide int value but you are trying to type cast to the int type then we are going to get value error so two possible errors are there for every exception compulsory it's a recommended to write separate except block okay now i'm taking except except zero division error except zero division error error i'm taking except zero division error now print can't divide with zero can't divide can't divide with a zero with a zero that's all this is the thing i'm taking just for syntax familiarity beyond that nothing so except a block zero division error can't divide with zero sir now except value error value error i'm taking now print print please provide please provide int values only please provide int int values only like this i'm taking please provide into values only now take very special care about about this one sir so how many try blocks are there only one try block but how many except blocks are there two except block for every exception type a separate except block i wrote yes it is acceptable recommended to use this type of style only let me execute this one if zero division error is coming now this this except block will execute if value error is coming then this except block is going to execute sir sir have a look once here i'm taking here just i'm taking same example already i took x and y the result x by y zero division error can't divide with zero value error please provide into values only okay like now sir here let me execute then 
to no exception no except block will execute simply the result 5.0 no except block will execute sir simply it is the 5.0 now let me execute enter first number 10 enter second number 0 enter second number 0 then immediately can't divide with zero remember this one so which except block got executed yes this except block got executed because zero division error got raised sir now sir if if we if we can take 10 enter second number two so two can't they can't convert into into type value error that's why please provide please provide into values only okay like we are getting please provide into values only value error right so based on raised exception the corresponding except block is going to be executed any doubt about this one so try with the multiple except blocks is possible or not yes possible based on raised exception the corresponding except block is going to be executed is it clear for all of you right okay well now there is one small point continuation point is there sir so if try with the multiple except blocks are there the order is important remember python virtual mission is always going to consider from top to bottom python virtual mission is always going to consider from top to bottom until matched matched except block identified remember once uh, i identified matched except block remaining things i don't want to search okay that is the rule what python virtual mission is going to follow have a look once about this rule okay just uh, i will i will explain with an example don't worry at all observe that if try with the multiple except blocks available then the order of these except blocks is important remember this one order is important python virtual mission will always consider from top to bottom until matched except block identified is it clear right sir can you please explain with a small example like you may ask observe carefully sir here i want to take uh, a small a small example just observe i don't want uh, this much code for this example just uh, have a look once about this one sir here i'm taking sir see try i'm taking try try i'm taking print uh, 10 by 0 print uh, 10 by 0 now except a block i'm taking except a block here zero division error zero division error like this i'm taking sir zero division error sir print print zero division error just print zero division error like this i'm taking next accept accept arithmetic error accept arithmetic error like this i'm taking accept arithmetic error print print uh, arithmetic error print uh, arithmetic arithmetic error error like this i'm taking sir that's all sir now take very special care about about this uh, terminology right sir here zero division error is going to come zero division error will come so first python virtual mission is always going to give the chance from top to bottom sir first uh, it will ask oh you accept a block can you handle zero division error or not then this person is going to tell yes man i can handle oh identified corresponding except block identified now it will execute so what is the output we are going to get sir zero division error what the output we are going to get zero division error now same program let me change the order of except blocks okay observe carefully try try print a ah, 10 by 0 try print of 10 by 0 except except okay well so what i have to take except first let me take arithmetic error arithmetic arithmetic error let me take arithmetic error so now sir print a ah, arithmetic error the first first i'm taking arithmetic error arithmetic error next except zero division error i'm taking zero division error except uh, zero division error i'm taking now print a uh, zero division error same example sir only difference is i change the order order can you please tell now which one is going to execute sir have you remembered exception hierarchy somewhere i covered zero division error 
జీరో డివిజన్ ఎర్ర ఎర్ర ఈజ్ ద చైల్డ్ క్లాస్ ఆఫ్ జీరో డివిజన్ ఎర్ర ఈజ్ ద చైల్డ్ క్లాస్ ఆఫ్ అర్థమెటిక్ ఎర్ర అర్థమెటిక్ ఎర్ర అర్థమెటిక్ ఎర్ర అర్థమెటిక్ ఎర్ర ఈ ద చైల్డ్ క్లాస్ ఆఫ్ ఎక్సెప్షన్ 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 ఈ ద చైల్డ్ క్లాస్ ఆఫ్ బేస్ ఎక్సెప్షన్ బేస్ ఎక్సెప్షన్ ఓకే లైక్ లైక్ వీ కవర్ దిస్ వన్ సార్ now so observe carefully whenever zero division error came immediately python virtual machine will ask hey accept a block first accept a block can you handle zero division error or not it will ask automatic error sir then immediately this person is telling hey i can handle arithmetic error and its child classes arithmetic error and its child classes arithmetic error and its child classes means zero division error also it can handle boss i can handle zero division error no problem at all because zero division error is my child class only this person is going to tell so if this person identified what is the output we are going to get sir arithmetic error are you getting what is the output we are going to get arithmetic error in this case so zero division error never going to get in the chance so even it never going to get in the chance because zero division error responsibility this person is going to handle so there is no error at all but it's a valid syntax but only first one is going to be considered are you in the position to understand so order matters a lot so it is a python virtual machine is always going to consider from top to bottom until matched except block identified is it clear for all of you right so if i can take this order now zero division error if i change the order now automatic error we are getting let me execute let me confirm observe carefully about this one sir here i'm taking here just uh, my requirement is i don't want all print uh, 10 by 0 0 division error i'm taking just let me change this code based on our requirement zero division error sir what is the second one sir arithmetic error okay arithmetic error okay now sir here arithmetic error like this i'm taking arithmetic error so the first one zero division error second one arithmetic error right okay now observe carefully sir in this case which one is the matched thing the matched thing is so first one first one is the matched zero division error we will get okay now have a look once i will execute this code observe carefully what the answer we are getting zero division error suppose if i change the order sir if i change the order first arithmetic error first arithmetic error and then zero division error i'm taking now sir which one is the answer we are going to get arithmetic error we will get because it is the first first matched matched thing sir now observe arithmetic error by default we are getting so friends everyone in the position to understand right so if try with the multiple except blocks are there order is important python virtual machine is always going to consider from from top to bottom until matched except block identified any doubt about this one that's all friends hi friends in the last video we co we covered try with the multiple except blocks okay so for the same try you can take multiple except blocks possible recommended try sir now the next possible syntax single except block that can handle multiple different exceptions single except block that can handle multiple different exceptions right sir very simple sir i have zero division error is there value error is there for both the handling code is the same assume that handling code is the same if handling code is the same for both exception what is the need of taking separate except blocks are you can take single except block that covers both the both exceptions right how you can do that very simple sir listen carefully right sir here i'm taking same example try except except x is equal to int of input of enter enter first number enter first first number like i'm taking sir next y is equal to int of input of enter enter second number enter 
second second number like this i am taking sir now print a uh, the result print a uh, the result uh, x by y like this i am taking sir okay sir how many possible errors are there zero digit error next and after that value error what i want to take for both the errors i want to take single except block what is the possibility what is the syntax very simple sir sir here if i can take except zero division error except zero division error sir this except block can handle only zero division error but i want zero division error value error what is the way very very simple sir except except okay bracket open sir first one zero division error first one zero division error comma comma value error comma value error like so observe the difference here this except is responsible to handle zero division error only but this except can handle either zero division error or value error both so first exception comma second exception comma third exception comma fourth exception like any number but make sure all these exceptions will become tuple that's why here parenthesis are mandatory remember but if it the single exception parenthesis is not mandatory optional if you want you can take parenthesis otherwise it is ignored but here compulsory parenthesis must be mandatory sir i want to print exception information also then so what we have to take except a zero division error except a zero division error comma value error okay yes message like this we have to take observe yes message but make sure yes message we are taking outside of a parenthesis only don't take inside by mistake if you are taking inside immediately error by default you are going to get okay yes message like so either this syntax or this syntax you can use if you want to write single except block for multiple exception sir when we should go for single except block for multiple exceptions if handling code is the same for multiple exceptions instead of taking separate except block take a single except block that cover both exceptions no problem at all are you in the position to understand right sir just have a look once about this theory of course we will continue our executable code here if a multiple if a handling code is the same for multiple exceptions then instead of taking different except blocks we can take single except block that can handle all those exceptions right sir what is the syntax except of exception 1 exception 2 comma dot 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 any number you can take colon next if you want message also yes message like we have to take but make sure yes message variable should be outside of parenthesis only next the parenthesis are mandatory under this group of exceptions internally considered as tuple remember this are you in the position to understand right sir let me continue our example right so here we have two possible exceptions there is a possibility okay like now except except bracket open except bracket open sir first one zero division error first one zero zero division error second one value error zero division error value error yes message like this i am taking now so print exception name print uh, sir which exception got raised which exception got raised it may be zero division error or value error that's why m s g dot underscore underscore class underscore underscore dot underscore underscore name underscore underscore exception name next uh, print uh, print uh, okay please provide valid input only please provide valid valid input only okay like uh, i am taking this one sir that's all 
ಸರ್ ನಾವು ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಫೆಮಿಲಿಯರ್ ಹೌ ಯು ಕನ್ ರೈಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಬ್ಲಾಕ್ ದಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಕವರ್ ಬೋತ್ ಮಲ್ಟಿಪಲ್ ಎಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ರೈಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಫಾರ್ ಅಲ್ ಆಫ್ರೆ ಸರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಟೈಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಸಿಂಟ್ಯಾಕ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಅದರ್ ಲ್ಯಾಂಗ್ವೇಜಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ದೇಟ್ ಸರ್ ಇನ್ ಜಾವಾ ಮಲ್ಟಿ ಕ್ಯಾಚ್ ಬ್ಲಾಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ವರ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ಜಾವಾ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಆರ್ ಗೋಂಟ್ ಯೂಸ್ ಬಟ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ದಿಸ್ ವರ್ಡ್ ಯು ಶುಡ್ ಎವೇರ್ ನಾವು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಎ ಲುಕ್ ಒನ್ಸ್ ಸರ್ ಸರ್ ಲೆಟ್ ಮಿ ಎಕ್ಸಿಕ್ಯೂಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕೋಡ್ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಯು ಪೀಪಲ್ ಮೇ ಗೆಟ್ ಮಚ್ ಮಚ್ ಕ್ಲಾರಿಟಿ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಒನ್ ಸರ್ ಅಬ್ಸರ್ವ್ ವೆರಿ ಕೇರ್ಫುಲಿ very very carefully here this is enter first number enter second number now have a look about this new syntax right i hope this is the new syntax now have a look so the riser exception what is the name of that exception what is the description of this exception please provide valid input only like this i took sir now observe very carefully about this exception here see ಸರ್ ಎಂಟರ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಟೆನ್ ಎಂಟರ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಟು ನೋ ಎಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಷನ್ ದ ರಿಸಲ್ಟ್ ಫೈವ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಜೀರೋ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಎಂಟರ್ ಟೆನ್ ಎಂಟರ್ ಜೀರೋ ಜೀರೋ ಸರ್ ನೌ ಜೀರೋ ಡಿವಿಜನ್ ಎರರ್ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಇಫ್ ಜೀರೋ ಡಿವಿಜನ್ ಎರರ್ ಕೇಮ್ ನೌ ದಿಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಬ್ಲಾಕ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ರೆಸ್ಪಾನ್ಸಿಬಲ್ ಟು ಹ್ಯಾಂಡಲ್ ನೌ ಅಬ್ಸರ್ ವೆರಿ ಕೇರ್ಫುಲಿ ಸರ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ದ ರೈಸಡ್ ಎಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಷನ್ ಜೀರೋ ಡಿವಿಜನ್ ಎರರ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕ್ರಿಪ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಎಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಷನ್ ಡಿವಿಜನ್ ಬೈ ಜೀರೋ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಪ್ರೊವೈಡ್ ವ್ಯಾಲಿಡ್ ಇನ್ಪುಟ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಲೈಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ರೈಟ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೇಮ್ ವೇ ನೌ ಲೆಟ್ ಮಿ ಎಕ್ಸಿಕ್ಯೂಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕೋರ್ಟ್ ಸರ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಲೆಟ್ ಮಿ ಟೇಕ್ ಸರ್ ಟೆನ್ ಬಟ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಟೂ ಆಮ್ ಟೇಕಿಂಗ್ ನೌ ರೈಸ್ ದರ್ ಎಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಷನ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಎರರ್ ಸೊ ಏದರ್ ಜೀರೋ ಡಿವಿಜನ್ ಎರರ್ ಆರ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಎರರ್ both the things uh, this a single except a block can handle so single except a block that can handle multiple exceptions so now the terminology is clear what is the syntax how you can use like any doubt about this clear right hi friends in the last videos we covered sir what is a try except a block next a control flow in try except next and after that try with multiple except blocks next a single except block that can handle multiple exceptions up to that we covered right now the next thing what i have to discuss default except block remember this one sir the name itself indicates default except block okay so what is the purpose of default except block okay very very simple sir default except block will be executed if there is no other except block matched remember something huh? so default except block will be executed if for no other no other except block matched in general so after handling exception if any new exception is coming if any remaining exceptions are there such a type of such a type of exceptions we can handle by using default except block remember this one sir so when the default except block will be executed if no except block matched then only default except block will be executed generally default except block contains just a printing exception information to the console such a type of general information it doesn't contain any specific handling code remember this one sir sir what is the syntax for default except block sir observe a bit very very carefully about this one if i can take except except zero division error i am taking sir except zero zero division error error like this i am taking so except zero division error except zero division error do you know this except block meant for zero division error sir now my requirement so except that's all i'm not mentioning anything i'm not i'm not going to mention anything sir except immediately colon this is called a default except block sir it can handle any type of exception no problem at all any type of exception it can handle so if no other except block matched then only default except block will be executed is it clear for all of right sir just uh, observe carefully about this one we can use a default except block to handle any type of exceptions next in default except block generally we can print exception information to the console just a print exception information to the console such a type of thing only we can take inside except block sir have you observed right what is the syntax except a colon statements like this right okay so everyone in the position to understand what is the meaning of what is the meaning of default except block let me explain with a small example then you may get much clarity observe carefully right 
here i'm taking try our same examples try okay x is equal to int a input a enter enter first number enter first number number like this i'm taking sir enter first number y is equal to int a input a enter enter second number enter second number like this i'm i'm taking sir okay two two values are there print print the result x by y okay the result x by y like it, i'm taking sir sir now i'm taking except except zero division error like this i'm taking except zero division error okay like sir here i'm taking print a zero division error division by zero zero division zero division error error divide by zero divide by zero zero like this i'm taking sir that's all divide by zero like sir now except except okay like i'm taking except sir now print print a default except block print of default default except block default default except block block like provide valid provide int values only int values like this i took sir yes perfect sir now here how many except blocks are there two except blocks one is zero division error second one is what default except block sir now when this default except block will execute if a zero division error occurs now this except block is responsible other than zero division error if any error is coming now this except block is going to execute sir observe this very carefully for zero division error this except block other than zero division error if any other exception came then automatically this except block is the responsible okay to execute default except block can handle any type of exception if zero division error this person is going to take care because it is available okay so if for not zero division error any other error yes this person is the responsible suppose if i if i am not taking this one if i am not taking this one then this person can handle zero division error also okay that thing even that facility is also there sir okay have a look once let me execute this code so that you may get much much clarity about this terminology right of course uh, let me cross check uh, maybe this code is available with me not required sir this code this code may be may be available here just uh, observe a bit very very carefully about this one that's all sir sir here take a bit special care try x is equal to input of enter first number x is equal to int of input of enter second number okay except zero division error yes print uh, zero division error can't divide with zero sir next except uh, default like uh, sir now from this example you people should require to familiar with this this is called what uh, default except block if zero division error is coming this person is going to take care any other thing is coming then automatically this default except block is going to execute sir sir now let me execute this code have a look once sir enter first number 10 enter second number 2 no exception 5.0 we are getting perfectly sir now i'm taking enter first number 10 enter second number 0 now observe zero division error zero division error can't divide with a zero have you observed first except block got executed okay well sir now now enter first number 10 enter second number 2 sir sir now value error will come for value error default except block is going to execute now observe this one default except block default except block please provide valid input only so for zero division error first one is going to execute for a remaining second one is going to execute sir suppose if i remove this one now this default except block can handle zero division error also have a look once let me remove first except block let me let me remove this first except block if i remove this one okay now for all exceptions this default except block will execute sir now observe 
10, enter first number 10, enter second number 0, then what the answer we are getting default accept block, please provide valid input only. Okay, like, so even for 0 division error also, same default accept block executed. Sir, enter first number 10, enter second number 2, now observe that for this also default accept block executed. So default accept block can handle any type of exception, no problem at all. Generally, we are going to print uh, suggest exception information to the console because it is no way related to particular exception. So this is the generic handling code for any type of exception. Are you in the position to understand? Any doubt about this one? Yes, friends, clear? Now I have one small doubt, sir. Sir, in our example, how many accept blocks are there? I respond. How many, how many accept blocks are there? Two accept blocks. What are the first one? Accept zero division error. Second one, default accept block. Where I am taking this default accept block? Ah, respond. Where I am taking this default accept block at last? Last. Okay? Like, uh, sir, can I take uh, this default accept block, sir, here? Yeah, the first one. Yes, sir, respond. Is it possible or not? Okay? I want to take default accept block at the beginning. Okay? And then I am taking zero division error at the second. Can you please tell, is it valid or not? Except zero division error, like, like I am taking, sir, print a zero division error like this I am taking. Zero division error like, like I am taking. Can you please confirm, is this one, is it valid or not? Respond, respond, very important point. So if uh, multiple accept blocks are there, Python virtual mission is always going to give the chance uh, from top to bottom. Correct, right? So if uh, this person can handle any type of exception, any type of exception, then the remaining accept blocks uh, never going to get in the chance. Uh, are you getting? So this person more specific to handle zero division error. Next person is the more specific to handle file not found error. So these accept blocks never going to get in the chance, uh, which may be the problem. That's why default accept block must be last accept block. Remember this one, sir. Default accept block must be last accept block. If you change order, if you are taking anywhere else, sir, immediately we are going to get syntax error. Very, very important, sir. If a default accept block is there, compulsory, it must be last accept block. Okay. Have a look once here, here in our example. Here in our example, sir, so two things are there. Two things are there. First, I am taking normal accept block. Second one, default accept block. Default accept block, I took at the last, no problem at all. So that's why it is valid, sir. That's why it is, it is the valid. No problem, it's executing, sir. Now what I am taking, sir, let me remove default accept block and the place, sir, yeah, the first one. <laughs> yeah, the, yeah, the first one. Observe that. So first, which accept block? Default accept block. And then accept a zero division error. If I can ask a Python virtual machine, can you please execute this one? Immediately Python virtual mission will give left and right. Okay? What the reason you are taking? So default accept block at the first, then the remaining accept blocks never going to get in the chance. That's why have a look once. Here, just uh, here the point is observe carefully, right? Sir, can you please observe? Syntax error. Syntax error. Default accept block must be last one. Default accept block must be last. So clear it is going to tell boss default except block you have to take yet last are you in the position to understand right but this rule is applicable only for default except block not for remaining except blocks so suppose here I have except zero division error I have except value error is there sir I have except value error is there. So value error, zero division error, you can take in any order, no problem. But compulsory default accept block should be my last accept block if it is there. Are you getting the point? So for normal accept block, order, I mean in any order you can take no problem at all. But Python virtual machine is always going to give from top to bottom. But a default accept block must be last accept block. Okay? So now observe if I can take this one, 
if I can take this, uh, sir, happy link. So if I can take this one, no, no, it, it, it definitely, it, that's all. Except the default, except the block, it will become valid, no problem at all. Now my program execution started. Now my program execution started. Happily, it's going to run, sir. Suppose I have, suppose I have, sir, another except block is there. Except a value error, like this I'm taking, sir. Except a value error, like, like I'm taking. Sir, now take very special care about this one. Except a value error, like. So now these two things, sir, you can take in any order, acceptable. Yes, friends, I'm not seeing any, any problem at all. Yes, value. Suppose if I can take uh, this one, yeah, the first one. This one, yeah, the first. Yes, no issue at all. Only rule, default accept block should be last. This one is also perfectly valid. We are not going to get any syntax error. Are you getting the point right? So, what is a default accept block? So, what is the syntax? Next, uh, this point, can you please observe? If a default accept block is uh, defined, then compulsory it must be last except block otherwise we will get syntax error clear right next uh, this restriction is applicable only for default except block but not for normal except blocks that is a normal except blocks can be in any order no problem okay you can take in any order but python virtual mission is always going to give the precedence from top to bottom is it clear for all operate what is the default except block Sir, up to this, we covered various types of except blocks. Except block that can handle one exception. Except block, okay, that can handle multiple exceptions. Next, default except block, like uh, we covered multiple types of except blocks, right? Now, let me discuss, let me summarize all these except blocks. You may get one or two new points also. Observe carefully, sir various possible combinations of except blocks how you can use what are various possible syntaxes are there for the for the except blocks right okay here just observe a bit very very carefully about this one sir here i'm taking except except i want to i want to write except block sir to handle zero division error zero division error except Zero division error. Perfectly, it is a value. Can you please tell this except block can handle how many exceptions? Only one exception. Are you getting? If only one exception is there, okay, sir, you can take this exception within parentheses or without parentheses also. Parentheses are optional if you are writing except block for one exception. I covered already this point in the last videos, right? Sir, now the same thing, even you can write like this also, except uh, zero division error, except uh, zero division error, yes, you can take within parenthesis also, it is also acceptable, right, okay, well, sir, now the third point, now the third, third point, right. Sir, observe this one. Sir, if only one exception is there, parenthesis, if you want, you can take, otherwise, not required. Sir, next, uh, I want to, sir, access uh, exception information. I want to print exception information. Then, yes, yes, keyword we require to use, okay? Now, except, uh, except, uh, zero division error, except, uh, zero division error, Yes, uh, message like I'm taking. Except uh, zero division error. Yes, uh, message like I'm taking, sir. Sir, can you please tell is it valid or not? Yes, perfectly. It shall be the valid. Now, except, uh, except uh, zero division error. Except uh, zero, zero division error. Error. Okay. Yes, uh, message. Remember this very carefully, sir. If you want to, sir, use a as a message, compulsory, it should be outside of parenthesis only. Remember this one. By mistake, if you are taking within parenthesis, immediately error we are going to get, sir. Take very special care. It should be outside of parenthesis only. Okay, like. So, to handle single exception, sir, how many syntaxes are there? So, these, next, with yes, these are the things. Next, sir, if I consider fifth one. 
religion carefully i want to handle multiple exceptions i want to handle multiple multiple exceptions right now except except sir here zero division error zero division error error comma value error like this i am taking sir yes it is the value but whenever we are handling multiple exceptions parenthesis are mandatory remember this one compulsory parenthesis must be there okay like sir now now so except except zero division error except zero division error error comma value error okay yes message like this i'm taking sir i want to access exception information also then automatically yes message like we have to take but take very special care this yes message should be outside of okay this parenthesis is it clear right next sir what the next sir we covered one more default except a block what is the syntax for default except a block except okay like this for effectively these are valid combinations of valid possibilities of except block syntax everyone in the position to understand right okay sir just uh, i will tell some more you have to decide whether these are valid or invalid observe very carefully sir what is the first one i'm taking first one except except zero division except zero division error error yes message like this i'm taking sir can you please confirm is it valid or invalid invalid what is the reason for that yes message yes message should be outside of parenthesis only okay so this is invalid right now i'm taking except except sir here just my requirement is except zero division error except zero division error comma comma value error except zero division error comma value error like this can you please confirm is it valid or invalid invalid what is the reason is if you want to write except block that can handle multiple exceptions parenthesis or mandatory that's why it is the invalid right now if i can write like this except except zero division error except zero division error error comma value error except zero division error comma value error okay yes message like this i'm taking sir can you please confirm is it valid or not this one is also invalid but the reason for that is yes message you are taking inside the parenthesis within the parenthesis compulsory yes message should be outside of parenthesis are you in the position to understand so what are various possible syntaxes valid syntaxes for okay except a block invalid syntaxes for except a block so clear right just have a look once about this here see this one what are various possible combinations of except blocks except zero division error except zero division error within within what we call parenthesis acceptable except zero division error yes message valid except zero division error yes message no problem so if you are going to handle one exception parenthesis are optional next yes message compulsory should be outside 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 of that only next except uh, zero division error value error valid so whenever we are talking about multiple exception parenthesis are mandatory okay here sir parenthesis outside of parenthesis yes message valid now except a colon default except a block any doubt about this clear right next uh, have a look once about this right sir now if for except a block is defined for only one exception then parenthesis are optional 
remember so if exception except a block is refined for only one exception then parentheses are optional if for multiple exceptions are there then parentheses are mandatory remember next if we use parentheses then yes yes must be outside of parentheses only i told already multiple times sir now observe invalid combinations invalid combinations why the first one is the invalid the reason for that yes message you are taking within the parenthesis next why second one is invalid because multiple exceptions are there compulsory parenthesis are mandatory next third one so why so yes message you are taking within the parenthesis that's why it is invalid any doubt about this one so what are various possible syntaxes for except block valid syntaxes invalid syntaxes it's a very clear not required to keep any explanation clear right sir up to this we covered very clearly about try and accept keywords now i'm ready to go for next keyword very important keyword sir finally block okay finally this keyword we are going to discuss sir just observe have a have a look once sir. very important sir sir i'm taking try block within the try block just uh, open db connection can you please open database connection i'm taking next uh, read the data read the data from database read data from database and then close uh, db connection can you please close close db db connection like this i'm taking sir next and after that accept block is there okay accept now the corresponding handling code i'm taking sir okay like sir do you know open db connection read the data from the database what is the third line can you please read this sir close database connection closing database connection this this code is called a resource deallocation code are you getting what is what is this code sir a resource deallocation we are releasing releasing the resources resource deallocation code sometimes uh, we can use the word clean up code remember this one this code is also known as clean up clean up code right okay resource deallocation code or clean up clean up code now the point is can you please tell placing clean up code inside a try block is it recommended or not recommended yes friends i'm taking a resource clean up code okay clean up code i'm taking inside try block is it recommended or not recommended okay the answer not recommended what is the problem why this code we can't place here what the what the problem is suppose observe i open db connection successfully while reading the data from the database there is a problem came sir there is a there is a problem some error db error came if the db error came immediately the control will goes to accept a block without executing this one so without executing this the control will goes to accept a block means uh, do you know no one is going to close the db connection one database connection is going to be wasted correct or not one db connection is going to be wasted so that's why never recommended to take clean up code inside the try block because there is no guarantee for the execution of every statement present inside try block sir before this line only exception came even you handled that exception but this line is not going to execute that's why resource deallocation code clean up code never recommended to place inside the try block is it clear right now observe the second scenario here i'm taking try block try block open db connection open open db connection db connection next uh, read read the data from the database read the data from the database read data from the database 
next uh, here i'm taking except a block close uh, db connection except a block close uh, db connection oh now observe this so clean up code where we are taking inside except a block resource deallocation code where we are taking inside except a block can you please tell is it recommended or not recommended yes friend it's a two worst not recommended because the reason is if there is no exception in the try block no exception then except a block won't be executed if except a block not executed who is going to close the db connection no one is going to close it. that's why so never recommended to maintain clean up code inside except a block because if there is no exception except a block won't be executed is it clear for all of you sir observe very carefully never recommended to maintain clean up code inside try block because there is no guarantee for execution of every statement inside a try block never recommended to maintain clean up code inside except a block because if there is no exception then except a block is not going to execute okay so where i have to place clean up code okay to maintain clean up code compulsory some place must be required which should be executed always irrespective of whether exception raised not raised handle or not handle sir in any case that the place should be executed such a type of best place is a nothing but finally block remember this one sir such a type of best place is a nothing but finally block finally block meant for resource deallocation code maintenance sake so inside finally block which code we are going to take resource deallocation code clean up code we have to take any doubt up to this are you in the position to understand right so what is the purpose of finally block to maintain clean up code okay well so now observe the syntax right <coughs> here try try okay next up within the try which code we have to take inside try block risky code we have to take inside try risky code next uh, accept uh, accept uh, inside accept block which code we have to take handling code regarding inside accept block handling code next uh, inside finally block which code we have to take clean up code okay clean up code now so three blocks uh, three purposes so purposes are completely different try so to maintain risky code except a block to maintain handling code finally block to maintain clean up code next uh, what is the speciality of finally block very very important sir finally block speciality is it will be executed always irrespective of whether exception raised not raised handle not handle sir in any case finally block is always going to execute finally is the believable place to maintain clean up code are you in the position to understand just have a look once here finally block it is not recommended to place clean up code clean up code resource deallocation code like a closing database connection inside a try block because there is no guarantee for execution of every statement inside a try block next uh, it is not recommended to place clean up code inside except a block because if there is no exception then except a block won't be executed okay well sir now hence uh, we required some place to maintain clean up code which should be executed always irrespective of whether exception raised or not raised and whether exception handled or not handled such a type of best place is nothing but what finally block okay well sir hence the main purpose of finally block is to maintain clean up code very very important sir what is the purpose of finally block to maintain clean up code now observe the possible syntax here have a look once sir so try risky code inside except block handling code inside finally block clean up code the speciality of finally block is it will be executed always irrespective of whether exception raised or not raised and whether exception handled or not handled in any case finally block will be executed clear right what is the purpose of finally block next what is the speciality of finally block any doubt
सर अप टू दिस इट इज वेरी क्लियर वट इज द पर्पज ऑफ फाइनली ब्लॉक वट इज द स्पेशलिटी ऑफ फाइनली ब्लॉक द पर्पज ऑफ फाइनली ब्लॉक इज टू मेंटेन क्लीन अप कोड द स्पेशलिटी ऑफ फाइनली ब्लॉक इज इट विल बी एग्जीक्यूटेड ऑलवेज irrespective of whether exception raised not raised handle or not handle right in any case sir finally block is always going to execute sir where is the proof can you please explain with examples like you may ask observe carefully right sir i want to take multiple cases case 1 case 1 if if there is no exception if no exception okay in this case finally block will be executed or not okay let me check sir here i am taking try block try block print of try try block print of try next uh, accept a block print of accept print of accept accept i am taking next uh, finally finally print a uh, finally like this i am taking sir print of finally can you please tell what is the output we will get if i run this code yes response what is the output we are going to get in this case yes first try will be printed next uh, there is no exception if there is no exception except a block is not going to execute so finally will be executed sir sir try followed by finally finally will be executed it's a very clear if there is no exception then finally block will be executed correct right sir have a look once let me execute this code so the same thing only here i have try print uh, try block next accept a zero division error print of accept finally sir like this uh, finally block let me execute this code have a look once what is the answer by default we are going to get is try followed by finally perfectly if there is no exception finally block will be executed is it clear for all of you right any doubt about this one okay well let me take a second case sir exception raised exception raised but handled and the handled no problem at all sir case 2 i am taking observe case 2 okay my second case is sir if exception raised if exception raised raised and and handled if exception raised and handled handled sir if exception raised and handled what is the output very simple observe carefully try sir print of try block i am taking print of try next print of 10 by 0 sir exception got raised exception got raised zero division error is going to come now sir accept accept zero division error accept zero division error i'm getting sir here print of accept a block print of accept accept a block next finally finally print of finally i'm taking print up finally can you please confirm what is the output we are going to get sir very simple if an exception raised but handled the corresponding accept block is available what is the flow what is the output sir very simple here try here try will be printed here an exception got raised immediately the control will go to accept block the control will go to accept block inside accept block yes accept except except like it's going to execute and after that finally block will be continued normally that's all are you getting so if exception raised and handled compulsory finally block is going to execute is it clear right sir let me execute this combination also here try print of try block sir just a print of 10 by 0 i'm taking print of 10 by 0 10 by 0 i'm taking sir sir observe a bit very carefully so first uh, try will execute here an exception got raised uh, now this is the corresponding accept block now it is going to be executed and uh, then finally block will be continued normally so try accept uh, finally is the output we are going to get sir now observe carefully what the answer we are getting 
try except a finally this is the answer we are going to get sir okay well sir now the next thing what i have to discuss very very important point sir what the remaining case can you please explain yes boss no exception next if exception raised and handled what the remaining case if an exception raised but not handled an exception raised but not handled okay sir now case 3 observe carefully if if exception if exception raised if exception raised but not handled but not handled if exception raised but not handled what will happen finally block is going to execute or not sir observe try try print of try block i am taking print of try next uh, print of 10 by 0 i am taking sir print of 10 by 0 oh 0 division error is coming sir here i am taking except a block except a block sir here value error except a block value error i am taking now print of except print of except next uh, finally print a finally block print a finally block like can you please confirm what is the output you are going to get sir very very important so exception raised right exception got raised but not handled because zero division error came but available except block is for value error zero division error but available except block is what value error okay very very important point sir so now the important conclusion here is suppose you are getting heart problem but a available doctor is high specialist is available there is no he can't handle the situation the same sir now try try will be printed zero division error riser but there is no except block abnormal termination but uh, before abnormal termination finally block will be executed remember this one that's why so try followed by finally and then so abnormal termination zero division error will be raised abnormal termination zero division error by default will be raised so everyone in the position to understand right so what is the purpose of so here finally block what is the speciality of finally block even in the case of abnormal termination also finally block will be executed first finally block and then abnormal termination is going to be happen okay have a look once here so try print of try so print of 10 by 0 print of here value error are you getting print of value error like this i'm taking sir can you please confirm what is the answer we are going to get okay here see this one first try will be printed normally here here so zero division error is coming but there is no corresponding except block if there is no corresponding except block it is always abnormal termination but uh, before abnormal termination finally block will be executed only finally block will be executed now observe carefully what answer we are going to get sir yes try try finally under then zero division error abnormal termination so that's all these three cases are very important to describe the speciality of finally block have you observed if there is no exception finally executed next if an exception raised handled finally executed if an exception raised but not handled abnormal termination but before abnormal termination finally got executed so clear proof finally is always going to execute irrespective of whether exception raised not raised handled or not handled that is the speciality of finally block clear right so everyone got the clarity what is finally block so what is the speciality of finally block any explanation is required clear sir up to this we covered very clearly about what is the purpose of finally block what is the speciality of finally block clear right so what is the speciality of finally block can you spell out finally block will be executed always irrespective of whether exception raised not raised handled or not handled up to that we covered sir now just observe 
I have one scenario is there. Okay, have a look once as well. Try. Okay, there's a big code is there. Okay, inside try block, there's a big code is there, sir. And then, here, except block I have. Okay, now some handling code is there. Handling, handling code is there. And then, finally block, okay, here, some, some cleanup code is there, sir. Now, take very special care. What is the biggest specialty of finally block? Finally block will be executed always, irrespective of whether exception raised, not raised, handle or not handle. In any case, finally block is always going to execute right. Okay, well. Sir, now my important conclusion here, legend. Sir, program execution started. Executing, executing, executing. Observe this. Executing, 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 right. Now, almost the uh, end of try block, almost the end of try block, suddenly power gone. So, what we call electricity, power gone. There is no backup facility for my system immediately. So, what will happen in this case? So, my system is going to shut down. In this case, finally block will be executed or not. Are they respond? In this scenario, finally block will be executed or not? No, no. Either Python virtual machine is going to convey to the power. Hey power, please wait some time. Because I have some mandatory work. Finally block I should execute. Please wait power, please wait some time. Is it going to tell? No, definitely. So here only the program will be terminated. The system is going to shut down. Then there is no chance of executing finally block. So means that there is only one situation where the finally block won't be executed. Are you getting right? So, the entire person may ask the question. Are you are telling finally block will be executed always? Is there any situation where the finally block won't be executed? Maybe a chance to ask what answer you have to tell. Yes, sir. There is one situation is there. Whenever we are executing the program, suddenly power gone. Backup facility is not there. Then finally block is not going to execute. Like, uh, sir, if you are going to tell, entire person is going to see from top to bottom. Are you getting right? So you should not tell like this. You have to convert the same scenario into technically. Then entire person is going to accept. What that? What that? Uh, technical? Uh, technical conversion, right? Very simple. Whenever power gone. What will happen? System is going to shut down. Before system shut down, my Python virtual mission exit. So exit the Python virtual mission, exit shut down Python virtual mission, and then system is going to shut down. So if you exit the Python virtual mission explicitly, programmatically, in that scenario, finally block won't be executed. Remember this. Sir, then immediately my next question. Sir, how? How you can exit uh, my system explicitly? How you can shut down Python virtual mission explicitly? Yes, there is a way, sir. OS module, okay? OS module contain one method is there, underscore exit of zero. Are you getting OS contain? One function is there, underscore exit of zero. If you can call this one, then the Python virtual mission will be shut down in this particular scenario, finally block won't be executed. Remember this one, sir. So there is only one situation where the finally block won't be executed. That is, whenever we are using OS dot underscore exit of zero. That is, once we use that OS dot underscore exit of zero, my system, my Python virtual machine will be down. No chance of executing finally block. Are you getting clearly right? Sir, let me execute. Let me let me go for a small executable program so you may get clarity. Here, see this one. Here I am taking try block. Try block. Print try, sir. Print try. Try. Like this I am taking. Sir, here, accept, accept value error I am taking. Accept value error. Print a accept. Print a accept. Accept like this I am taking. Next, try accept. Sir, finally, finally, like this I am taking. Print a finally. <coughs> print a finally, finally like. 
Sir, if I execute this one, what is the answer? Try, finally. We know, we discussed already, right? So, inside the try block, I am taking OS dot underscore exit of 0. OS dot underscore exit of 0. As we are using OS, better to take import OS module. Import OS, OS dot underscore exit of 0. Sir, now program started. It will print a try. So, output try, try. And then, whenever this line is coming, the Python virtual machine itself will be down. If the Python virtual machine itself is going to shut down, no further continuation, only try itself is the answer. Are you getting the point right? So, take very special care about, about this particular point. Okay? Let me execute this code. Observe a bit carefully, sir. Later, I will talk about theory. Anyway, don't worry. Here, see this one. Sir, here, try accept try accept and then finally what the answer we are going to get sir very simple try followed by finally because i didn't use exit exit function right now let me execute this one what the answer try followed by finally okay like uh, sir now i'm taking here OS dot underscore exit of zero i'm taking sir sir what about this zero i will i will discuss don't worry sir OS dot underscore exit of zero i'm taking and at the top, import OS. Import OS, right. Sir, now take very special care. Okay? Try will be executed. Try will be printed. Whenever this line is coming, immediately, Python virtual machine will shut down. Python virtual machine will shut down. Shut down. Then there is no chance of continuing remaining. That's why the output is always what? Only try. Only try. Now, have a look once about this one, sir. What is the answer we are going to get? Only try block we are going to get. Okay? So, there is only one situation where finally block won't be executed. If the Python virtual mission exit explicitly, how you can exit explicitly whenever we are using OS underscore, OS dot underscore exit of zero. Okay, like. Sir, now, up to this, is the clear. Now, what about this OS dot underscore exit of zero? Very simple, sir. This zero means, uh, this zero means uh, status code. Very important. This zero means uh, status code. Status code. So, zero means uh, normal termination. And uh, non-zero means, uh, non-zero means uh, abnormal termination. Remember, zero means normal termination. Non-zero means abnormal termination. Internally, Python virtual machine is going to use this status code. Okay? So, whether it is the zero or non-zero, programmatically, the effect is always the same. This is just for internal purpose for the Python virtual machine. So, usually, we are taking zero, sir. Instead of zero, you can take any value, no problem at all. Now, observe this one. If I can take 1000, I am taking, sir. OS run. Sir, 1000 I am taking. Now, observe that either result is the same or not. Yes, the result is always the same. Sir, instead of 1000, I am taking minus 1. Minus 1, minus 1. The result is always the same. There is no problem at all. So, whether it is 0 or non 0, the effect is always the same. But internally, Python virtual machine is going to use uh, this uh, status code just for internal logging purpose, internal reporting purpose it may be used. Uh, being a programmer, we are not required to worry about uh, this value. Any doubt about this one? Clear for all of you, right? So what is the purpose of finally block? What is the specialty of finally block? When the finally block won't be executed, what is exceptional case? Okay, just uh, have a look once about whatever we covered up to this right. Okay, OS dot underscore exit of zero versus finally block. Okay, now observe. There is only one situation where finally block won't be executed. That is, whenever we are using OS dot underscore exit of zero. Okay, like, sir, whenever we are using OS dot underscore exit of zero, then Python virtual machine itself, itself will be shut down. In this particular case, finally block won't be executed. Clear, right? Now, have a look once, sir. Sir, what about zero? Here, 
zero represents a status code zero means normal termination non zero means abnormal termination this status code internally used by python virtual machine whether it is zero or non zero there is no difference in the result of the program the program python virtual machine is always going to shut down there is no change in the result whether it is a zero or non zero is it clear for all of you right yes friends any doubt about this one okay so if you feel comfortable so to describe this to remember this one let me create a small analogy so that you may get much clarity right sir observe a bit very carefully a funny example but it's going to provide much much clarity sir what it is anyone can you please tell <laughs> yes friends what 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 it is yes what what this one what about you are feeling are you feeling like uh, is it boat is it sail uh, it's a, it's a water assume that water it is a river sir so in the river a boat is there observe very very carefully about this one boat is there sir now in this boat sailor is there okay sailor sailor is there who is the responsible to drive this boat now what happened is one passenger came okay he asked the sailor are i want to i want to can you can you please provide help to cross this river like uh, he asked then immediately sailor is telling yes sir if the cost is some 10 dollars or 20 dollars like uh, he is going to convey then he is going to accept and uh, he will ask one thing are i don't know about uh, i'm full fear of water water if anything goes wrong are you going to help me or not like uh, so he's he's asking the sailor then immediately the answer from the sailor is are i will always provide support don't worry i will always provide support don't worry okay like uh, he is going to is going to convey now this passenger entered into the boat okay well now boat started sir now the boat boat started observe carefully now the boat started sir whenever the boat is in middle of river what happened is yes, sir here there is something happened to this boat slowly water is entering into the boat now slowly boat starts sinking into the water the depth of this river is very very high even not possible to swim also swimming also not possible right then the total boat slowly starts sinking into the water even sailor also can't do anything okay then immediately this passenger asked oh sailor you told you are going to provide support for me but now you are not doing anything you are not doing anything you did a big fraud like uh, passenger is going to ask the sailor then immediately sailor is telling sir if i am safe if i am safe definitely i will provide support for you myself is going to be down if myself is going to be down where is the chance of providing support sorry sir i can't do anything in this case because myself is going to be sink into the water here swimming also not possible like this person told are you getting right so if this person is the safe then there may be a chance of providing service for this passenger if this uh, sailor itself is not in safe condition then where is the provide where is the chance of providing support for the passenger are getting the thing right sir the same thing have is happening in our scenario also sir observe this uh, sailor is uh, nothing but pvm python virtual mission this uh, passenger itself is uh, nothing but finally black okay passenger itself is nothing but finally black so now python virtual mission told to the finally block hey finally block i will always execute you no problem at all you are very special person for me okay i will always execute i will always execute this finally block don't worry like python virtual mission told told but uh, whenever we are using o s dot underscore exit of zero okay immediately immediately finally block is not going to execute then immediately finally block ask the pvm hey pvm 
why you are not providing support why you are not providing support to me like uh, then the pvm is going to tell are myself is going to be shut down because whenever we are using os dot exit of zero so python virtual mission itself is going to be shut down if the python virtual mission itself is going to be shut down where is the chance of executing finally black are you in the position to understand right so if the pvm is there definitely it will execute finally block if the pvm is not there where is the chance of executing finally block any doubt about this one clear right sir there is one very important entry question i have to discuss sir finally block versus a destructor sir why sir this what is the relation between these two things observe carefully observe carefully finally block meant for maintaining clean up code destructor in the whoops concept whatever we covered meant for maintaining clean up code sir seems to be both are same where is the difference regarding sir i have one small doubt sir best example auto driver is there or bus driver is there bus driver is the responsible to drive bus correct device driver is there whenever we are installing mouse or otherwise wherever we are installing a device so the corresponding driver we have to install whenever if we connect any hardware device compulsory the corresponding driver we have to install sir both are same so device driver responsible okay to drive device which is associated with our computer okay like right? but the bus driver is the responsible to drive the bus sir both are drivers only ha huh? both are drivers only that's why both are same no one is a human being the second one is the software component are you getting both are completely different right sir in our in my native language telugu there is one word is there kodi and a pakodi <laughs> kodi kodi means a hen hen okay pakodi means a one type of item which is going to eat seems to be both are same but both are different one is going to talk about bird bird the second one is going to talk about food item both are completely different okay seems to be words are same but here both are different okay now my point is observe where is the difference right very simple sir so whatever resources we open yeah the part of tri block okay whatever resources we open yeah the part of tri block should be closed okay inside finally block are you getting should be closed inside finally block all the resources which are open at the part of tri block will be closed inside finally block finally block meant for clean up activities related to tri block remember this one next uh, sir here i have an object is there so i have an object is there this object associated with one database connection this object associated with one network connection are you getting so before destroying this object before destroying this object all these resources should be deallocated should be deallocated so object related clean up activities we have to maintain inside a destructor next uh, try block related clean up activities we have to maintain inside finally block finally block meant for clean up activities which are related to try block resources next uh, destructor meant for clean up activities are related to related to okay object so before destroying this object destructor will execute which is going to close all the resources and then garbage collector will destroy this object are you in the position to understand even both are meant for clean up code only destructor object related clean up activities okay next up finally block try block related clean up activities seems to be both are same but there is a complete difference is there is it clear for all of right just observe observe a bit very carefully sir here finally block meant for 
clean up activities related to tri block that is whatever resources we open at the part of tri block will be closed inside finally block okay destructor meant for clean up activities related to object whatever resources associated with the object should be deallocated inside destructor which will be executed before destroying an object clear for all of you one person object related clean up activities destructor one person Tri block related cleanup activities, which is the finally block. Very important question. Most confusing question for most of the people. That's also clear clarity is there. Any doubt? Hi friends. In the last two videos, we covered no, very clearly about finally block. What is the difference between finally and the destructor, right? So now the, let me go for the next important concept. To get the much clarity on the concept, observe control flow in try except the finally. Sir, now within the try block, if an exception rises, what will happen? Inside except a block, if an exception rises, what will happen? Inside finally block, if an exception rises, what will happen? So compulsory, you people should aware flow flow of execution so that you will get much clarity on the concept. Okay? Have a look once about this one, sir. Sir, here I am taking try. Observe very carefully these lines. Try. I am taking statement 1, statement 2, next uh, statement 3. Try. Within the try block, how many statements are there? 3 statements. 1, 2, 3. Next, uh, accept a block I am taking. Statement uh, 4 I am taking inside accept a block. Next, uh, finally. Finally block I am taking, statement uh, 5 I am taking, sir. So, finally block, statement 5. Next, uh, outside of finally block, okay, try accept of finally completed. Now, here, statement uh, 6 I am taking, sir. But observe very carefully, where I am taking statement 6, uh, outside of finally block. Try accept finally already completed. Sir, this uh, statement 6 is the independent uh, statement, okay, like. So, from this, so if a statement 1, there is a problem, or 2, there is a problem, 3, there is a problem, 6, there is a problem. If uh, any statement, if an exception rises, uh, you should be in the position to tell the flow, sir. So, from this, almost around uh, 5 cases I designed. So, if you can answer these 5 cases, then you will get much clarity on the concept. Okay, well, sir, observe, first case, sir. What is the first case? If uh, there is no exception, sir, if there is no exception, what is the flow? Can you please tell, sir, if there is no exception, can you can you spell out uh, what is the flow, what we are going to get in this case? Yes, 1, 2, 3 will be executed. Okay, because there is no exception, sir, try will be executed. Except uh, won't be executed. When the except block is going to execute, if an exception, but there is no exception, that's why except block won't be executed. Now, finally will execute, and then remaining lines of the code will be continued normally. That's why 1, 2, 3, next uh, 5, 6, uh, normal termination. Remember this one, sir. So, what is the flow? 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, uh, it is the normal termination. Remember this one, sir. Okay? Like, so only one block is not executed. What is that block, sir? Statement, uh, sir, 4 is not executed because there is no exception except the block won't be executed. Any doubt about this one? Clear for all of you, right? Okay, well. Sir, now, case 2, sir. Now, observe. If an exception rises, yet a statement 2. If an exception rises, yet a statement 2. 2. And corresponding except block matched. Matched. Means, do you know if 0 division error came? Yes, here except block meant for 0 division error only. Then what will happen? Observe the case 2, sir. If an exception rises, yet a statement 2. And the corresponding except block matched. Matched, sir. What is the flow? So, observe carefully. If an exception rises at statement 2, and the corresponding except block matched, what is the flow, sir? Very simple. 1 will be executed. 
Next, uh, while executing to the problem came, and uh, the corresponding accept block matched, sir. Immediately, the control will comes to accept block. So, 1, 4, 1, 4, sir, exception, riser, handle, remaining will continue normally. 5, and then 6. Are you getting? 1, 4, 5, and then 6, uh, normal termination. Remember this one. So, 1, and uh, while executing to the problem came, immediately the corresponding accept block matched uh, sir 4 and then finally block 5 6 uh, normal termination because exception riser uh, handle handle that's why it will become normal termination so 1 4 1 4 5 6 uh, normal termination okay that's all this is the flow sir now the next one take very very special case sir if an exception riser uh, yet the statement uh, to an exception riser yet statement too but uh, corresponding except a block not matched sir maybe zero division error here but this except a block meant for value error sir zero division error riser but except a block meant for value error means the corresponding except a block not matched so what will happen observe very carefully if an exception riser yet a statement too but corresponding except block not matched but corresponding except block not matched what will happen sir very simple one will be executed normally next uh, while executing two the problem came the problem came immediately python virtual machine will check for the corresponding except block sir except block not matched if the except block not matched it is always abnormal termination remember no except block but exception riser abnormal termination but the before abnormal termination compulsory finally block will be executed that's why one five abnormal termination remember this one 1, 5 abnormal termination. So, if an exception rise at statement 2, but corresponding except block not matched, 1, 1, and then only finally block, only finally block, 5, and then abnormal termination. Even in the case of abnormal termination, finally block will be executed. Only finally block, not remaining statements. 1, 5 abnormal termination. Okay? 1, 5 abnormal termination. Okay, well. Sir, now the next one. If an exception rises, if an exception rises, yet a statement four, sir. Now observe very carefully. If an exception rises, yet a statement four. Statement four. Can you please tell what will happen? Is it normal termination or abnormal termination? That is our next case. Observe. If an exception rises, yet a statement four. What will happen? Yes, friends. Can you please confirm? Is it normal termination or abnormal termination? In the last uh, control flow in try except I covered already this point. Remember that. If any statement rises an exception, if any statement rises an exception, which is a not part of try block, it is a not part of try block, then it is always abnormal termination. Okay? If any statement rises an exception, which is a not part of try block, then it is always abnormal termination but before abnormal termination finally block will be executed sir here it is not part of try block if it is not a part of try block no except block no except block means abnormal termination so if an exception riser yet a statement for it is always abnormal termination but before abnormal termination compulsory finally block will be executed only finally block remember sir now observe if an exception rise at a statement of four then then it is always then it is always abnormal termination abnormal termination okay before but uh, but uh, before abnormal termination before abnormal termination only 
only finally block will be executed only finally block will be executed only finally block will be executed remember this one sir but before abnormal termination only finally block will be executed so finally block means statement 5 will be executed right so take very special care right on this analyze each and every case so that you will get much clarity friends remember this sir now next case suppose if an exception rises get statement 5 can you please tell is it normal termination or abnormal termination hey respond just now i told if an exception rises at statement 5 is it normal termination or abnormal termination yes it is always abnormal termination because because it is not part of try no except block no except block means it is always abnormal termination sir if an if an exception rises at yet a statement 6 sir it is not part of try block no except block it is always abnormal termination that's why if an exception rises at yet a statement 5 or statement 6 it is always abnormal termination remember this one so if an exception rises at yet a statement 5 or statement 6 then then it is always then it is always abnormal termination is it clear for all of you right so in the material i included all these cases okay compulsory you have to write on the paper you have to analyze then you people can feel more comfortable right are you in the position to understand right so if there is no exception what is the flow if an exception rises at statement or two and the corresponding except block match what will happen if an exception rises at statement two but corresponding except block not matched what will happen if an exception rises at statement four what will happen if an exception rises at statement five or statement six what is the scenario is it clear for all of right so this is what the control flow in try except finally any doubt hi friends in the last video we covered very clearly about what is the control flow in try except finally now the next topic what i have to discuss nested try except finally nested try except finally blocks what it means the name itself indicates right nested nested so inside try block we can take try except finally inside except block you can take try except finally inside finally also you can take try except finally so that's why so nesting of try except finally is always possible friends okay that part how the behavior with the example i want to discuss just uh, have a look once uh, sir sir best example here i'm taking so try i'm taking try try so within the try block you can take you can take try except except finally like this if you want you can take so can you please tell where i'm taking this try except finally inside the try block remember similarly sir this is the except block inside except block if you want you can take again try except finally again if you want you can take try except finally okay where we are taking try except finally inside except block next uh, finally like this i'm taking inside here try try except try except and then finally like like i'm taking sir can you please tell where i'm taking try except finally inside try x inside finally block so means that inside a try block you can take try except finally inside except block you can take try except finally inside finally also try except finally is possible so means that nesting of try except finally blocks is always possible friends clear for all of you right okay well sir what is the advantage of taking this one sir can you please explain with one or two small scenarios so that we will get much clarity you may ask very very simple sir now listen very carefully right suppose assume i have try block is there i have i have try block is there sir there are multiple multiple lines of the code is there sir this is except a block except except a block right now take very special care 
ஏன்னா யூத்த ஓட் திஸ் இஸ் த ரிஸ்கி கோட் சார் வித் இன் த ட்ரைப் லாக் விச் கோட் வி ஹாவ் டு டேக் ரிஸ்கி கோட் சார் இன் திஸ் தீஸ் அ ஃபியூ லைன்ஸ் ஆஃப் த கோட் டூ மச் ரிஸ்கி எஜூம் தான் தீஸ் அ ஃபைவ் லைன்ஸ் ஆஃப் த கோட் டூ மச் ரிஸ்கி கோட் so what is the reason for that maybe communicate with the third party system that third party system is always maybe down okay so this this uh, few lines of the code is uh, too much risky code too much too much risky code okay like now the point is observe very very carefully sir if i'm not taking any special care for this too much risky code what will happen if an exception rises immediately the control will comes to immediately the control will comes to sir this accept block because this accept block is the responsible to handle what will happen if this accept if the control come to sir this accept block now these lines of the code is not going to execute without executing these many lines of the code how you can expect a proper behavior that's why so never recommend to depends on this outer accept block you know it is a too much risky code what i will take here is here only here only i will take uh, sir this uh, try accept uh, separate accept uh, handling i am um, i am um, taking sir now the advantage is eh? if there is an exception raised right? immediately this accept block is the responsible to handle now remaining lines of the code happily will execute are you getting remaining lines of the code happily will execute no problem at all so wherever exception raised there only we are handling so remaining code happily will be continued so the biggest advantage here is yes says so these are lines of the code will be executed we are not skipping so proper functionality we can expect are you in the position to understand so general risky code we have to take inside outer tri block okay sir too much risky code more specific risky code too too much risky code this code we have to take inside inner tri block okay if really an exception raised inner except block is going to handle now remaining lines of the code will be executed sir by mistake inner except block unable to handle inner except block unable to handle no problem at all this outer except block is the responsible to handle are you in the position to understand right so this is uh, what uh, you should aware sir so general risky code we have to take inside the tri block too much risky code we have to take inside inner tri block okay outer tri block contain general risky code sir this inner tri block contain too much risky code is it clear for all of right if for inner except block unable to handle exception no problem outer except block is the responsible to handle any doubt about this have a look once sir next step try accept of finally blocks here see this one we can take try accept finally blocks inside the try or accept or finally hence an listing of try accept finally blocks is possible next the general risky code we have to take inside outer try block and too much risky code we have to take inside inner try block next inside inner try block if an exception raised then inner except block is the responsible to handle sir observe inside inner try block if an exception raised inner except block is the responsible to handle if it is unable to handle then outer except block is the responsible to handle that's what what you people should you wait about this one sir are you in the position to understand sir now let me go for one or two theoretical example so that you people will get much clarity best example for you people right sir you know in hyderabad in the old days in the old days there are some religion uh, uh, fightings like uh, hindu muslim these kind of fightings maybe maybe there sir in the old days but now the people are educated we are not having any such type of problem suppose assume that assume sir this is the hyderabad city hyderabad city okay now take very special care hyderabad city there are such type of religion fighting problems came okay immediately sir army or otherwise uh, force uh, police force will be there okay to provide uh, 144 section so like uh, to provide safety okay police police force is going to come then assume there is uh, some place is there okay in hyderabad sir there are some areas some areas too much risky areas are there something like uh, old city 
okay old city okay this is one risky area next time after that somewhere moti nagar okay this is another another risky area next time after that borabanda something like uh, another risky area so now observe this total hyderabad itself is the risky but in the these three areas are too much risky what the police when they are going to do yes more forces uh, they are going to take uh, here sir okay more more forces uh, they are going to keep uh, at uh, these places if really there is a problem immediately the police force who you are there so immediately suppress the problem there only without expanding to rest of the city are you in the position to understand right too much risky area special special forces must be required general risky area normal protection forces are enough okay are you seeing the scenario so this a type of too much risky areas inner tri block next general risky area outer tri block okay well suppose you are traveling you are you are traveling on the road road assume that by by using your car okay you are traveling on the road sir traveling on the road by car itself is the risky because once uh, your car on the road uh, maybe a chance of accident itself is the risky so compulsory except block must be required try except right but uh, there are some areas are there okay there are some areas are there okay you are going to see the boards uh, too much risky yeah accident prone area take special care like uh, there are some boards they are going to keep uh, sir take a bit special care okay too much accident prone area take a bit special care are a road itself is the risky risky area but why these uh, special boards they are going to take because it is too much risky curve accident prone area that's why take a bit special care like uh, there is some special special warning boards by default will be there are you getting right so why these uh, special warning boards uh, because boss it is the too much risky area take a bit special care are you getting too much risky area inner tri block must be required general risky area outer tri block is enough are you getting terminology right similarly okay one more example sir you may ask sir okay try inside a try okay we are in the position to understand what is the need of taking try block inside except block i told right in our example have you observed right inside except block also if you want you can take try except finally inside except also if you want you can take try except finally sir what is the need can you please explain with a small example so that we may get much clarity you people may ask very simple sir observe carefully sir now try block i am taking try block use uh, oracle use oracle database just observe very carefully use oracle database now accept 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 sir use uh, my sql database my sql my sql database now observe are while using oracle database if there is a problem then immediately use my sql database okay like uh, you have backup facility is there good now is there any guarantee compulsory your my sql database will work maybe the problem with my sql database also then what is my scenario are you getting then what is about my scenario sir bus ticket is not available try for train ticket if a train ticket also not available what is my situation do you, you should have alternative now also now so here inside it inside acceptable try accept try accept use a post use a post gress sql like another database i'm using sir sir now observe use oracle database if there is a problem with oracle database accept a block again in the try accept is there use my sql database if you are facing any problem with my sql database can you please use a post gress sql another database so where i'm taking this a try accept inside accept block are you in the position to understand right so is it required to take a try accept inside accept block or not yes there are some cases are there but very rare we have this type of requirement but still so you can take try accept finally inside accept block you can take try accept finally inside finally block also possible friends nesting of try accept finally is always possible any doubt about this one 
clear for all of you, right? If you feel comfortable, then I will go for one executable program so that you will get much clarity on the concept. Any doubt? Sir, let me explain a small executable program. Here, see this one. Here, I'm taking try block. Observe very carefully, sir. Try block. Now, here, print, print outer try block. Outer try try block I am taking sir outer try block. Next uh, here I am taking try try print uh, print uh, inner try block inner inner try block I am taking inner try block. Next uh, except uh, here except uh, I am taking print uh, print uh, inner inner except block nr except a block like this i'm taking next and after that finally finally print here just observe sir here try print inner try block except zero division error i'm taking except zero division error if zero division error is coming print inner except a block finally print inner inner finally black print inner finally black okay that's all sir this uh, here do you know this is the inner finally inner try except finally yes sir this one got completed right now here i'm taking except except sir outer outer try completed except here print print outer except a block outer except a block block like next uh, finally 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 okay print uh, print uh, uh, can you please spell out sir outer outer finally block print outer finally block that's all okay now take very special care about about this uh, terminology right now my important conclusion now my important conclusion is sir if i execute this code what is the flow just have a look once the same code whatever i wrote on the board here the same just for clarity purpose i'm showing sir outer try block print outer try block try inner try block except zero division error inner except block next up finally inner finally block sir this is the outer except block outer finally block same code right now if i execute this code can you please confirm what is the output by default we are going to get please respond no exception no exception if there is no exception simple thumb rule except the blocks won't be executed if there is no exception except the blocks won't be executed that's why do you know this one will be executed outer try block under then inner try block next except the block won't execute inner finally block inner finally block Next, uh, this except also won't execute. Now, outer finally block. Now, the answer is outer try block, inner try block. Next, uh, inner finally block, outer finally block. These uh, four statements will be printed because there is no exception. Any doubt about this one? Have a look once, sir. Let me execute the same code. If I'm trying to execute this code, now have a look once. What answer by default we will get here is yes outer try block outer try block inner try block inner finally block outer finally block like sir here observe carefully sir first this one will execute outer try next inner try will execute there is no exception that's why this except block is not going to execute next this finally will execute there is no exception that's why this except block also won't be executed next outer finally that's all these are four lines will be printed to the console now is it clear for all of you right okay well well sir now i want to make a small change for this code what is the change here yes observe that inside inner try inside inner try i'm taking print 10 by 0 oh print 10 by 0 0 division error will come now what is the flow right so inner try block rising an exception sir what will happen so first outer try next try inner try okay whenever zero division error is coming 
immediately the corresponding acceptor block will execute which acceptor block nr acceptor block nr acceptor block for zero division error only that's why so immediately nr acceptor block will execute so exception raised handled handled now continue finally will execute sir outer acceptor won't be executed because the reason is exception is already handled here only now this accept is not going to execute only outer finally so in this scenario what will happen inner try raising an exception but the corresponding inner acceptor block matched what is the flow outer try block inner try block inner acceptor block inner finally block outer finally block just let me show this one have a look once inside inner try block i am taking print a 10 by 0 okay like sir observe the flow very carefully sir sir this one will execute next inner try will execute here there is a problem is coming zero division error immediately the corresponding acceptor block matched immediately the corresponding acceptor block matched now sir this line will execute so exception raised but handled immediately continue right so this line will execute next uh, here no exception to handle that's why this acceptor block won't execute now this one is going to execute so total five lines of the output will be displayed to the console now have a look once what is the answer we are going to get outer try block outer try block inner try block inner acceptor block inner finally block next outer finally block like this right we are getting okay well sir now i want to make a small change for this program what is my change is listen carefully inner try block raises zero division error but accept block available for value error <laughs> inner accept block available for value error value error error like sir can you please guide what will happen are riser exception is zero division error but accept block is available for value error are there is a problem heart problem but i specialist is available are you getting it is always a problem right now sir what is the flow outer try block inner try block here an exception riser here an exception riser but the corresponding accept block not matched not matched then the control should go to then the control should go to outer accept block have you remember first priority for inner accept block if the inner accept block unable to handle now the control will goes to outer accept block but uh, before going to the outer accept block here finally block compulsory will be executed remember so finally will be executed and then outer accept block and then outer finally now observe the flow outer try block inner try block next inner finally block outer accept block outer finally block so before going to the outer accept block compulsory inner finally block will be executed only finally block only inner finally block will be executed right now have a look once sir here i'm making the change except value error like this i'm taking sir sir observe the flow observe observe the flow sir first this one will execute now inner try block will execute now here print of 10 by 0 here the problem is coming whenever the problem is coming immediately immediately python virtual machine will check for accept block sorry it is not matched it is not matched then the control should goes to outer accept but before going to the outer accept compulsory finally will execute only finally only finally finally will execute after that outer accept block and outer finally block now observe the flow outer try block inner try block inner ex, uh, inner accept block won't execute inner finally block outer accept block outer finally block have a look once sir here if i execute this one outer try block inner try block inner finally and then outer accept block outer finally block is it clear for all of you right now observe that carefully sir okay now i have one more small change okay my change here is observe that here i'm not taking print a 10 by 0 inside in a try block okay observe inner try block won't raise any any exception or error okay try now inside outer try block here i'm taking 
print uh, 10 by 0 <laughs> dangerous thing take very special care where exception is rising sir can you please spell out where the exception is rising inside outer tri block inside inside outer tri block exception is rising sir now so first outer tri block here the problem is coming can you please tell immediately the control will go to go to except block so the corresponding except block means outer except block is the corresponding except block now my question is in this case can you please tell sir finally block will be executed or not that's about my doubt in our finally block in this case will execute or not yes no ha huh? because in the last video somewhere i covered was finally block will be executed always finally block will be executed always irrespective of exception rise or not rise or handle or not handle now this inner finally will be executed or not so outer tri block now the control will goes to corresponding except means this one outer except block outer finally block now my question is in this scenario inner finally block will be executed or not what answer you can get can you please confirm inner finally block will be executed or not perfect it won't be executed what may be the reason i will explain first let me show execution assume it is not going to execute what is the reason i will explain first observe carefully sir here so i'm i'm taking i'm not here see this one inner inner try won't try any exception okay like finally now here i'm taking print of 10 by 0 observe very carefully sir where i'm taking inside outer try block inside outer try block an exception got rise now first this line will execute here an exception rise da immediately the control will comes to corresponding except block that's why this is going to execute now this one is going to execute sir outer finally block now the point here is observe very carefully what answer outer try block outer except block outer finally block outer try block outer except block outer finally block like we are going to get the chance sir take very very special care why this inner finally block is not executed inner finally you are not saying sir why it is not sir very simple what is the purpose of finally block anyone can you please tell i told already what is the need of finally block to maintain clean up code to close resources whatever open inside try block now observe here try block try block i open some resources resources sir inside finally block finally block i have to close the resources i have to close the resources now my question is once the control if 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 you entered in the try block if you open resources compulsory you should close the resources that's why finally should execute correct but the problem here is you didn't enter suppose here here the problem is coming sir outside of try only the problem is coming the problem is coming so here the problem is coming the control won't entered in the try block if the control won't entered in the try block you didn't open any resources then what is the need of closing the resources are you getting the conclusion is the very important once the control entered in the try block compulsory finally block should be executed to close the resources if the control not entered in the try block then finally block not required to execute won't execute at all sir observe here you didn't enter in the inner try block because outside of inner try block only the problem came you didn't entered inside inner try block that's why so this inner finally not executed but you entered in the outer try block that's why outer finally block executed are you seeing the difference right so once we entered in the try block compulsory finally block will be executed if the control not entered in the try block then 
the corresponding final a block won't be executed is it clear right so this is a good example we covered almost four or five cases so very helpful in the next uh, control flow in nested try accept finally there nested try accept finally control flow this knowledge is very helpful sir just have a look once sir here just i covered one theoretical conclusion very important conclusion sir observe if the control not entered in the try block then the corresponding final a block won't be executed remember if the control not entered in the try block the corresponding final a block won't be executed next once control entered in the try block compulsory the corresponding final a block will be executed is it clear for all of you right this is the small example to demonstrate nested uh, try except the final a blocks any doubt hi friends in the last videos we covered very clearly about uh, nested try except finally blocks what is the use with the program with the example i covered sir sir now the next thing what i have to discuss control flow in nested try except finally so if an exception raised inside outer try block what will happen inside inner try block what will happen inside inner except block what will happen like almost around 14 cases we are going to discuss with a good example all your doubts are related to control flow of this exception handling will be resolved sir okay let me let me consider have a look once this code sir okay here i'm taking observe a bit very carefully here try block i'm taking so statement one okay statement two statement three try block so within the try block one two three statements are there next uh, here within the try inner try i'm taking inside inner try statement four statement five statement six i'm taking statement four five six like this i'm taking sir now except except x x x now observe so x x x means so zero division error or something like so this except block where i'm taking inside a try now sir statement is seven sir this is inner try block inner except block next finally finally okay sir statement eight i'm taking so try except finally completed sir next after the statement nine i'm taking take very special care where i'm taking statement nine so within the outer try outside of this inner try except finally sir this statement nine nowhere related to finally block observe carefully so now outer try completed now here i'm taking except some y y y like this i'm taking except y y y now statement statement 10 i'm taking next finally block finally block statement 11 i'm taking finally block statement 11 next after that okay here sir statement 12 like this i'm taking sir that's all okay total how many statements are there 12 12 statements are there okay now i will explain multiple cases related to these 12 statements so before continue listening of this video what you have to take better to write all these things on the paper paper whenever i'm explaining can you please trace whether these things are correct or not so from your side more more concentration must be required then only you people can feel more comfortable better to take uh, sir these things on the paper okay and uh, then each and every case you have to trace manually then definitely you people are going to get okay please take this one take up to this sir now let me explain 14 cases to get much perfection in this control flow sir observe very carefully sir first one if uh, there is no exception sir if there is no exception so which statements will be executed very very important sir sir if there is no exception except the block won't be executed correct right okay now observe very carefully so one two three will be executed 
4, 5, 6 will be executed. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, this except the block won't be executed. Now, finally will execute. Okay, next, uh, sir, after finally this one is going to execute. Now, this outer except block won't be executed. Now, finally will execute. Under statement 12 will execute. Observe very carefully, sir. So, if there is no exception, only except blocks won't be executed. Except that all the remaining statements will be executed, sir. Means that, sir, 1, 1, 2, 3, statement 1, 2, 3 will execute, comma, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, sir, next, 7 won't execute because it is except block, okay, but finally will execute, sir, 8 will execute, after finally, independent statement 9 will execute, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 9, next, 10 won't execute because it is except block, 11, 12, 11, 12, 12 normal termination observe very carefully sir so 1 2 3 4 5 6 uh, this except block won't execute next this except block won't execute so 1 2 3 4 5 6 8 9 11 12 normal termination any doubt about this one clear for all of it sir case one if there is no exception except except block all the remaining lines will be executed okay like now second one sir Observe very carefully about this. Case 2. Sir, if an exception, if an exception rises, yet a statement 2 and the corresponding except block matched. So, if an exception rises, yet a statement 2 and the corresponding except block matched. Means that, if an exception rises, yet a statement 2. Sir, means here, sir. Here, there is a problem. So, here, there is a problem is coming. If an exception rises yet a statement 2 and the corresponding except block matched. Sir, which is the corresponding except block? This is the outer except block. It is nowhere related to inner except block. Okay. So now if the problem, if an exception rises at statement 2 and the corresponding sir except block matched means yes, it is matched. Now observe. So 1 will be executed. 1 will be executed. While executing to the problem came, immediately the control will comes to this except block. So, except block matched. That's why, sir, this except block 10 will execute. And then finally, okay, after the statement 12, 12 normal termination. Remember, so if an exception rises at a statement 2 and the corresponding except block matched 1, sir, 2, there is a problem. Immediately the control will come to this except block, 10 will execute, 11, 12, normal termination. 1, 10, 11, 12, normal termination. Sir, case 2 is very clear for you. Now observe carefully. Case 3. If an exception rises at yet a statement 2, Sir, at the same statement, if an exception rises, and the corresponding except block not matched, and the corresponding except block not matched, what will happen? So, now observe, if an exception rises, yet a statement 2, sir, now 1 will be executed, if there is a problem at 2, immediately, sir, Python virtual machine will go for corresponding except block. Sir, except block not matched, if except block not matched, it is always abnormal termination, but uh, before abnormal termination, only final leg block, only final leg block will be executed. So, 1, 11, only final leg block followed by abnormal termination. Is it clear, right? So, if an exception rises at statement 2 and the corresponding except block not matched, uh, 1, 11, 1, followed by 11 only finally block and abnormal termination any doubt about this one clear right okay next sir next case if an exception rises yet a statement 5 oh an exception rises at a statement 5 and the inner except block matched inner except block matched now which is the statement 5 now take very very special care sir sir which is the statement 5 here here is the statement 5. Inner, inner try block. Statement 5, where it is available? Inside inner try block. Now, so if an exception rises, yet a statement 5 
and the inner except a block matched what is the flow now observe very carefully sir so to reach statement 5 compulsory 1 2 3 4 will be executed okay 1 2 3 4 executed while executing 5 there is a problem immediately the control will comes to accept a block immediately the control will comes to accept a block sir accept a block matched matched now raised exception raised handle handle 7 8 9 so this exception is already handled outer accept block is not going to execute 11 12 normal termination so observe very carefully 1 2 3 4 while executing 5 there is a problem immediately the control will comes to accept block 7 7 7 and then finally 8 and after the normal statement will be continued 9 9 okay and then and then this accept block is not going to execute 11 followed by 12 11 12 normal termination remember this one sir so if an exception raised at statement 5 and the inner accept block matched what is the flow 1 2 3 4 next 7 8 9 11 12 normal termination is going to get in the chance okay well this is the case 4 next case sir if an exception raised yet a statement 5 if an exception raised at a statement 5 and the inner except block not matched inner except block not matched oh sir inner except block not matched but but outer except block matched outer except block matched observe very carefully sir inner except block not matched but outer except block matched what is the flow now observe very very carefully sir an exception got raised at statement 5 inner except block not matched but outer except block matched so if inner except block unable to handle don't worry outer except block is going to take care sir now here how the control will reach the statement 5 1 1 2 3 4 will be executed 1 2 3 4 will be executed while executing 5 the problem first priority will goes to inner except block if the inner except block not matched immediately the control should go to outer except block remember immediately the control will goes to outer except block but uh, before going to the outer except block only finally will be executed remember only finally will be executed so 1 2 3 4 8 1 2 3 4 8 uh, and uh, then outer except block sir outer except block matched matched uh, 10 11 12 normal termination 10 11 12 normal termination that's all so 1 2 3 4 next uh, here the problem came first priority inner except block inner except block not matched then the control should go to outer except block but uh, before going to the outer except block sir only finally will execute and uh, then 10 11 12 normal termination any doubt about this one clear right okay well sir next uh, if an exception raised yet a statement 5 sir same next case if an exception raised yet a statement 5 and the both the inner and the outer except blocks are not matched are inner except block not matched outer except block not matched what is the thing sir no except block matched obviously it is always abnormal termination but before abnormal termination finally blocks will be executed okay you know now observe if an exception raised at statement 5 okay so inner except block outer except block both are not matched what is the flow so how the control will reach a statement 5 1 2 3 1 2 3 next uh, here the problem came here the problem came so 1 2 3 4 will be executed normally 1 2 3 4 will execute normally now while executing 5 the problem came immediately inner accept block not matched if inner accept block not matched python virtual machine will go for outer accept block but before going to the outer accept block only finally will execute 8 will execute only 8 only finally and then outer accept not matched not matched abnormal termination but uh, before abnormal termination only finally that's why 11 and then abnormal termination 
Are you getting? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 8, 11 abnormal termination is going to be happen. Are you in the position to understand right? So up to these six cases, so every case better to analyze so that you people can get much clarity. Any doubt up to this? Sir, now observe the next set of cases, right? If an exception rises, yet a statement 7. If an exception rises at statement 7, and the corresponding except block matched. Okay, if an exception rises at statement 7, and the corresponding except block matched. Now observe very carefully, sir. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 means uh, inner except block. Take very, very special care. Where? Inner except block is the statement 7. So if an exception rises at the statement 7, and the corresponding except block matched. Which is the corresponding except block? The corresponding except block is outer except block only. Remember this one, sir. So, this is the part of outer try. Now, outer except block is the responsible. Sir, now, the problem here is how the control will comes to statement 7. Statement 7. So, compulsory, this uh, 1, 2, 3 should be executed. 1, 2, 3. 3 should be executed and then maybe the problem yet the 4 or 5 or 6 somewhere the problem came because of that the control came to this statement 7 so 4 5 6 may or may not execute that's why 4 may or may not 5 may or may not 6 may or may not okay maybe the problem at 4 or 5 or 6, uh, there is a problem. Now the control will come to this except block. Okay. So while executing 7, there is a problem. Now the control should go to outer except block. But uh, before going to the outer except block, compulsory, finally block will be executed. That's why, sir, 8 uh, will execute. Only finally. Only finally will execute. 8 will execute. After that, now the control will come to outer except block. Outer except block matched or not? Yes, matched. 10, 11, 12, normal termination. So, 10, 11, 12, normal termination. Remember this very carefully, sir. So, what is the flow? 1, 2, 3. Sir, 4, 5, 6 may or may not. Sir, next, uh, while executing 7, the problem came. Now, finally, block 8, and then outer except block. Outer finally, remaining statements, normal termination. Now, observe very carefully, sir. If an exception rises at statement 7, and the corresponding except block matched. So, 1, 2, 3, compulsory should execute. Maybe the problem at 4 or 5 or 6. Maybe the problem at 4 or 5 or 6. Now, the control came to except block. So, here, while executing statement 7, if an exception rises, uh, immediately, the control should go to outer except block before that sir finally block compulsory should execute and then outer except block outer finally block nara sir statement 12 normal termination any doubt about this one clear right okay well now next case sir observe sir if an exception rises yet the statement 7 sir same statement 7 and the corresponding except block not matched. And the corresponding except block not matched. Sir, if an exception rises at statement 7, but corresponding except block not matched, what will happen? Now, observe. Sir, how the control will come through statement 7? Just now I explained. Sir, first 1, 2, 3 should be executed compulsory. And then, while executing 4, 5, 6, uh, may be a problem. While executing 4, 5, 6, uh, may, be, may be a problem. So, if there is a problem, so 4, 5, 6, no guarantee. Sir, 4, 5, 6, no guarantee. Okay. Now, there is a problem. That's why the control came to 7. But while executing 7, while executing 7, so there is an exception. So, immediately, Python virtual mission will go for, sir, the corresponding except block. But uh, before except block, compulsory, finally will be executed. Finally, block will execute. Now the control came to accept a block. But this accept block not matched. Not matched. If it is not matched, abnormal termination. 
but uh, before abnormal termination finally will execute that's why 11 11 abnormal termination are you getting 11 only finally block and then abnormal termination so if an exception is that statement 7 so if the corresponding except block not matched abnormal termination but before abnormal termination inner finally block outer finally block both will be executed any doubt clear for all of you right okay well sir now the next one if an exception raised yet a statement 8 if an exception raised yet a statement 8 and the corresponding except block matched sir which is the statement 8 which is the corresponding except block now observe sir statement 8 means do you know do you know statement 8 means finally block oh inside inner finally block if an exception raised what is the flow now now observe so how the control will comes to statement 8 first sir 1 2 3 compulsory should be executed 1 2 3 should be executed next uh, sir 4 5 6 assume there is no exception now the control 4 5 6 and then 8 okay 4 5 6 will execute and then 8 uh, if there is no exception if there is an exception 4 5 6 uh, there is a, there is an exception here then sir except block and then statement 8 means uh, 4 5 6 uh, if uh, may be an exception may not an exception so now statement 8 will come so that's why 4 5 6 uh, are optional next uh, statement 7 is also optional okay because the reason is if there is no exception statement 7 won't execute so 4 5 6 7 may or may not execute now the control came to statement 8 while executing statement 8 if the problem came immediately sir python virtual machine will go to corresponding except block except block matched matched now 10 11 12 normal termination 10 11 12 normal termination remember this one are you getting right so 1 2 3 4 5 6 may or may not 7 may or may not now the control came to 8 sir while executing 8 the problem came immediately the corresponding except block matched so 10 11 12 normal termination have you observed 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 may or may not 10 11 12 normal termination any doubt clear right next observe the next case sir case 10 if an exception raised yet a statement 8 sir same if an exception raised at statement 8 and the corresponding except block not matched and the corresponding except block not matched what will happen now observe if an exception raised yet a statement 8 so how the control will comes to statement 8 just now i explain 1 2 3 should be compulsory 4 5 6 7 may or may not 4 5 6 7 may or may not next while executing 8 the problem came immediately python virtual machine will go for corresponding accept block but this accept block not matched if it is not matched it is always abnormal termination but before abnormal termination this finally block will be executed only finally this finally block will be executed 11 followed by abnormal termination are you in the position to understand right so if an exception raised at statement 8 and the corresponding except block not matched it is abnormal termination but before abnormal termination only finally block will be executed any doubt clear up to this sir now the next set of cases observe carefully if an exception raised yet a statement 9 yet a statement 9 and the corresponding except block matched observe very carefully if an exception raised yet a statement 9 and the corresponding except block matched now observe statement 9 means uh, this statement sir which is the outside of finally block okay outside of this inner inner except finally block this is sir how the control will comes to statement 9 is the very very important sir observe 1 2 3 should compulsory should execute 1 2 3 should be executed compulsory next uh, 
four, five, six uh, may or may not. The reason is if there is no exception, four, five, six, uh, and then eight, uh, and then nine. Okay, no exception. Four, five, six, eight, nine. If there is an exception, four, five, six, maybe the problem. Then seven, and then eight, and then nine. So four, five, six may or may not. Okay, four, five, six may or may not. Seven may or may not. Seven may or may not. Next, finally, compulsory. This one should be executed. If if there is a problem at statement eight, the control never comes to nine. But still, the control came to nine means uh, statement eight uh, executed successfully. Now observe statement eight executed successfully. Now the problem is at a nine. Nine. If there is a problem at nine, immediately. So Python virtual machine will check for the corresponding accept block. Sir, matched. If accept block matched, ten, eleven, twelve normal termination. Ten. 11 12 normal termination okay like now observe if an exception raised yet the statement 9 and the corresponding except block match this is my statement now what is the flow is it clear for all of you 1 2 3 1 2 3 4 5 6 or 7 may or may not 8 compulsory will execute and then while 9 there is a problem except block 10 11 12 normal termination okay well now the next case observe If an exception raised yet a statement nine, sir same statement. If an exception raised at statement nine, and the corresponding except block not matched. Remember, corresponding except block not matched, not matched, sir. What will happen? So how the control will come through statement nine? Just now I told. Just now I told. One two three should be executed. One two three will be should be executed. Next time uh, four five six uh, seven. May or may not four okay five six seven may or may not because with exception without exception anyway the control will comes to nine that's why four five six seven may or may not but to reach statement nine compulsory statement eight should be executed statement eight executed now statement nine there is a problem. Immediately, Python virtual machine will check for accept block. But this accept block not matched. If the accept block not matched, it is always abnormal termination. But before abnormal termination, finally block will be executed. That's why eight eleven abnormal termination. So have you observed? If an exception is that statement nine. So under corresponding accept block not matched uh, abnormal termination before abnormal termination yes finally blocks executed eight uh, inner finally eleven outer finally any doubt about this one okay that's all sir now next uh, case if uh, an exception raised uh, yet a statement at ten yet a statement at ten remember if an exception raised uh, yet a statement at ten oh. Inside outer except block. Okay, if an exception raised inside, sir, outer except block. So it is always abnormal termination. Have you remembered in the last videos we covered if any statement raising an exception which is not part of try block? Yes, it is not part of try block. If it is not part of try block, no except block. No except block means abnormal termination. So, if an exception raised at a statement at ten, it is always abnormal termination. But before abnormal termination, compulsory this finally block will be executed. Now observe, if an exception raised at statement at ten, then then it is always then it is always abnormal termination. Then it is always abnormal termination. But but. Before abnormal termination, before abnormal termination, only finally block will be executed. Only finally block will be executed. Are you getting? Only finally block will be executed. Any doubt about this one, sir? Observe carefully. So, if an exception raised at statement at ten, it is not part of try block. If it is not part of try block, then it is there is no except block. 
there is no acceptable block means it is always abnormal termination but before that this finally block will be executed statement 11 but how you can reach uh, the control to the statement 10 oh multiple options are there man so here here may be the problem or here may be the problem some way the control came to accept the block while executing this statement at 10 if an exception rises, abnormal termination but before that finally block will be executed clear right so next the last case 14th case observed if an exception rises yet the statement 11 okay sir if an exception rises yet the statement 11 11 so outer finally block so it is abnormal termination why why it is not part of try if it is not part of try no accept block no accept block means abnormal termination if an exception rises at statement 11 it is always abnormal termination if an exception rises yet a statement at 12 it is always abnormal termination because it is not part of try block there is no accept block obviously abnormal termination so if an exception rises yet a statement 11 or statement 12 or statement 12 then then it is always then it is always abnormal termination okay remember then it's always abnormal termination any doubt about this one so that's all these are various important cases what you people should aware very clearly sir okay almost 14 cases we discussed uh, so now from any line any line randomly you can choose any line sir sir here line number six if an exception riser what is the flow if you handle what is the flow if you are not handle what is the flow you should aware sir statement 10 if an exception riser what will happen statement 5 if an exception riser what will happen statement 1 if an exception riser what will happen from 1 to 12 any statement if an exception riser handle not handle what is the flow compulsory you people should be aware are you in the position to understand right sir if you are writing this type of code then it's always a good programming practice because the reason is everywhere you define some alternatives alternative handling blocks everywhere you define alternative handling blocks so your program always safe to execute sir sir very simple suppose you you require to come to maitri vanam assume that you are you are going for you are going to maitri vanam some ex, some some place to here maitri vanam you are so in the main road if there is a problem if there is a problem then immediately corresponding accept block okay alternative here also there is a problem here also there is a problem then immediately there is a another another accept block okay here also there is a problem assume here also there is a problem then no accept block so what you did is what you can do are so finally block will execute inside finally block i can convey so i'm struck at somewhere don't worry don't worry so maybe after few minutes i will reach the destination like you can intimate to the person okay to the to the uh, target person or otherwise to the source person by phone call are you getting so this uh, type of coding is always good programming practice defining alternatives alternatives at runtime your program is always going to execute very smoothly sir so now how many cases we discussed uh, 14 cases we discussed uh, each and every case i clearly documented in our material also please go through the material better to analyze then definitely you people are going to get much clarity can you please explain control flow in nested try except finally if entry person is asking give left and right explain these 14 cases definitely interview person can feel very happy very comfortable any doubt about this one clear right hi friends in the last two videos we covered about what is control flow in nested try except finally blocks sir now very important concept i want to discuss sir this concept is a python specific concept remember the people who are coming from c language c plus plus java these people so compulsory it is the new concept it is the python specific concept okay what that concept sir observe carefully else block with the try except finally are you getting else block with the try except finally sir in java if you consider 
so you can't use else with a try catch finally but in python you can use else everywhere sir everywhere for if else you can use for loops also we can use okay for if else you can use for loops also you can use else block next even else block you can use for try except finally also okay now have a look once sir sir in if else when else part will be executed anyone can you please tell sir if i consider if else if i consider if else when else will be executed if the condition is a false then only it will be executed best example for you sir x is equal to 10 i am taking sir if if x greater than 10 if x greater than 10 sir print print x greater than 10 sir else i am taking sir print x is sir not greater than 10 not greater than 10 like this i am taking sir yes it's a valid so if this condition fails yes if this condition fails now else part is going to execute what is the answer we are going to get sir x is not greater than 10 okay like is the answer we are going